We are live, Kill Tony, Diablo 2. Let's get to the shit. Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store Main Room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Make some fucking noise. Yeah. Brian Redman is up, here. Everyone? Ryan J. Ebelt's drawing tonight's episode. And Kill Tony is a booming. We yes. just got back from lovely San Francisco where we had an amazing sold out show. Okay. Yeah. That featured a lot of special surprises. Secret guest Doug Benson, Ali Makovsky did a brand new minute. Former regular was there. And to close the episode doing a rendition of I Left My Heart in San Francisco, the great and powerful Aphrodite closed out the show. Yes. Getting a standing ovation upon arrival from real Kill Tony fans. I don't know what this pussy ass crowd's about so far. But uh, I'm pretty excited to be back here. Another uh, fun time. We have a lot more uh, Roadkill Tonys coming up soon, don't we? And we have breaking news. Because June 17th, for the first time ever, getting their own Kill Tony. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Loot Golain, And I bid you welcome to my fair port city. <laughs> I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. They're having an orgy at the palace. Confirmed. Confirmed. I heard. I, I could see right through that, dude. <laughs> Portland, Oregon, at the Portland Helium Comedy Club, one of the greatest comedy clubs in the world. And guess what? I was trained as a paladin of Zakarum in the Eastern Korash Temple many years ago. I thought you had a mission for me, ho. I know much about this. Geglash is too confident in his abilities. A warrior's true strength is in his heart. Alright, well then. Private stash, eh? Got some shit in there. <laughs> Oh, a ton. But if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, here lurks a hard creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Yeah, I like the sound of that, Chico. The sewer entrance is through the trap door. Atma, Atma over here. She needs, she need a man to take care of something. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have another announcement. Getting their first ever kill Tony, ladies and gentlemen, Cleveland, Ohio, on August first. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
which is right before Kill Tony, uh, three days later, the 4th of August in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I don't see any entrance. Different than our Kill Tonys in September in Lansing, Grand this Rapids, way. Detroit, with our guest Danny Brown. And then the next week, Austin, Texas, and Houston, Texas, and Dallas, Jesus. motherfucking We're going Texas. all over the place. You, you, you didn't even say Skankfest. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. that's <laughs> true. Breaking <laughs> news. Uh, Kill Tony is also doing Skankfest uh, the weekend of July 13th and 14th, one of the yes. coolest comedy festivals. And uh, there just so happens to be any listeners in uh, Montreal. I don't want to leak anything, Montreal. but I heard a rumor that they have a big comedy festival there, and there's a slight chance that something oh, might be happening go. there with... Uh, trap door, know, trap door. What you gonna do? In the world if you're gonna have a comedy festival, right? <laughs> Up and coming comedy yeah. festival. God, hell. We celebrate our five-year anniversary on June 18th here with Joe Rogan and Dom Irera and a ton of special treats and exciting things happening. And, uh, Is there tickets for that still? Did, did we release more tickets? Uh, they did release more tickets. I think they're gone, but there's a slight chance that more will be released as we go because we're going to figure out what to logistically do with comedians. We're thinking about maybe... Uh, Renting out the belly room. Like that. Uh, uh, before and on many other great things, make some noise for the motherfucking machine, Bert Kreischer and Bobby Lee. What? What? Huh? Yeah, baby. Here we are. Oh Back shit, it's the right there. Again. The fuck, they got Bert Shivas. Bobby. There's fucking Shivas in the sewer. The fuck is going on here? Damn, this thing is like not dying. <laughs> Lee. Fuck yeah. You know these guys. We oh, love shit, these guys. Damn. Comedy store yeah. monsters. They are back on the show. Welcome hey. back, guys. What's going on? I'm pretty good, buddy. <laughs> 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 Wait, who the fuck did that? Who the fuck did that? <laughs> that was racist. <laughs> Welcome back, Bobby Lee. It's been a while. It's been a while. And tonight I had tonight off, so I go, hey, are you still doing your cool, cool Tony? Yeah, I'm doing Cool Tony, cool and, Tony. Uh, and I, go, I go, I'm available for Cool Tony. Hell yeah. And he said, do it. And then he said, this fat fuck was going to be here too, so. <laughs> Shit. Bert Kreischer is back, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, everybody? How's it going, Bert? This thing's poisoning me. <laughs> Welcome back. On impact. Thank you, Tony. I love doing this show. We love you. Yeah. Fun oh. to, uh, two fun guys to meet comedians with and uh hang out and see what their lives are all about look at this eclectic crowd pumping in here guys ukulele hanging out of the back of his backpack wow black guy he's with black, a ukulele what the, what the fuck holy shit wow. no he's got to be hawaiian wow. oh yeah he's hawaiian, hawaiian. yeah, yeah huh. like sunny garcia <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, so we have other fun things like a band. We do have a band, and every single week they commit to doing different characters. You never know what they're going to do. In San Francisco, they were like white trash, Joe Dirt type of like uh, characters. Sometimes they're a prison breakout. Don't care anymore. You never know what it's going to be. Sometimes it's brand new. So let's see what happens this week. It's one of our favorite things on this show. It's the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, Chroma Chris. Here we go. What's going to happen? The anticipation is killing me. Fucking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That doesn't look like Joel Jimenez at all. What wow. happened to my fucking. Watch your step, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, my fucking thing died. Wow. Now announcing the Royal Kill Tony back. Oh, this is going to be loud. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, Chroma Chris. Fuck yes. More than I've ever fucked yes before. This is incredible. For those of you listening to the podcast, Jeremiah is a king. Joel and Chris are knights. 
Wow! Fuck yeah! There has clearly been a 700% increase to the costume budget here on yeah. Kill Tony. Oh, shit. <laughs> what a way for Jeremiah to spend his rent. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he wasn't making that much money. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. I finally started getting paid for Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> How many inflatable saxophones did he sell in San Francisco? <laughs> wow. He looks like the only Lannister boy to survive. <laughs> we have Chroma Chris, silent but deadly over there. A white knight if I've ever seen one before. And then we have uh, clearly uh, Mega Man from the old Sega Genesis game. <laughs> playing drums tonight. And he's surrounded by uh, the... Uh, well, Was Mega Man ever... I don't believe Mega Man was ever on. Isn't it, isn't it just like a Nintendo exclusive? I know it was on PlayStation. Interesting. I remember them. I love these fucking guys. It's the 10 piece brass band. Am I right about that? The, top, that? Shelf the top shelf brass band. The top shelf brass band, yes. Clearly tonight playing the characters of Bumblebees. Wow. I mean, that's by far. They have oh, good thread counts. One Look of the most things. one of the most grandiose entrances I've ever seen on this show. <laughs> Only fit for a king. <laughs> <laughs> so this is exciting. Oh, Clearly good. Jeremiah is going to be a king, and we have some uh, defenders of the universe backing him up. Uh, I'm excited as fuck for this. That's not even the entire show. I could end it right there, and we'd all would have had fun. But there's a bucket filled with comedians' names in front of me. Sometimes it's a person's first time. Sometimes they've been doing comedy 15 years, and they're here to be discovered by the Internet. Uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of he listeners around the world right now. And uh, you never know what's going to happen. 60. I pull your name out of the bucket. You get 60 uninterrupted seconds. You know your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Sounds like that. Almost can't wait to come out tonight. Wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> You guys ready to start this shit or what? Here we are. Kill Tony. 200 and something. Almost a three, I'm sure. Stand up now. 268. 268. Three to five, five. Oh, is that how big Segura is? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's just laughs. All right. I pulled the name out of the bucket. Going up first tonight, getting us started. 60 uninterrupted seconds goes to Sarah Fatimi. Sarah Fatimi. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sarah Fatimi, ladies and gentlemen. I just found a waypoint. Ohio a couple years ago. That's not the joke. <laughs> And I feel more appreciated <laughs> out here for being from the Midwest than for being Middle Eastern. For your information, stuck up LA people, we do have Uber. His name is Mike. No. When I first moved out to Hollywood, when my, my mom was like, market yourself as Caucasian. I'm like, the only Caucasian blood I have is on my car window shield. <laughs> Y'all do not. <laughs> I only have one ovary. I got it removed last year. Well, one of them. I still have the other one. I will have children, I promise. I want to slowly drive by McDonald's and tell them we got rice at home. <laughs> Hashtag Persian moms. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. It's almost like you didn't know that cat was coming. Sarah Fatimi. Hell yeah, perfect. Uh, Sarah, that's awesome. Is this your first time on the show? Yes. Oh, Here, do, just pull cool. the mic out from underneath that. That's yeah. killing me. Is it driving yeah. me not? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All the way. All the way. All the way. Yeah. The yeah. cords underneath the mic stand. Mercury in retrograde. Still. How the fuck is no, this taking so long? Don't do it like there. There you go. go. There we go. There you go. Look at that purse. Wow, that looks like what Jeremiah's outfit came in. Yeah. I'm Persian. Gold is part of my brand. Yeah. Oh, I like the way you think, actually. Um, so Sarah, how many kids do you have? How old do I look? <laughs> oh, zero. She's uh, only got one ovary. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what part of the show were you listening to? Uh, <laughs> I thought she actually had kids in the car. No, 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 no. It was a joke. I didn't under I couldn't hear the joke, but you drove by McDonald's and said I'm gonna slowly drive by McDonald's and tell my kids we got rice at home. 
That's for when I do have kids. That's What's that even one. mean? Ah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, yeah. We if you don't have kids yet, that's not the way you want to say that. It oh. sounds like you have kids. Oh, okay. I would drive to McDonald's. But you have rice at home? Kids. Yeah, because I'm Persian. We eat everything with rice. What the? Ah, so. ah, ah. <laughs> 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 I like this like jester very much. <laughs> you think you eat everything with rice? How do you think Bobby feels over <laughs> here? <laughs> he doesn't understand... What's it silly about? That's odd that a Korean would not get a rice joke. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> 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 I, I like it when the little one is angry. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> you son of a fucking bitch, dude, all right? You want fucking opening dates, you fucking cocksucker? You haven't given me an opening date in right two years. I could asshole. care less right now. now. Jerry, uh, 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 Jeremiah, I mean. Jerry. <laughs> What the fuck's your name? Anyway, um... Wow! Jerry. I apologize. I lashed out. I apologize. Does anyone uh, know how to repair items? Rice hey, this, guy. Um... <laughs> oh, shit. Zolberg, no, you can't. No, no, you can't. You can't kill him. You're not allowed to kill him, Bobby. Bobby just reached for the sword after uh, Zolberg that? nailed that joke on him. Oh, shit. There are just certain technical things that can I... Can you give suggestions or no? <laughs> Is that you want do whatever you want. Do whatever you want, Bobby. All right. There's a couple. You gotta um, first of all connect with the audience, right? No. Yeah. Like, how are you? Just look at people in the eyes. You know um, what I mean? And go. How are you guys? Oh, I. I'll bring, maybe bring the mic stand in back of you because it's a distraction when it's in front of you. Okay. I think the mic stand is not your strength. <laughs> 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 I would. I would definitely take the approach that pretend I don't know anything about Persians. Okay. It's good. So like, I think that's a good approach. Like Sarah, Sarah, how long have you been on stand-up? Two years. Two years. All in L.A.? Yeah. You're from L.A.? No, I'm from Ohio. Where were you, Tony? Right. All right. Very good. Uh, Northern Tony, Ohio. Tony walked away from your set <laughs> not knowing that you're from Ohio <laughs> and thinking you had children. Hey, I did, uh, I did forget about that Ohio part. You got me there. Right side of the Civil War. Right. Where in Ohio? Toledo. Toledo. And how long have you been in L.A.? Three years. Three years. <laughs> when did you do that first year before starting to do stand-up? I came out here for school. Where did you go to school? Loyola Marymount. What did you study there? Writing and producing for television. Ah, oh, interesting. How do you make money? How do you survive? Well, I just graduated last weekend, so that's a good question. Wow. Nice. But, oh, thank you. But my web series just dropped last Sunday. I so. bet it did. Oh, Fancy. Yeah. Right. So, scripted it web dropped. series. Scripted web series? <laughs> yeah. Hashtag Persian Moms? Uh, no, it's <laughs> actually Saffron and Rose. Oh, Saffron is really big with you people. Yeah. <laughs> really? You people? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I'm trying to get into the Persian. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you people. <laughs> yes, Jeremiah. Is it true that Persians have scales and hide gold in caves? <laughs> <laughs> All up in Bel Air, baby. Man, watch out. Sarah, uh, so you've been living the college life pretty much? Yeah. So what's that been like? What are they? What are the kids up to nowadays in college? What do they do for fun? Um, the whip get... and the nay nay? Yes. I mean, I don't know. Don't. I'm like 25 years old, so I'm like supposed to be past the whole like getting drunk at frat parties. But <laughs> I'm 45. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Do you want to go with me next time? 27. Uh, 8 to 17. Don't freak you kids out. Oh, who wants to snort a little brown brown, huh? What? What? Oh, I'm shitting blood again, guys. Brown brown is the color of all of our family members as well. <laughs> uh, Sarah, so what do you do at uh, these frat parties? You ever do crazy stuff, keg stands, anal you know, chugs, Jaeger? No, 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 no. Unfortunately, I'm I'm a boring. I'm a good girl. Unfortunately, you never drink. Well, I s no, I don't drink. You s smoke pot. Um, is that what you were gonna oh say? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! I have before. Last yeah. thing you want is Persian parents oh. finding out you right. smoke pot oh. and, and drive. Oh. You know what I mean? Because that is all right. The Persians are the ones that think <laughs> anal's not losing your virginity, right? Yeah, yeah. That, yep, yes, yep, yes, yep. Yes, that's what they think. Oh, yes, wow. yes. Are, are you an anal queen? Like, have you? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I unfortunately can't talk. Pick about. your next words very wisely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Have you ever had an inflatable saxophone in your butt? Inflatable saxophone? No, nah, it's okay. Forget it. Yeah. Would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. loving Jeremiah's character. Yeah. So, Sarah, you say that you're a good girl. So, like, what types of things do you do? Like, what does a good girl do? I study. Uh-huh. Uh, so what's <laughs> like, what's like, what would you say is the naughty? Defense is 45. Each time? Um. Come on, you know what it is. Wow. <laughs> Let me, are you, are you, are you a virgin? I, I don't, I, I, why did I just say that? Like that? <laughs> you're so mad. Are, are you a virgin? This is, this is like a, Bobby said that like he was trapping yes. her into sex. Like, <laughs> oh, are you a virgin? We can get more for her. Play your cards right and I'll show you. Whoa, Ooh. play your cards Ooh. right. I think, she, I think she thinks you're Vietnamese, that you yeah. play cards. Yeah. So, ooh, watch out. There's a game of Mao Jong coming up. <laughs> Say that right? Funny enough, my web series is about that. Whoa, oh, I bet it geez. is. Plug, 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 lady. I, I don't know. She's, She's virgin, but not in her ass. Virgin. She's had two. Wow, Brian, you don't have to say it like that. Well, say butt or a pee-pee hole or ass. something like that. Make it, make it cute. You don't have to be like, She's not a virgin in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Damn it. All right. So Sarah, but you do, you do, uh, you have a boyfriend? No. No? No, and it sucks. You on any of like the dating sites or something like that? I just deleted my Tinder because it made me feel like shit. Wow. Stewards level feel two. Like shit? I think you just need better pictures or something like that. You seem really cute to me. Thank I mean, you. if it wasn't working for you. Thank I mean, you. but you know. No, I'm not really like the hookup type. You know what I mean? I'm like, I expected to go <laughs> find my Prince Charming on Tinder. Can I ask you something? Yeah. When you say you're not the hookup type, yeah. how, how do you know? Have you ever tried it? Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious. Would you like to? <laughs> 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 it's funny, Jeremiah. I used to have a huge crush on you. Whoa! <laughs> pew, 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 pew. And right a second. Keywords being used to. What happened? <laughs> I have a thing for very gaunt white men. I think it's the power dynamic. <laughs> gaunt white men? She complimented you and roasted the shit out of you at the same time. <laughs> I used to be in love with you because I like disgusting people. <laughs> That's not disgusting. Sorry, I've been eating like a king lately. <laughs> Just getting over a case of the gout, I do believe. Hey, what's a Persian mom sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Normally a com <laughs> Normally a <laughs> I have no more questions, Tony. <laughs> yeah, me neither, really. Normally accompanied by a shoe in her hand when you haven't cleaned your room. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rats nest. Uh, Sarah, it was a uh, it was a pleasure to uh, to meet you. Thanks for coming Thank up. You. What's the name of your web series? Defense is four. There you go. Good enough. Sarah <laughs> <Bradley>, <laughs> Tweet at it later. The name of Ron and Ron Rose. There you go. Find her on Twitter. It's Sarah K I underscore J O O N. It's going the wrong way. Wow. There she goes. <laughs> oh. oh wow. Oh. One more time for Sarah Fatimi, ladies and gentlemen. Getting the party started. Uh oh, I do believe we have another lady coming to the stage. Put your hands together for Paulina Kambau. Wow, there's a big pop there from the middle of the room. Here she comes. Hey! Make some noise for the Top Shelf Brass Band, ladies and gentlemen. And Paulina Kambau. Oh my god. Hey guys. Hi. No, you just wrapped it around the other way. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take the mic stand out entirely. This I is driving know. me fucking nuts. Here we go. I got you. All right, and an uninterrupted 60 seconds for Paulina Kambau. Hey guys. Hey, I'm from Nashville. <laughs> Not from like Nashville per se, but one of those little shitty towns, you know, where the l people with the least amount of teeth can pronounce the most prescription drugs. Do you guys know about meth? That's very funny. Bert, no. uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've been out here like a year and a half. The thing that's confusing me the most still is just the grocery stores. <laughs> like, first of all, you guys have them. That's very different. Um, <laughs> 
But no, the other thing is just the names of them. Like back home, our grocery stores Excuse are really me. cutesy sounding names. Like Win Dixie, Piggly Wiggly. Like that's my first job, Piggly Wiggly. I was a checker. I know, I was in the Piggly Wiggly commercial. Like that's why I'm here, like trying to do my thing. It went very well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like we just have cute little sounding names where it makes you think like, oh, like I'm fine with serving an animal face to my family. But out here, you guys have like battered women's shelters names for grocery stores. <laughs> like I went to a Safeway. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> hey. There you go, Paulina Combo. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I loved that set. That was awesome. I hated you on Breaking Bad, but I loved your set <laughs> here tonight. Damn. But you killed it as Walter White's wife. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, hell yeah. She's where, getting royalties. Where exactly did you say you're from again? Nashville. I grew up in Franklin, Kentucky. My oh, accent's yeah. way worse right now because I had a bunch of canned wine earlier. It's not <laughs> usually canned wine. Sick. Canned wine. Wow. You can take the girl out of Kentucky, but you can't take the Kentucky out of the hey. girl. Canned wine. Where do you even buy that at? Pink Dot. <laughs> <laughs> they don't serve the comics over there. That's awesome, Paulina. How long you been in L.A.? Year and a half, almost. Oh, cool. Have you been doing stand up for a year and a half? I started stand up like about six years ago in Nashville. At the, what was it, Zanies? Is it the club? Yeah, yeah Zanies. Yeah, yeah. They fucking love Bird in, in Nashville. I uh, played there too. Thank yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a legend in your own right, but like, he tears down some barbecue and some. Some hot chicken. Oh, we're How talking about eating in the city. Yeah. All right, great. Ah, I did, I did a Kill Tony, a stand up weekend, and uh, four shows in the Opry arm. there this year. So I'm pretty sure we're just talking about eating in Nashville, right? <laughs> Paulina, yeah. um, you, uh, you sweet little country girl, what do you do for work? Uh, right now I'm an assistant. Yeah. For what? For people. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So you're pretty much looking for work. How much does that cost? An assistant? Yeah, like, yeah. what is it per hour? I get paid like $20 an hour. Hired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I will say, uh, I didn't hear a ton of jokes in your set, but I feel like I really got to know you. Like, yeah. I like you a lot, and I didn't, yeah. and you didn't make me, like, I smiled along with you. Yeah. It's a weird thing that you had me going like, oh, yeah. For so, yeah. Like a the Safeway joke was great. I just... Would have sprinkled in more jokes, but you're very likable. Very, yeah. very likable. You have like a Mia Farrow vibe. Thank you. And I could be your son. <laughs> <laughs> mm. you. Paulina, what do you like to do for fun? You have any fun like country habits? You play the spoons or anything like that? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> My sister I play the spoons. spoons actually. Oh, I can't yeah, take it. credit for that. I like to build miniatures. That's Whoa. my thing. I know. Miniature I, what? Like anything. That's when the candy bars are smaller. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have other ones? <laughs> like the most recent miniature that you made. What is it? I'm working on a little uh, camper, like an old fashioned, you know, can ham camper. It's like a miniature a, version of it. Like, yeah. a, like a trailer. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like that you guys call it yeah, campers. You try to be fancy <laughs> on it. Do you, have a, do you have a boyfriend? No, 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 no. She makes little things. Do you think she has a boyfriend? She's making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's from Kentucky, guys. Do you have a brother? She have a brother? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's from Tennessee. Yeah. Originally from Kentucky. Oh, you originally I paid from attention Kentucky, this. Yeah, time. Oh, I didn't. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna let you do that to me again. <laughs> not Sarah. Yeah. I like the way you say mini. You use all the letters when you say miniatures. It. Miniatures. Yeah. Jeremiah. I miniatures. Miniatures. I this practice. I was like, if he asks me my hobby, I'm gonna say miniatures. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. This hey. one confuses me. I'm sorry. Why do you look like a princess but sound like a stable boy? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Jeremiah. So you make miniatures. What's your living situation? You have roommates? I do have a roommate. Yeah, how many? One. Are they is they a comedian too? Uh sort of, yeah. Are they really, really small? Everybody's small compared to me. <laughs> well all other women at least. All right. She has a big dick, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite thing that uh, you've done since you moved to Los Angeles? Is this your first time living in like a big city other than Nashville? 
I lived in New York for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for just six months. Uh huh. Um, what was that like? Did you have fun there? No, it wasn't the greatest. Right, all the all the cars and lights and everything. Dominicans. The people. Hey, we found out what he is. All right. <laughs> what, um. did, what did you not like about it? Uh, I, the winter. I hated the winter. Right. I moved here in, you know, January. Winter is coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like your Safeway joke. I like that angle of like, uh, you know, of like all the things you see are different. But I also like, I like authenticity in the South. Like, give me something really Southern. Like, uh, like uh, I saw an old man discipline his dog with a shovel one time. That's the South right there. You don't see that in LA. So like, give me something real South. Like, you know you're in the South when, I'll set it up, okay? Okay. You That's know you're question. back home in the South when, when you try to go for a jog and three people ask you if you need a ride home. That's real. That's real. I went for a jog. I went, well, I'll tell you how the joke's written right now. Um, I went for a jog in Alabama. My wife has a house in Alabama. And these Where yokels at? pulled up in uh, uh, Wadawi and uh, pulled up in a van. I was on a jog, and they were all literally out of casting go, boy, what you running from? <laughs> and I looked at them and said, Jews. I got attacked by two dogs on that jog. You don't get attacked. You get attacked by dogs still in the South. Bobby, any uh, anything else for uh, Paulina? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was Which nice. To, nice to meet you. Thanks I for doing like the you. show. Yeah, yeah. Like Paulina Combau, ladies and gentlemen. All the way from Tennessee, trying to make it in Los Angeles. Very. Thank you. Like Los Angeles. Uh, moving on. All right, I believe this person's been on the show before. Make some noise for Johnny Roth. Here we go. Wow, that was fast. Uh. <laughs> Main room, what's happening? We got action. A new, a new 60 seconds. Who this? Well, I'm from the South also. I'm from Texas. And uh, one thing about Texas people, we don't like to see nobody sober. And they don't like to see us drunk because they know we be acting a donkey. Eeyore, Eeyore. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Now, um, back home, you know, in Texas, I walk some long miles. And uh, I think that's the reason why I'm doing comedy now. Like, you know, there was some real hard times. One time, my ex, um, I wouldn't help her paint her room. So she told me she thinks about guys with really long ones. And it still haunts me. <laughs> One time, I mixed my lean <laughs> with Dr. Pepper, and it tastes like medicine, and it still haunts me. <laughs> my favorite college football player, Johnny Football. Oh, yeah. There you go. Sure, go ahead. Finish it. Wait, wait. Finish it, Johnny. Finish, finish the joke. Finish the joke. My favorite football player, Johnny Football, didn't pan out, and it still haunts me. Oh, there fuck. you go, Johnny Rock. <laughs> fuck yeah. Shouldn't have finished it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Like uh, we could have cut that one short, right? This was fun. I never thought I'd get to have uh, CNN's Van Jones on the show. <laughs> it's only for I only knew 15 I'm gonna be people. I'm on CNN again. What did you say when you first came to stage? You went, oh, you said something. I think I said main room was happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I've never seen somebody wear a shirt the exact color of their skin before. Uh, <laughs> what'd you do? Go to the store like I have something this color right here, something to make a wonder if uh, my nip why pe why my nipples look like buttons. Oh, it's a shirt. Okay. <laughs> Tony, what, Tony, what I knew. How do you do say that? Fifty-seven dexterity. I said main room was happening. Yeah, that should be your hook line. Like, I need one. how about this? I need how about this? Yeah, you definitely need a hook. Yeah, yeah you I need agree. a hook for sure. So say that up front, do a joke, and then do the same line again. What's happening? <laughs> so go ahead, go ahead. Main room was having it. <laughs> yeah. Do a joke. Now do a joke. Um. <laughs> <laughs> was having it. Oh, yeah. Really good delivery, which is wow. fitting because he's dressed like a UPS driver. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, Johnny how long have you been doing stand-up? Um... 
going on about a year and a half. I started last year, or two thousand, the end of 2016. Yeah. What ethnicity are yeah, you? Yeah, what are you? Oh, man. <laughs> My mom's Spanish, so I'm Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. By Spanish, you mean but Mexican. Yeah, but... What is your father's <laughs> name? <laughs> but uh, we also got a lot of family from Louisiana. Go ahead, go ahead. We also got a lot of family from Louisiana. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we got some Cajun family from Louisiana, too. Shreveport. And you've been out of Texas for like a year, year and a half, you said? Yeah, just, just since I've been here. Other than that, I've never been out of Texas. Were you in a major city in Texas? I mean, I went to Texas? Louisiana. Were you in a major city in Texas or a suburb? I, I, gotta, I, gotta, why is, why, I don't know what's, happen, uh, what's happening. What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. I'll tell you what's happening. Jeremiah is still waiting for an answer to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> find out what his father's family name is. He's a king, and he goes by last names. Oh, okay. You're from the family... Roth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's first name. Uh, oh, Roth. I yeah. see what you're saying. Hell yeah. Name. He's from the Roth family. My whole family. family's been here in America. Ah, shit. Wow, shit. you think I'm an ICE agent or something <laughs> like that? Jeez. My whole family's been here a long time. We're totally Spanish. Uh, Man, Tony, I knew this guy was from Texas because his words are chopped and screwed. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting up. fucked up. Holy Johnny, shit. What do you do for that? work? Oh, man, I do real estate. What does your father do for work? <laughs> <laughs> he had a construction company. Oh. He retired now. He didn't build you up. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Oh. Sorry. Do, do you like um, men or women sexually? Women. That's this my thing. That's Wait, what did you just say? Said oh, get him, get him, get him, oh, cuz. That's my thing. Oh, oh, you you, you fucking up my lady's yeah. husband, bro. Uh, you oh, definitely shit. are a catchphrase guy. I don't even think you need jokes. Just a bunch of good catchphrases. Yeah. I'll be down with that. Come yeah, on. yeah, okay, that's a good one. I'll be down with that. I'll be down with that. You're just a catchphrase maker. You're like an app on my phone for catchphrases. <laughs> I'm dying. Go home tonight. You know what? Maybe you, maybe, okay. Catch, catch, catch. I'll tell a joke and you and you do the catchphrase, okay? Straight up. Okay? Let's Straight run up. it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Here Let's we run. go. All right. Oh, I got to think of a joke real quick. I got one. Okay. All right. Bartender walks into a bar. Well, not bartender walks into a bar. Fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's run it. 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 Grasshopper walks into a bar. Bartender says, uh, we have a drink named after you. Grasshopper says, you have a drink named Steve? What happened to you? Whoa. What, you, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, what happened? I thought uh, you were doing happened? an Asian <laughs> accent. What the happened to you? Don't fucking do that again, all right, dude? One, one per sec. All right. Oh! <laughs> you can be a great compliment on a one-liner uh, <laughs> comics act. Like if you just strutted out on the stage, you said it's. it's what? I'm gonna Google that. I don't know what you're He's saying. I said I'm gonna Google that. What that? Type I'm, of I'm gonna Google that. Yeah. I'm gonna Google that. that one Your act Texas, com- Louisiana, Mexican <laughs> uh, accent is going to uh, is going to impede you your entire career. <laughs> No matter what happens. More catchphrases. I just say something that happened in your day and drop a catchphrase. Jeez. Oh, like went to McDonald's. What's happening? <laughs> try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. I went to McDonald's. Fucking no, die up. Do, a, not, do something that really happened in your day that would surprise us. Yeah, that would be like, interesting. Like, like How the uh, fuck? I rolled out of bed. What's happening? Damn, cuz. pretty good. We're, we're going well, to have to workshop this a little more. <laughs> So, uh, Johnny, uh, what do you do for fun? You seem like a guy that would have some interesting habits. You work in real estate. I got knocked the fuck out. Uh, you know, you Let's cut to the chase. What do you jack off to? What I do for fun, I like to like stay inside for like three days straight. Three just, days straight just not and see nobody. repeating questions to Alexa? Uh, <laughs> I ain't got Alexa. Can you repeat that again, please? <laughs> Oh, what's happening? <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not quite get that. Please repeat. Hey, we got hey, action. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you on your toes. I'm gonna drop a joke, and I need a catchphrase <laughs> quick. Ready? I wish Alexa had a flashlight attachment so I can shut her up the way I want to. We got action. <laughs> <laughs> 
There he goes, Johnny Roth, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep flying through Got it tonight. Action. That's it. Johnny Roth, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving through smoothly. It's a fun episode. You guys having fun out there? Can I? Of course you are. Would someone please, uh, could I get another double Tito's and soda and a big glass no lime? I want a Diet Coke. Two double Tito's and sodas then. Somebody give me a Diet Coke. A double Tito's and soda for the large one and for the little one, a Diet Coke, please. <laughs> Wait, how many vape pens do you have? He has a quiver of vape pens. <laughs> That's called a ah, faggot. He really does. Okay. Great. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> another name out of the bucket. We met this young lady for the first time a few weeks ago. Everybody absolutely fell in love with her. Uh, she comes pretty much every week. Uh, put your hands together for the great Cassandra Cass. Whoa. Here she comes. She's been on the show once before, and it was very fun. Cassandra Cass, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Okay, um... <laughs> Damn it, I haven't been writing. I've been so busy. Okay, but I'm going to talk about eating ass. I don't know if anybody in here has done it. I know you have, sir. <laughs> eating ass is like eating yogurt without a spoon. It's very, very difficult. You know the yo play container? It's like, holy shit, can you guys just roast me? I've been such a bad girl. I haven't really studied. Oh. I know. I know. I'm sorry, Aphrodite. Um, okay, let me think. Um... Um, die, 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 die. I just bombed. I'm sorry. What? Oh A booty picture? Shake my ass? What is happening? Cassandra Cass, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. Let's just no, end no, it. No. I'll jump in. Thank you, guys. Learn a skill of my choice. That's pretty fucking dope. What the hell's wow. going on here? I fucking love this band setup. That was amazing. How about one more time for the, uh... <laughs> top shelf brass band. So Cassandra, uh, you, uh, I mean, you have all the likability and charisma in the world. We would have had no idea had you just said anything. I know. You could have literally said anything for 60 seconds. I was except so... Except for I haven't prepared. You have no work ethic. No, no, no. I had a photo shoot at 6 a.m. shooting a new calendar. That's not an excuse. And I was like, I want to come and support. I wasn't going to put my name in the bucket, but I thought, oh, well, I wouldn't be called. And Well, I mean, I, I wish you gave called. us the same effort you give your calendar. I mean, it's not <laughs> like I'm going to buy your calendar in uh, February and December is missing. Right. You're right. I'm sorry. Calendar jokes, people. <laughs> All right. I know. I wanted you to succeed so badly. Yeah. No. Yeah. I can sit on your lap if that will make up for uh. anything. <laughs> okay, you can, Cassandra. You can just slap it. Whoa, no. Jesus, Cassandra. <laughs> Use me, God damn it! Use me. Witch, oh get the witch off stage. Witch. <laughs> she is a temptress. Wow. <laughs> off with its head. <laughs> I think its head's already been removed, Jeremiah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. It's oh. been inverted. There's oh. a difference. Thank you, motherfucker. Well, I mean, I, well, mean, I, I, mean, I, I wish mistake. you would have let more come out of you here tonight rather than keep it, everything inverted uh, right. that you possibly had prepared. Um, what uh, I mean, what's happening in your world, Cassandra? Other than shooting a calendar, anything crazy going on in life? Yeah, oh. it's so funny. I've kind of <laughs> reconnected with this guy that I broke up with. He oh. was very, very uncomfortable with dating me, and I didn't talk to him for two months. And then he came to me and said, "You know, I was uncomfortable with the idea that I could be in love with a transgender woman." Uh -huh. So it kind of has been very emotional for me. Right. And then you looked him in the eyes and you said. Bobby, of course I forget. No, you. no. <laughs> no, I said, I said, I said, bend over. Bend over and let me lick that ass. 
Wow, is that really true? Yes. You licked his ass. How Absolutely. Okay. How long did you uh, lick his ass for? Well, I mean, you really ate shit here on stage tonight, if I can say so myself. <laughs> I did. I sucked. I admit it. I apologize. Nah. Why you know, are, I how, long, how long? Just out of my curiosity, if you don't mind me asking, how long does an ass eating session from Cassandra Cass last? It depends on the ass. Well, I mean, how long did you eat his ass for on that day? This is really making me ask this question. Uh, no, like five minutes. but like, <laughs> I'm very comfortable with my sensuality and sexuality. Like five minutes. I think a lot of straight guys need to get over that shit. <laughs> King Jeremiah, <laughs> what do you think about getting your ass eaten for five minutes? At least. Hey, Ma. You shouldn't give me no thanks, man. Nine minutes, no less. <laughs> <laughs> this is my impression of me asking my wife to eat my ass. You ready? Yeah. Hey, uh, will you eat my ass? What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> That you are a baby wipe kind of man. Oh, I'm beyond yeah, that. Yeah, I would have to I have the Asian wipe. toilet that squirts water up your ass. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I'm like His name forward. is Bobby Lee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be honest with you. This, I, I hope this is a progressive statement, but why is all transgendered men... Are so fucking hot these days. Oh. Anytime I see a really hot chick, I go, no, that's a dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way a woman could be as hot as you because a woman would never do all the shit that we want. <laughs> <laughs> like your legs are perfect, your arms are flawless. Yeah. You like, look more well, like a woman than any of the women that were on stage here. Tonight. You definitely <laughs> look more like more a woman like than my woman. wife. <laughs> However, Johnny Roth sounded more like a woman than you do. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, Cassandra. I can so, be a mute. So, um, I guess, you know, for you podcast listeners, just transgender, beautiful. I guess a question a lot of people have, like, when you say in the 16. Like, split open and Right, you had in. the full-blown operation, Yeah, right? I've had everything done. Right. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Could, could. And, and I'm not a... No, I need to educate you. No, I don't know anything. I don't know no, anything. No, I know. I'm I not love a this. Trans. I'm what's wrong with America. No, Go ahead. you're not. No, I'm, I mean that serious. You have cute shoes. Thank you. Okay, I'm not a transgender man. I'm what? a transgender woman. But then I don't even go by transgender. I'm just motherfucking Cassandra. Wow. Okay. the 14. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. What's an what open is the I, I'm, Do please do educate me. Transgender woman means. You went from male to female. Right. Oh, okay. You were saying transgender man. There's nothing man here except maybe my boys. Oh, okay. Your boys? No, your boys. No, I'm just being... Oh, your boys. Oh, I thought you said your boys. I went, wait, you boys. kept your balls? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. A vagina Dude, with why not? balls? Who doesn't love playing with their balls? I got rid of the dick, but I have uh, a vagina and some great balls. I keep them in the fridge. Bobby, Bo <laughs> Bobby's too shy One to, to ask 26. this, so I'm going to ask wait, you what he's asking. Bobby? Me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is Come here, you I'm little motherfucker. Ask, 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 ask. Uh, so do you self-lube? Like, how does your yeah, vagina... No, no, no. People want to know. Yeah. That's what I want to know. Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Okay. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 see your hand? I want to know. I want to know. Hold on. Is it sweat or is it your... Because your dick is tucked in. Is it your own cum from the dick? Sit down. Uh, <laughs> I, I am sitting here. Sit down. Sit Bobby is being manhandled. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. By the way, I'm you can sorry. totally sit on my lap for this conversation. I'm going to show you. No, I'm going to show you. Turn your hand. I'm going to show you. Okay. Roll it. Oh! <laughs> Bobby just turned off. Uh, so you spit on your uh, hand and rub it on your well, vagina. Well, I prefer lotion. I like flowered lotion. But, yeah, you know, you have to use lube. You don't self-lubricate. Put it like right. a Tide Pod in there or something. A Tide Pod, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. By the way, by the way, this is, I, I, I don't know if it would work in Dayton, Ohio, but this is material I would fucking pay to hear. Oh, like, yeah. if you could talk about, I've, I'm dying to know more about this. Yeah, I... Not, not, well, I don't want, like, not, I mean, I never mind, I came out wrong. That's his way of saying, I believe he wants his ass eaten. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> or like, he wants to become Brianna. I could have sex with you? What? 
Sorry. I could have sex with you. You're not my type. No, no, I meant, I meant, no. <laughs> no. I'm okay. sorry. Excuse me. What is your type? What is your type? Guys, you work out. Uh, I work Ooh. out a lot. Hey, I Bert fucking just... work out two hours Shallow. a day. Yeah. Shallow fucking bullshit. <laughs> All right, him and I are, are artists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. Do you consider him and I. I think you're very handsome in your own way. No, you know? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. So you're saying when you say they work out, you're saying you like muscly, like really no, uh, no, I mean, listen, I don't care. 18. At the end of the day, I've been with tall, short, fat. I mean, the last two boyfriends I had, one was, you know, he wasn't anything to look at. He had a good heart. Is there a depth? Uh, is there a certain depth? That only your vagina can handle. Six My inches. vagina could handle him right now ah. because I haven't. Re- <laughs> it's very thick. Go fuck yourself. All right. It's like a spam can. It's like a spam can. can. No, Fifteen I, defense. I haven't had sex this in like two months, so I use. Twenty-six. Okay. I doubt that. I can tell by your index. Whoa. Whoa. I'm she sorry. I mean, index. you're hot. Oh, she's right. She's right. <laughs> oh. Wow. All right. I tend to like Italians. Both my last boyfriends were Italians. Oh, okay. I like that fiery kind of passionate. Mamma mia. Do you like being t- choked? Do you like I being choked and all that? Yeah, I do like to be choked. Mm. I mean, I like it rough. You know, I'm a little kid. Look at me. I dress up like all these crazy characters. I like to role play. So lovely. Are there any? Are there any <laughs> transgender uh, females that are uh, prudes? Oh yeah. For real. Yes. I mean, I get a it's lot not of sh- about it's not about sex for you at all. It's about No, no. It's well, uh, I did this just to feel comfortable with myself, but I figured if I was going to do it, I wanted to be a, a hot, you know, a hot chick, you know. Yeah. Right? You're beautiful. Right, you girl? really are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm so driven by sex. No, I love sex. Do not get me wrong. I love <laughs> sex. I mean, me I too. Love- I have sex with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we related? Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I think that Lannister's oh. about to put it in her canister. If you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Holy shit! Air down. The dragon's embers burn very, <laughs> very. I should just come up here and you make fun of me. I think that's. I think fun. that's what just happened, Cassandra. Um, it was uh, fun to see you. Uh, you, you know, Tony. you just have to not no. say the only thing that you can do is show weakness on that stage. I showed you know? some major weakness. And One to eight gotta, lightning you know, damage. I'm not putting my name up. in that bucket until I got a set. Thank you all for being patient and kind. Cassandra Cass, ladies and gentlemen. I love that. There you go. Just going to add a bunch Cassandra of lightning Cass. damage. There she goes, I swear Keep to God, I didn't know on. she was a... Oh, shit. I what God, the I hell was that? I didn't know at all. I didn't know either. She is Ooh, so my wow. type. <laughs> so good. Like, I'm, I'm nervous that my type is dudes. <laughs> like, I looked oh, at shit, her and I was like, why girl. wouldn't my wife look like that? A fucking grizzly bear, bro? Look at that shit. Wait, is that? And he was like, you're like, yeah. I was like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Mark Sierra Mitaro. Whoa, it's a big pop from the right side. Mark Sierra Mitaro. Mark Sierra Mitaro. Here he comes. In. Uninterrupted wow. 60 seconds for Mark Ciara Mataro. I am Italian. Sorry, Bert. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I, know, I know I look like the community college version of Jonah Hill. Uh, I mean, <laughs> comedy ruined uh, uh, Jonah, uh, super bad ruined my high school years and my comedy career before it even started. It's also the reason why I don't look in mirrors anymore. It's fucking terrifying. You know, fuck Bloody Mary, you see me three times, you're going to get fucking Pepto Bismol. Anyways, I don't know if any of your dads have been to jail, but uh, mine has, and I have some questions for him. Like, hey, dad, uh, you know, did you did you do anything in jail? Like, did they use uh, cigarettes as currency? Or the question I really wanted to ask him for a long time. Um, hey, dad, did you get fucked in the butt, or did you fuck butts? Because that's a really fucking hard question to ask. Anyways, I got a question for you, fellas. <laughs> hey, how do you shave your cock? I shave it like this. I grab the tip of my head and I pull it out. I shave my cock like the adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these stands. Nowadays, I run this here room and 
<laughs> this dude just fucked, <laughs> just fucked with everybody. I was like, you know what, guys, I'm I'm cool now. Don't worry about it. Did I hit gamble? Interesting. Um, how much? Thirty-three hundred. I'll get them on that. Twelve to twenty-two is pretty fucking good. Better than this shit. Nice. Yeah, but I'm fucking ready to fucking take the whole fucking world, bro. Like that, my buddy looked at me like it was the most inhumane thing I'd ever seen. I was like, "Look, dude, so I don't have a cock around to show you." Oh, okay, sorry. This thing. Mm -hmm. What? 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 Drognin is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Telrasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. Interesting. You may not pass. You may not pass. Why do you got a fucking exclamation point over your head, you fuck? Find Tal Rush's I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to speak of. Drogman and I have concluded that the search of the town through here recently. So why is it a share of all of us? Drogman believes that Drogman for the fucking Drogman. Is that the dude I came with? Next one. Uh, it's Deckard Kane. Sierra Mataro. Hell yeah. Lysander. I like the charger hanging out of your pocket. You look like if a Jewish guy worked at an Apple store. <laughs> Little I didn't uh, charger know that was there. And I remember when Eric Cartman was funny. <laughs> I wore the beanie. Mark, welcome to the show. Uh, this is your first time on, right? It's my first time doing stand up for like trying it. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. Well, that's Congratulations. A, that's a big thing. Congratulations. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Pop this cherry. <laughs> I couldn't even see you from the fucking boonies over there. You guys are badass. Well, you have. Ariel back to the burning hills. I'm impressed, stranger. It couldn't have been easy. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. This dude's supposed to be telling me where the fuck to go, and he's just out here trying to sell me shit. What up? 20, 20. Approach and let's trade. Talrasha's tomb is hidden deep in the desert among six others. Talrasha's symbol marks the true tomb. If you want to know what that symbol is, you should be able to find it within the legendary arcane sanctuary. Legendary. From what you tell me, it would seem that Rodamond was bent on the task of reviving his own mummified corpse with the flesh of the living. This is very unusual indeed. It takes an incredible magic power to alter the singular purpose of an undead mind. Perhaps there is a power at work here, which is beyond my ken. I've been practicing magic for more years than you could know. <laughs> I'm older than I look, though not so old that I can't conjure up a few sparks. Interesting, interesting. This dude just sells health and potions and whatnot. 
All right, so fuck, I'll be right back, folks. You guys really are badass. You have really interesting ears. Like your your ears looks like you have earrings. I get them after my grandpa. They're like, wow. They have big earlobes. That was my nickname in high school. My football coach gave it to me. I tripped one time and he grabbed my helmet and he fucking headbutted me and he was like, "Yo, dude, you're tripping over your lobes." And then everyone was like, "Lobes!" Oh. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Never tell that story again. Um, <laughs> so you said your dad was in jail, right? Your dad was in jail. Why was your dad in jail? He actually had, he actually was holding on to um, some stolen stuff. Somebody was like, here, hold this stuff. And it just happened to be a couple paintings from OJ's house. Oh, Wait, hold on. Wow. The old house. Wow. I don't know where he lives now. Yeah. Holy shit. Did they have any blood splatter on them? N no. I've so your dad stole OJ's paintings? He, he was the one that held them. He was no, the yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. We're not cops. Yeah, we all know what that means. Yeah, off a truck. I'm how already long, saying a little too much. How long do you spend in jail for stealing a murderer's paintings? Uh, they gave him six years. Wow. Yeah. So now he's out. Mm -hmm. Did you ever ask him any of those questions? <laughs> no. Do you want to? Not really, but, I mean, yeah, it bothers me, but it's also something that I don't really... Do you, have your, do you have your dad's number? I do. You want to call him right now on the no, show? No, no, no. I got to go with Bert. This man. makes me so uncomfortable. Confront your father to a duel now. Yeah. You, how often do you talk to your dad? Uh, I went fishing with him on Friday, and that was the first time I saw him in a, in a you little... You guys seem pretty <laughs> close. Why don't you call him? Let's ask him if he ever got butt fucked. Come on, give him a call. Put him on He's speaker He's probably not going to answer. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. Mark Ciara Mataro calling. By the way, by the way, by the way, hold on. <laughs> if he has was raped in prison, we're bringing up the worst day of his life. But if he was the rapist in prison, we're bringing up the best day of his life. Come on, Bert, you got to look at the positives. All right, so when you put it on, put it on. No, hold on. Put it on speakerphone and then put the uh, put the butt end to the microphone, which is probably what your dad did in prison, by the way. <laughs> Wait, did he go to like? Did he go to a federal prison or like a like a? What kind of prison did he, he went go to? to? Corcoran. He's in Corcoran State. I think it's State Corcoran. Right, State. Hit send. Put it on speakerphone. Calling his father, Mark Ciara Mataro. Did he have to join a gang? You have to be really quiet. In the I think audience. so. He yeah. had to get rid of a bulldog tattoo. E everybody has to be quiet. Sorry, I have T-Mobile. <laughs> Shh. What's the? Oh. Pretend like we're not here. Okay. Yeah, you just called him out of the blue to find out if he got fucked in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you just woke up like you're like, oh, Dad. He's going to pick up. He's going to be a normal dad like he, he always is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, just be like, Dad, I was just curious. So. Yeah. Don't let your phone number play. Oh, he wow. hung up. So much for that Thank fishing you, trip you guys <laughs> went on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, wait. Here's, here's what I would say comedy-wise. What did you really ask him? Like, like, go into the authentic part of, like, what did you really say to him? Like, did you ever talk to him when he was in prison? Yeah. No, when he was in prison, I only went and saw him once. But Already, uh, folks, I am back. Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't do the glass. I didn't put my hand on, on the glass. <laughs> with oh. <him>. You put <laughs> your earlobe on there? Yeah. 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 Once in think. six years? You only visited him once in six years. Yeah. Wow. Well, Trying to make call, him feel bad for uh, his uh, raping, he, he, stealing he father. He wrote letters. He wrote letters? Yeah, on that big, wide, color, oh. wide ruled yellow paper. Yeah. The big pencils. It's called a legal pad. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what do you do for work? Uh, I actually am unemployed right now, so that's why oh. I had the time to come out here Hell and get yeah. a shot. What was the last job you had? Uh, I worked at an elementary school for eight years. Wow, what did yeah. you do there? Uh, I worked the before and after school tutoring center, so uh, honestly, I just dunked on kids for a couple hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> you, take, you took dumps on kids? That too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Like Mark, this is the first time you ever performed in live? Um, this is the first time I've ever performed in live. Yes. Well, I just want to say this. It was a brave thing that you just did. All right. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Haradrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Oh, nice. To read the Haradric runes it bears. Hmm. The Haradric mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, 
magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rosh's burial chamber. Interesting. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was gonna put that shit in my, uh, my little loot box, but I guess I didn't need to. So, I also need to find some fucking staff shit. Let's see, quest log. Search the halls of the dead under the dry hills for the cube. And tour esteem. Okay. Uh, Alls of the dead. Well, this dude, I guess he doesn't care. Alright, All right. I'll put the pod back on. Uh, we still got seven people. That's dope. Uh, throw me a like, throw me a follow. I'm trying to get to 50 followers by the end of this stream on Rumble. So help me out. YouTube, I've got nobody, so fucking throw me something. Throw me a bone. Alright, so I don't really have any notes with you because it's your first fucking time. But you're a brave guy, and congratulations. Welcome, welcome to life. Welcome to life. Yep. See How you. did your dad not meet OJ? <laughs> I don't think he the met Rocky. Really? <laughs> so he just decided that was the he house he was gonna break in into. Oh, you know, he didn't like go. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, cool baby. <laughs> how did he? Mark, let me ask you this. This time, <laughs> sir. Hey, no... These are gone. <laughs> how heavy are these? <laughs> Wow, the machine and the washing machine laughing together. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Two fucked up balloons. Mark, how did your dad get? Uh, how did your dad get caught? Uh, <laughs> uh, he was walking down the street with a painting. <laughs> <laughs> Just paintings of OJ in the Heisman pose. Oh, I wonder where he stole those from. I guess uh, somebody, got, somebody else that he was with that worked that job got <sighs> caught and then oh. snitched on. Him. Fuck, what yeah. happened to that guy? <laughs> I mean, I'm picturing your dad probably doesn't live in a house with tons of paintings. He has one. He's in an apartment with just two paintings. <laughs> wow. A coffee table, a fucking bean bag, but two paintings. One's in a white front cup. Did your dad ever? Uh, did your dad ever confront the uh, confront the guy that snitched him out? Uh, uh, he's actually dead. <laughs> oh, he's actually oh, dead. Wow, crazy, Mr. Sia Mataro. <laughs> You're actually oh. one of the first people ever in my life to get my name right, like pretty fast. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the top young rising comedians in the world. Um, so, Mark. How did the guy die? The guy that ratted out your dad in his sleep or uh, sure. with the fishes? See, don't those know. are questions huh? I, I didn't ask. I didn't go too deep. Oh, go too deep. He got stabbed. Do you he know got, did he really? He got stabbed. Wow. Did you just make that up right then? This oh, you guys, fucking you real live show here no, tonight, no, ladies and gentlemen. Get involved. Hell yeah, <laughs> it's going to be on Forensic Files yeah. one day. And he was away with the murder until this live podcast happened. <laughs> the guy was stabbed. He was stabbed. Do you know how hard it is to have street cred in prison when they go, what did you do? And he goes, I was holding on to some painting. 
They're OJ's baby. Just to answer my own question, Mark, I love your style. You look like both a uh, both a life aquatic character and a submarine at the same exact time. I don't know how you pull it off. Kind of what I was going. Yeah. Well, your first time doing stand up, your first time on the show. I think I heard some friends or something go crazy over there. Somebody knows you over Fuck there. Yeah, who you knows me over there? You got you have some oh. fans already. I didn't know there were people there. <laughs> and there you go. There he goes. Getting away with murder. Mark Sia Mataro, his first time on stage. Wow. We're meeting some real people up here tonight. This is fun. Mark Ciaro Mataro's first time. Oh. <laughs> that painting thing's got you. I, I love giggling. <laughs> this looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Peter Kim. Peter Kim. Here we go. We got movement from the far left corner. I remember most of the names I pull out. I think Peter's a new name. Opens for me! Yeah! It's my boy right here! Experience together for Peter Kim, ladies and gentlemen. You better fucking kill, dude! Oh my god. Hey guys, hi, it's me, gay Bobby Lee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, Bobby is Korean and I'm just a very sleepy Mexican. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, that wasn't a racist joke, but if you didn't laugh at that, you might be a racist. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be a better Asian. I'm trying to represent my people better, you know? Uh, but it's hard because I actually am a very bad driver. And, and I don't, it sucks. It really does. Uh, <laughs> but it's not, I don't think I'm a bad driver because I'm Asian. Uh, you know, it's just really hard for me to concentrate on the road. I'm constantly doing long division, you know? <laughs> 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 Gotta carry the one. <laughs> I'm also uh, a Prius driver, which is the worst, because the only thing worse than an Asian driver is an Asian driver you cannot hear coming. <laughs> huge surprise. Peter Kim, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. Fuck yeah. Wow. Peter Kim, great job. Thank you. First time on the show, right? First time, yeah. Hell yeah. There he is. But you do stand up, right? You do stand up. A I lot. do, yeah. Yeah. I can tell the one thing you did that no one else has done properly is handle that mic fucking stand. <laughs> like it's it I'm telling you when I say this, in regular con like even when I go on the road, sometimes you will get the mic cord stuck under the mic and it'll fuck you up your first couple minutes. And that, you, as soon as you did that, I went, oh, it's a smooth stand. Cool. That's the first thing I learned in stand up. Yeah. The first time, right before I even went up, someone was Take like, the get mic that out shit out of the And way. move the mic stand over the fucking side. That was great. I love that. I love that silent, deadly Asian joke. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's fucking great. Very, very fun performance. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about six years. Yeah. Now. Yeah, it really shows. Oh, thank you. Really, really fun. Uh, all in I LA? Mean, this fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking faggot. No kidding. Uh, it. no. It's okay, I let him say. We're it. friends, okay, guys? Come on. Oh, kid. Come on, I thought, you, I thought you guys just started getting along again. The two different <laughs> sides of Korea, right? Oh, I, thought you yeah. guys, I thought you guys were brothers. Now all of a sudden you're over here launching missiles at the guy. Neither <laughs> <laughs> of us are North Korea. We don't have the body for that. This is what happens when you get Bobby Lee wet after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> but this kid, yeah. um, you're friends with my girlfriend first, right? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Gilbert, Gilbert. Gilbert. So yes. on my podcast, I have a guy named Gilbert. He's our engineer. He's friends with this guy. So he opened for me a couple of times, and I just can't follow it. This guy is a beast. He was nervous tonight. I was. And you still got laughs, but this guy, when he's loose, he's so fucking good. No, I can tell. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. You're from L.A.? No, I just moved here. From where? Chicago. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I like it. And uh, you make all your money doing stand-up? I make no money doing anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually on, on unemployment. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what, what job did you have that you got unemployment from? Uh, I was an actor. 
You were an actor. Yeah, oh, at, cool. at like a sketch comedy. Were we Bobby Standin? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would be. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, I, I was uh, I was a sketch comedy person in Chicago. And you're gay. Yeah. You have a boyfriend? I do. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? Almost three years. Holy wow. shit! Wow. He's yeah. good looking too. Yeah. Well, is he an Asian boyfriend or a white? He's white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What a disgrace. <laughs> Have you ever sucked an Asian dick, Peter? I have. Is it nice? <laughs> I mean, does it have like lychee fruit kind of a flavor, mochi? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, like a dragon fruit type yeah, thing. Like a dragon yeah, fruit yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Dragon, no! <laughs> Peter, have you ever seen my penis? Have I ever shown you my penis? I haven't seen it in person. I've seen it in videos online, and stuff. Online, online. Online, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's ugly, is it not? It looks like an orc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, more like a hobbit, but um, no. I mean, we have the same exact penis. No, mine's, you know, mine looks like a sick alien now. <laughs> Remember when E.T. was in the river and he was dying? <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> if I pull it out, flowers die, yeah, the glow yeah. is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine looks like the pig from Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peter, Wait, your, your boyfriend, I'm sorry, were you going on? No, go ahead. Your, did your boyfriend move out with you from Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys came out here at the same time? We did. Huh. Uh, what uh, does he do? Uh, he's an actor and a comic and oh, writer. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very fun. And he's white? He's white, like yeah. how white? Uh, <laughs> how pure is his bloodline? <laughs> <laughs> Blonde hair, blue uh, eyes. Has he ever said the N-word? Uh, no, he well, hasn't. But I, I anytime wish you hear that pause before, you know I he's know. telling the I truth. Went, no, uh, but you know, oh, I, no. <laughs> it's because we talk, we talk about it a lot and how he the wants N-word. to say it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wants to say it. He wants to say it so bad. In what, the bedroom or something like yeah, that? Yeah, just call me. One. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, is he ever racist, like when you're making love toward Asians? You fucking fat goop. <laughs> <laughs> you fat? What the fuck? Goops where like where did fat come from? Well, you're not skinny. Peter. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> wait, does he okay. ever say racist stuff to you? Like, yeah. no, he does. not He's actually real. Like, he's a cool dude. Aww. He's from Minnesota. His parents raised him white. Aww. Yeah. I know, it sucks. It'd I be wish better. there was like some kind of... Wait, let's work a bit where your boyfriends are <laughs> racist. I have a joke about that. Oh, I like it. Let me hear it. Okay. <laughs> I have a joke about how... Um... Do the fucking joke. <laughs> okay, I will. Um, so... <laughs> My boyfriend's very uh, woke, and I wish he was a little less woke, you know? Uh, he gets very, like, uncomfortable when I d- s- try to do racist stuff in the bedroom, you know? So, and he, the other thing is he is beautiful. He's six foot one, you know, b- uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, and I look like fat Kim Jong-un. And, um, fat Kim Jong-un? No, actually. <laughs> I think it's just Kim Jong-un. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> just Kim Jong-un. I fucked that up. Um, the d- actual punchline was Kim Jong-un who started eating kale. Uh, but who cares? Anyway, so... One thing I really love doing is because he kind of looks like a young Harrison Ford, uh, and I look like fat short round. That was the joke. And uh, so I like to do this. I like to be in the bedroom and be like, no, Indy, no. <laughs> no. No, Dr. Jones, no, my temple of doom. <laughs> and he fucking <laughs> hates it. Uh, fuck yeah. I actually do that with my girlfriend. I dress up as a fat Indiana Jones and fuck short round. It's really, wow. like, that's real. Wow. That's real. Yeah. It is way creepier when he says it. Definitely. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. We did not need the act out. <laughs> Good job, Peter. Yeah. Thank you. So fun. Thank yeah. you. Bye, Thank you so much. Bye. People of all shapes Bye. and sizes, that's a six-year comedy veteran, Peter Ooh. Kim. Dropping in for the first time ever to do a minute on uh, Kill Tony. Getting pretty tired. Uh, pretty tired. Might have to crack a nectar of the not. gods uh, pretty soon. This guy is an absolute Kill Tony sensation. You know him as the newest regular. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. In his short time as a regular on the show, he's gotten signed by a big agency and manager and all that great stuff. He's a true, uh, true example of what can be accomplished with a positive attitude and funny jokes. 
Let's see what happens this week. Put your hands together for the great Malcolm Hatchet. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> Hell yeah. I went to five guys, and there was four guys working. <laughs> I was like, man, what type of shit is this? Then I'm sorry, what can we do about it? Nigga, I need a discount or something. <laughs> Everybody in here, so all my money in here either. I got a cousin, he killed two people, but scared of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he said he gonna shoot me, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get a chihuahua on your ass. I started barking. <laughs> My cousin tried to rob somebody, I started barking. He dropped the gun. <laughs> Stop him. Fellas, why every time you get some pussy from a girl and be ready to leave, she be like, so you like me? No, bitch, you was the only one up. <laughs> now give me my damn coat. <laughs> Why, why won't black people get in car accidents they lie to get money? Somebody hit my car earlier. I wasn't hurt. The cop was like, man, you know you could have got a lot of money out of this? I was like, how? He said, back injuries. So I was like, oh, god damn. Malcolm Hatchet, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Fuck yeah. Another new minute <laughs> from the great Malcolm Hatchet. Uh, very fun stuff. This is your guys' first time seeing Malcolm. Uh, initial thoughts. Uh, I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're you're great. Uh, the <laughs> the uh, I, what I like I, I like the little stuff that I feel like are jokes written for me. When you go, uh, bitch, give me my coat. <laughs> <laughs> little stuff like that, like those little p those little specifics, make me know that it really happened. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. Don't Makes ever, it feel yeah. so real. Bitch, give me my coat. You know what it is? It's this. It's like you're intrinsically funny. You know, yeah. you see somebody like um, Chris Dilly is a good example of somebody. His jokes are good, but he just, <laughs> he's got he's, 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 he's right. You know what I mean? But Chris, when I first saw him, he has this like this light, fun energy, and you have that same thing, and um, it's hard to find. And you, you're how long have you been doing stand up? Oh, three and a half years. Yeah, so you're young in it, and um, how old are you? I can't carry yeah, you're just cute, moved here seven months fuck, ago. Bro. Just you're cute as fuck, dude. Yeah, just moved yeah. here seven <laughs> months ago. Still sleeps in his car. His car broke down. He put a GoFundMe up to all the Kill Tony fans and got the uh, you know twice the money of uh, his GoFundMe to uh, get a nice car. <laughs> Did your car really get fucked up? Yeah, man, it was crazy. Yeah, it, it like somebody hit and ran that shit. I was in, I was shocked. I was like, damn. You won too. Wow. I took off. Bobby yeah. Bobby Lee's giving you a handful of money right now. There you go. Shit. A handful of cash from Bobby Lee. He put yeah. uh, <laughs> It's amazing. You can watch his. Uh, he's great on Instagram we'll stories, and he shows like you Wait, know you how, he, how he goes to the thrift store and like saves money, you know, by getting yeah, cool stage clothes for. Follow uh, you. you follow me? Hell yeah. You follow oh, me? I'm following you right so. now. Maybe What's your Instagram? You follow me. I think my phone. My phone is uh, give me my money. The Dry Hills. Nice. Get my fucking money back. Uh, exactly what I was oh, looking for. There he goes. Malcolm just ran out. What's your Instagram? Oh, Malcolm H12. M A L. Oh, L, 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 L. Malcolm, how many? Malcolm, how many? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I follow you. How many Instagram followers do you think? Twenty thousand. That's that? a good amount. Wow. I just had five thousand. <laughs> Malcolm twelve. That's Malcolm H twelve. I'm at so mostly you sorry. You gotta. You, the only thing you gotta. <laughs> yeah, I follow you. Stop playing, man. Damn. <laughs> follow back. I'm gonna follow back. <laughs> wow. Now, now I'm at mostly oh, here. Let me get. Sorry. I need to get my spells in order. Yeah. You uh, like let's, let me get you some followers by oh. doing a story with you. Hell yeah. And you just point at Bobby and go, this racist motherfucker. Right. Okay. Ready? Go. All right. Here's Malcolm. What were you thinking about Bobby? This pit bull eating cat looking motherfucker. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you starting another riot? <laughs> Follow him. Oh, he looked like an iPhone emoji. Hey, fuck you. Give me my money back. <laughs> no, I love you. Come I'm, on, man. I love I'm, you. Man. I'm with CAA, too, dog. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm oh, with CAA, yeah, yeah. too, dog. We can do Rush Hour 4. Okay. We can do Rush Hour 4. Rush Hour 4. Negative 4. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> hey, hey, like for real, four. for real, the oh, only yeah. thing I will tell you advice-wise in this business is do not, do not rest on the laurels of how likable you are and how oh, easy yeah, it yeah. is to get laughs. 
keep writing material. Yeah. I be that, trying to act tough, but it don't work. But y'all know, I don't like that. That because you're you well, are very naturally funny. You could literally eat crackers on stage. Peach flavored Celsius was the only thing they had. That was racist. As that was get the yeah, job done. Wait, I didn't say, wait. Wait, that wasn't right. You, black people aren't known for eating crackers. Oh, oh yeah. eat crackers. Oh, I get it. Oh, I didn't realize you could eat. Yeah. Oh, you could eat crackers on stage. <laughs> you could eat crackers. Look on at stage. all the white people. They pissed off. Oh, you got to use that as a joke. I ate a cracker one night, and she was on her period. Ah, <laughs> I love that. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else in life going good? Things picking up? Did you do do any uh, do any uh, thing crazy last week? Oh, uh, last week, <laughs> not that I can remember. Where are you from? North Carolina. New uh, cars. What's Geechee mean? Geechee. Yeah. What do you mean, like? <laughs> Use it in a sentence. Uh, look at that Geechee motherfucker. Oh, crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never heard that shit. Do you know who he reminds me of? Is a young Mike Epps. Oh, yeah. I get that all the time. Dude, my saw. Well, let me tell you, that, that guy fucking. Comedian. I saw him when I first started stand up. That guy murdered harder than anyone I ever seen fucking. That's murder. my favorite comedian. I just finished his book. That's crazy. Yeah, he's a. I, did he write it? Yeah. Well, it's about him. I don't know who wrote it. <laughs> it's saved by Mike Epps, maybe. I fucking love this. It's guy. a misspelled word, so he probably did write. I be. <laughs> <laughs> I would be comfortable getting schizophrenia if his voice was in my head. Yeah. No, it's true. We love him. That's why we made him the first ever male regular in the history of the show, and uh, we're excited for a new minute every week from him live here on the internet at the Comedy Store and uh, on Kill Tony. He'll be here every week, and Hell on the five-year yeah. anniversary. It's Malcolm Hatchet, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Back to the bucket, right? Should we? Should we meet somebody? Should we get another double Tito's and soda? There you go. Your it's shirt's a great still job. On. Another double Tito's and soda for Burke Kreischer. All right. Uh, this looks familiar. Put your hands together for Jess Wood. Jess Wood. Here she comes. Yeah. This is a fun one. Oh, yeah. She was on a, uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. Good side move. Put your hands together for Jess Wood, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Ah. Nice. Hey. <laughs> um, so uh, I was raised by hippies in Topanga Canyon, and uh, everybody was naked all the time, like all the time naked. Not a nudist colony, not that structured. Just naked. Pretty sure I've breastfed off five different ladies. You know, just like, here it's free and it's love. Just take it. <laughs> Free love. Yeah. Who made this baby? It's awesome. <laughs> I just found out what my first word was as a baby. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, was it mama? Was it dada? No, apparently my first word was ear. <laughs> so that was exciting to find out. It's kind of scary when everybody's naked around you, you know, especially your dad. Maybe you're looking for him one day and you're just like, daddy, daddy, daddy. <laughs> oh, daddy. Oh, oh my God, true story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I heard for that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. There you go, Jess Wood. How about that? Boom. I remember you. You were on the show uh, two or three weeks ago. You've been doing stand up. Was it seven? Or wait, no, you didn't. You never even admitted to us how long I you've been did. doing it. <laughs> was it seven years? Was it? Was it? Times seven. Yeah, no, times seven. Seven. yeah, so it's yeah. been a while it's that been you've been doing stand-up. Yes. And uh, you're very funny. We had a great interview portion with you where you admitted to having, what was it, five abortions? Yes. Right? Whoa. Well, your mom had five kids. I made the right choice. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, if they are female, throw them in the well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And another fun set here tonight. Thank you. Um, so uh, how's life going? It's good. It's really good. Uh, I'm, I haven't done acid recently. We talked about acid last right. time I was here. Yeah. Talked about PCP. Uh -huh. Smoked a lot of PCP. Right. Uh, not anymore. I'm like, but I have smoked a lot, like so much that I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> I see really what you did true. there. You feel me? Me Maybe. too. Right? I see. Maybe. Anna, what's the matter, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> well, ask her that. Bobby, Come on, you it? can do it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who, but somebody up here wants to know. Uh, 
why you just never use condoms with a guy? Why do you just keep getting abortions? Oh, I, I did get pregnant. Are you allergic to rubber or something like that? <laughs> no, I did get pregnant off a condom once, uh, once off the <laughs> diaphragm, because I'm 92, and uh, once 92. off the sponge. Oh. And once, uh, Bob, <laughs> are you putting him in your ass or something? Are you putting him in the? No. How could you get pregnant all the times using all those different things? I'm You're lying. Very you just fertile. Yeah, that's yeah. so funny. But I like what you just did right there. I, I got pregnant off a diaphragm because I'm 92. I don't Wait. think anyone knows. Like I don't think people use diaphragms anymore. No. But that's funny. Put that in your act. The Thanks. sponge. What was that about? You would just get cream pied and shove oh, a sponge up there. Oh, dude, the sponge was the shit. That like, sounds like I would. I remember I, using the sponge. I would have carried around if I was alive back then. I would have had sponges in my pocket, just yeah. ready to go. The, That's chick, the, West the chick would. Uh, I think she'd moisten it, put it in her vagina, and then you just hit it like a fucking heavy bag. Just go, go, wow. go, 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 go. It got taken off the market because everyone was getting pregnant from it. Yeah. I definitely yeah, blew exactly. loads of chicks with a sponge. In. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yes. But I guess it's not really a cream pie. It's probably more of a sponge cake, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so, Jess, yeah. would, uh, would I ask you what you do for a living last time No, for money, I'm a, I'm a waitress. Oh, really? Where, what, what Denny's are you a waitress at? <laughs> it's Roscoe's. Is it? No, I wish. Uh, I wish I worked at yeah, Roscoe's. Yeah. Uh, no, it's some sh shitty place on Fairfax. I don't want to talk. I mean, f I, I'll get fired. Uh, they I already like don't like me because I'm a Jew. So. You're Jewish? Yes. They love Jews on Fairfax. Yeah. What are you talking about? I know. About? It seems weird. It seems very weird. That you were born in a Jewish... Uh, uh, I just got high, so I'm, my head's not working uh, right. What's up? No, my mom was a Jew, got a nose job, and changed her name when she moved to L.A. from New York because she was an actress, and that's what you're supposed to do. Was she successful? No. Uh, was she what? on anything we might recognize? Uh, the Last Starfighter. No shit. Sure. There's some fans yeah. out there. That was a good movie. It's like a weird cult movie. Yeah, I was going to say the two guys clapping look like real nerds. <laughs> 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 Can I ask you a question? Hold yes, Bobby. Yeah, hi. Um, hi. <laughs> did you start later in life? I mean, or did you do stand up, quit, and then come back? I mean, what's your story? Did you? I did, yeah. I did stand up in th for a year, and I got on Deaf Comedy Jam. Ah. And then they broke my heart because they didn't know what to do with me because they wanted to put me in Fubu and braid my hair. And I was like, no, I want to be myself. And they were like, well, we don't know what to do with you. So, and they kicked me to the curb. Wow. And I, it was sad, so it broke my heart, so I stopped. Uh. But I was doing like one person shows. I could never stop being on stage and telling my story. Oh, man. Yeah. You should have <laughs> worn the Fubu and braided the hair. You could have been the new Tiffany Haddish. Hi, <laughs> 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 Jeremiah. So that was Deaf Comedy Jam, but you yes. refuse, I'm pretty sure you refuse to tell us the year, right? Even though. No, I told you last time it was 96. And oh, then you okay. said I was 96. 1896. Yes. <laughs> yes, Saya. Yes, Saya. So right. wait, how old are you? Uh, I think we're all. I think we're all pretty much the same age. Oh, I said that last time. A little younger than me, just a couple years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. Man. Very cool. Say your age, wench. <laughs> 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 I did. I did. I love it's that Hollywood. Los Angeles tattoo you have on your right I arm. Do it's I do too. Very aggressive. I love that. You're born and raised here. I am born and raised here, and the guy who did this was a graffiti artist that I grew up with, who. Um, was homeless for a while, was in jail for a while, and now he's out and he's clean and he's doing tattoos. Oh. So he does a lot of my tattoos. And to pay for it, did you jack it him off? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to, though. I want to. Wow. He's an outlaw. I like him. Wow. I like outlaws. Did he get his record expunged? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a sponge joke. Do you have any tattoos on your diaphragm? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. My mom had a tattoo on her titty. My mom's dead now, but sh it's okay. She didn't like this life. But she had a tattoo on her, on her titty, and she always liked to show everybody. And I, don't, I, I don't have any tattoos on my titties. Well, that's yeah. the, I don't know if you know this, but, but women that uh, get tattoos. <laughs> right. We made out, Brian. I know. Wait. And I met your girlfriend. Wait, you wait, Brian, wait, wait. Like, I want to hear this story. Pew, 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 pew. Uh. <laughs> we are. Oh, the spotlight just came on. <laughs> Make some noise for Danny Lucas. <laughs> Whoa, I love I that. There was up there. Next time, just hit the spotlight and turn off all the stage lights when that happens. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. You guys.
guys made out? Brian, what do you got to say about this? I don't remember this. <laughs> wow. Uh, but before my mom died, she told me my dad wasn't my real dad. And uh, it's a little late in life to find that oh, shit out. That so sucks. Yeah, so I, I was that, DNA. She told Ooh, you that right before perfect. she died. So you told her... She told you that, and then you killed her. Yes. No. Uh, about a year. At before At least it she wasn't died. incest, then. Not. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Jeez. For a second, I thought to myself, is one of the top shelf <laughs> brass band guys trying to make a joke during my show? And all of a sudden, I realize it's you, a wacky boy over here. So, how'd your mom die? Uh, just in her sleep. She wasn't sick or anything. She just. How long before she died did she tell you that wait, your wait, dad wasn't your where, real dad? And where oh. did she sleep? <laughs> <laughs> she was at the actor's age, old age home in the valley. They have like a, a she home She slept for in actors. a bear trap. Oh, Saturday. I thought you meant she was going to sl- she was asleep on railroad tracks. <laughs> oh. You did wait, get high, fucker. How the fuck? No one finds that fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my let god. Go, let me repicture it. My mom died in her sleep, but she was sleeping on railroad tracks. <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> that is actually pretty funny now that I think about it. My mom died in her sleep. No, she was leaping in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what old ho- fo- uh, what, what, Where did she die again? At the SAG old phone. There, there's like an o- yeah. SAG yes. old phone. Ho- really? Yes, yes, 100%. That's How sad is that? It's not. Oh. It's great. There were a bunch but she of didn't make actors. it in the business, so she's now dying in that thing? <laughs> well, she's di- she died in the thing. Oh. I get what it's you're right. saying, there by the way, Bird, and it is really funny. Like, it's like <laughs> my mom died in her sleep. Yeah, she was flying an airplane at the time and uh, fell asleep. And she fell asleep. Yeah. Pa- Payne Stewart died <laughs> in his sleep. It's not working, she, Bert. she ran into some guy that was it's carrying two paintings down the street. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> my mom died in her sleep. She She's on a motorcycle. <laughs> 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 She's a really bad okay. narcoleptic. <laughs> Jess, you are such a fun uh, interview. Uh, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass anything out. Anything else you think that's worth uh, talking about well, up here? I was just going to tell you that I DNA'd with a, a guy that was a criminal for 35 years uh-huh. that I'd never met before I <laughs> DNA'd with him. In the what do you mean DNA'd with Like him? we swabbed spit in the car in his Mercedes that he was driving, and I was like, fuck you, you have a Mercedes, I was raised on welfare, I need to, you know, maybe he's my dad, I was really excited that he would be my oh. dad, he sold coke to Richard Pryor, like, I wanted this guy to be my fucking right, dad, right. he was a cool, you know, drug dealing on the lamb guy, yeah. but he died too, it's a fucking great story, wow. I know. did he die in his sleep, la- yeah, <laughs> 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 on railroad tracks, <laughs> huh, <laughs> fucking kidding me, his knees, all right, there she goes, Jess Wood. Right, thank you. Great stuff, Jess. Thank you, guys. I love Come on, she's a comedy veteran. Make some noise for Jess Wood. It takes, a lot of, it takes a lot of guts to sign up for this show, whether you have a lot of experience or not. What do you guys say? We go to the bucket one more time? I don't know. The second level didn't really make any noise. You guys think so? One more? All right, let's Oops. do it. All right, put your hands together for Sid Williams. Here we go. Sid William. Williams. There he comes. He's your final comedian of the night, getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds. One more time for Sid Williams, everybody. I got an email at four in the morning from Best Buy, which is like, first off, get the fuck out of my email. If Best Buy, if you're closed right now, don't fuck, if I can't talk to you, don't fucking talk to me, Best Buy. I can't bother you at four in the morning, don't bother me. So they tell me, that they send me this marketing email. It's like, hey, you wanna buy a fucking $2,000 TV? No, Best Buy, I don't. So I unsubscribe, right? <laughs> they send me, they send me a second email just to be dicks. Let me know, hey, you're unsubscribed, but by the way, it's going to take 10 business days for the unsubscription to go through. The electronic superstore of the fucking world is going to take 10 days to un... <laughs> Can't you get fucking Geek Squad to unsubscribe me, you fucks? Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wow. That guy is... <laughs> He's like Bill Burr, but with no punchlines. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's so passionate about he's this. He's just so upset. He's just really passionately telling you what happened to him. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can really tell Sid accidentally leaves his alerts on his emails when he's trying to sleep. Uh, oh, fucking Best Buy, I'm gonna write this down in my joke book. This is the email I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, fucking Best Man, Buy. Man, this new material just writes itself. <laughs> Email You're like the weirdest looking dude I've ever seen in my fucking life. Why don't you address that up front? I'm a black Spielberg. <laughs> I mean, there's something. Don't get angry. Don't get no, angry. No, no, no angry. he's okay. Oh, you, you I can rem let me just look, you catch look you. Look like Tim Burton drew you. Yeah. Let me just catch you guys you don't up. Look human. Address that up front. I haven't, I haven't quite figured that out yet. Okay. Like what I look like. Don't I, uh, you look like, you no, look I'm like I'm Drake meets world. <laughs> no. That's fine. Yes. Yes, we have, uh, we've been over this with Sid a couple times telling him what he looks like. I believe I once told him that it looks like someone put his head into a vice. <laughs> squoze it and elongating it. I something believe I've like said that, that he has a face that looks like an athlete's foot. Right? It's long. All right. Sid, what do you think you look like? If you could describe yourself in a silly way, what uh, would you I say? I think probably the best way would be Drake meets world. Yeah. I got, I got, when I was a kid, I got uh, Corey Matthews a lot. Yeah. What about biracial Doug? Balls of the Dead. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I found it. Doug on wandering around the desert for a while, but I fell out of it. He's changed. Is that Rugrats? I didn't watch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't watch. You, it kind of looks like you took his face and then like pinched and zoomed, but pinched and zoomed out. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> yeah, you mean like put it in a vice? Yeah. You mean like put it in a vice? I don't know what pinch and zoom is. It's just hard to do rant type of comedy in 60 seconds. It is. Yeah. Your yeah. style. It is. I have a my I have a 15 minute rant. That's about like that my Best Buy email? No, no, no. No, it's about my previous jobs. Uh, it's well, a 15 minutes. I've been working on it for like seven months or so. It's pretty sharp. 15 um, minutes. Wow. Yeah. What's longer, the joke or your face? Uh, <laughs> 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 so Very funny. But, it, but it's more rant style. Um, actually, the joke I did tonight, uh, somebody told me to do it. It was the first thing I ever did at an open mic. I just basically like typed up a... Best Buy rant, and then I did it at an open mic. But I was like a lot, you know. I just started. And rants and are tough because uh, they're not; they don't really start as rants. They have to build. Yeah, and then you yeah. just got to be a joke. You got to find the joke yeah. first yeah. that allows you into the rant. So if yeah. I were you, I'd take that Best Buy thing and just get give me a punch so I'm along for the ride. Yeah. You yeah. Know, at the yeah. Very yeah. yeah. See, I have that longer rant, and it's like it, it builds from the very start. Like it starts low, and then it escalates. Yeah. And I had been working on it for a while, and it's got jokes throughout. Um, I didn't. I didn't know. My friend was like, "Just do that Best Buy thing at Kill Tony. It's all." Hey man. Okay. That. I manage an apartment. Lifesaver. That's a good neighborhood. It was a great neighborhood. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, I, I know. For work. I manage an apartment building. You manage an apartment building. Oh, really? Building. My wife did that. Yeah, I, I know. It's really great. Mm -hmm. wow. It is. It's a lifesaver. Uh, dude, life. it's a best. I, d I never wanted to leave that apartment. Yeah. 435 South Detroit Street. That's a good neighborhood. It was a great neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. 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 We had the top. The what? Top floor? I don't know. I'm, I, I just realized we were having a conversation. <laughs> I'm interested. I'm interested. We had the top loft. It was fucking amazing. Yeah, loft. Oh, I, I have a one bedroom and it's all right. But oh. it does have a dishwasher, which is also another game changer. What is your so floor space? Square feet? I don't know what ours was back right. then. Uh, so Sid, how long have you been managing apartments for? Uh, it's been, it's been three weeks. Uh, you look a good. year, like two yeah. months. What's uh, what are the most the calls about? You have to like plunge toilets. And I get a lot. No, I don't do any of that. I just get a lot of like just useless stuff. You know, like people call. Most of the stuff I get calls about is like stuff that doesn't matter. You know, they're like. Hey, my smoke detector is out. It's like, all right, fuck off, change the battery. You know, I go, you know, it's 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 a lot of that stuff. You get a real microcosm of humanity when you manage an apartment building. Mm -hmm. My wife had a bulimic, uh, uh, schizophrenic, uh, a person who was addicted to meth. We had a drug dealer. Like, there's bizarre things. Like, uh, we had a drug dealer, and the cops would just try to bust him all the time. But he was our neighbor. He'd be like, hey, can you watch my turtle this week? And he'd be like, yeah, sure. It's, it's, I, I, I would definitely delve into that. That's one guy. Yeah, but I'm kind of waiting till I'm out of it. Oh yeah. It's kinda, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a lifesaver. What's in the craziest LA right person now? you're building right now? Uh, this old Filipino dude. He just won't ever leave me alone. Like he'll he'll come to our door at six in the morning, 
He'll yeah, everybody to, else he'll texts come to what? He'll come to what? To our door. Oh my god. He like everyone else texts and emails because everyone's yeah. you know, and then he'll six in the morning just ringing the doorbell. And it'll yeah. be over nothing, you know, and it's Jesus. just like you wake up like don't you know it was just two hours ago since I was awakened by an email? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, what do you like to do for fun? What are like your hobbies when you're not doing stand up and working at the apartment building? You seem like you're into um, like like what is it like pinball or something like that? No, no. I do you know stand up a few nights a week. I have uh, a show every Wednesday, so that's a thing. Uh, Comedy Chow, gonna plug it every Wednesday at the Hooters of Hollywood. Oh wait, uh, wait, I've met you. It's fun, I've, I've met done you. It. You haven't met me, but you probably Bert. met one of the other producers. I love uh, Hooters. You should really do the show. You should do. It's oh, a good room. I love Hooters. Yeah. Uh, Tony's done it a few times. He loves yeah. it. He raves about it. Oh, he respects I love us a lot. Hooters. Uh, Joel did it. Yeah. It's cool. They built a Radio stage. Watkins they put a lot of love it. into it. It's a fun yeah, show. Yeah. Uh, so we do that every Wednesday. I do that, and then you know I manage the building. I have, would a I have to friend. sign up, or would you put me right up? If you walked in, we'd probably tell you us. Yeah. But the second time, we'd probably, probably. tell you. Probably. Keyword uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. One. <laughs> uh, and then I have a. And then I have a girlfriend that takes up a few nights a week as well. How long have you been doing that Hooters show? I've been involved personally for about a year and a half. I've yeah. been hosting the open mic portion oh, for. Oh. I wish uh, I wasn't so tired. What this fucking Celsius is the, the most disgusting the thing I've ever put she in my does, like, mouth. She like and shit like Ooh. that. Ooh. Modeling. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Tony, the band said she looks like Patty Manning. Major Cosby. <laughs> it's another Doug joke. All right. I'm really bad with references. I don't get any references. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all what, right. Wait, what is Sit. your ethnic background, if you don't mind me? I'm out. half white and half Puerto Rican. Oh, really? Wow. His ethnic background is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you an angry guy? I mean, you have this. I'm really not. Okay. Um, yeah, can you? D I just interrupted you like a dick. Yeah, you did. No, I, uh, no, I'm not. My, 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 like, comedy's kind of angry, but yeah. in real life, I'm pretty chill. But I think comedy's kind of like the venue for me to get it out. Yeah. I don't know if it's because you look like McEnroe or you have McEnroe rage. I don't get the. I mean? Yeah, What's John, McEnroe. John McEnroe, very famous tennis. Player. You heard of don't know who the fuck John McEnroe is? What does he do? No, they would. There's no way he would. He Why would. Is tennis? Yeah, no. Tennis? But it was tennis when we were kids. No. Okay. Yeah, very. Even famous. tennis today. Very oh famous. No idea. Amongst all ages. How old are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine You're next. Half month. Puerto Rican. Is your mom Puerto Rican or your dad's Puerto Rican? Mom. Mom's Ooh. Puerto Rican. I could tell. I could tell you were Puerto Rican when uh, most of your jokes lost their power halfway through. So. Wow, that was a very quick very joke. Funny. I gotta. Very I gotta give you props for that one. That's a good one. Very funny. And that's how an episode of Kill Tony goes down. That's Sid Williams, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at Sid the Adult. Wow, what a fun episode. Hey, can we make some noise for Bobby Lee and Bert Kreischer? You guys, plug some dates, please. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebel. Check that out. You guys, plug dates, please, for the love of God. People are listening all around the world. Uh, I am on tour. I'm at the Stardome in Alabama sometime in June. Yeah, Bobby. Tomorrow night. All right, Bobby. Boat Crusher episode is done, Ski. Let's see what we got here. Jamar Neighbors is pretty good. Who's Brian Bowers? Don't remember the name. Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hunt Square. What's up, everybody? Make some fucking noise. Come on, more energy. Brian Redband's here. Ninja Lisa. J. E. Belt's here. Josh Martin running around. Look at this guy. You're at Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world. Make some fucking noise. Patty Reagan doing a low energy set tonight, getting the crowd cooled down before getting the party started. 
Uh, Red Band, I'm excited to be back with you. Uh, we have some fun stuff coming up just two weeks away from the already sold out five year anniversary of Kill Tony right here in the main room. And the week after that, we have Tom Segura. And uh, we're going to Portland next weekend for Kill Tony, uh, June the 17th. We're going to stand down to Kill Tony the 16th. Then we go to Skank Fest. And that's going to be a lot of fun, July 13th and 14th. We're doing a Kill Tony in Cleveland, and Kill Tony in Fort Wayne, Indiana, the first week of August, and Lexington, Kentucky. I do stand up, and, and then uh, we do uh, Kill Tony in Nashville, Tennessee. That made up Nashville, made that we had to shuffle. Over. And then Lansing, Grand Rapids, and Detroit with the great Danny Brown. So much fun Can't wait stuff is going on. And we're getting older doing all this fun stuff. Sometimes it's not easy, you know. Red Band's on a full-blown diet right now. And he's staying healthy. Can you guys tell? Look, he has a little color to his face Can tonight. you tell I lost six pounds? <laughs> and he has sexual performance issues. And they're more common than you think. Over 25% of new ED cases are guys under 40. With, with ForHims.com, there's a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men. I just actually took one uh, yeah. right before the show. That's my yeah. new thing to do, take a Viagra before the show. Yeah. But you can, get, you can go on this website, and you can meet with a doctor. Like, you don't even have to go to a doctor's office if you have a problem. And they will prescribe you over this website. And then you... I think it's like 30 bucks a month to get generic Viagra. Well, I'll tell you exactly how much it is a yeah. month. You could try hymns for a month to great. Byron Bowers, everybody. Come on. Here we go. It's all coming together. Hey. Yeah. Hi, Byron. Byron's back. What up? Oh, this is shy. Oh, huh? is. Okay. A what? A shy. They shy. They're a little bit shell shocked right now. They, uh. Is it a wrestling jacket that threw you off? You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's ironic a black man wearing an undertaker on his back, huh? Especially when cops shoot niggas the way they are. It's it's preparing. Well, anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> taker jacket. I'm going to dig us out of this hole right now. Uh, it's not no I'm, hole. No, I know. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the band. You're, you've been on this show before. How's everything going? Everything good? You excited to be back? Man, I'm excited to be back, man. Uh, your crowd's looking better, which means you're doing better in life. Yeah, life is good. I love it. Those you are all I mean? comedians over there. Hi, guys. Oh, Fuck shit. Yeah. Look at you got a little cult following, huh? <laughs> Uh, we also have a band. I don't know if you know this, but every single episode, we have the best damn band in the land. Every week, they commit to different characters. I never know what they're going to do or what they're going to be, and they stay in character throughout the show. They're truly some of the funniest human beings. At least two out of the three of these guys are uh, some of the funniest human beings. <laughs> Put your hands together for the Kill Tony band, Jeremiah Watkins, <laughs> Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Those three energy. These intros get a little long. <laughs> <everywhere>. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. There's no way. The Roseanne? Hey. I don't get it. Is this the cast of Roseanne? Hey. <laughs> that is the Roseanne theme song. And it appears as if though the cast <laughs> of Roseanne is here. Wow. Look at Roseanne Barr. Wow. Wow, she just spit on the main stage of the comedy store. No respect whatsoever. Guys, she started here. This is where she was discovered. Make some noise for fucking Roseanne Barr. Jeremiah Watkins is in full garb. Uh, I don't know if that's Roseanne Barr or a bloated Howard Stern. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what is happening. Woo! Wow, even Roseanne laughed at that one a little bit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Roseanne, uh, that's crazy. It appears as though you have a broken arm because uh, on Instagram today I saw that uh, band leader Jeremiah Watkins actually broke his arm uh, skateboarding. Now the cast broke my arm, so I'd stop tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too late for that now. Can I say that I love two thirds of the panel tonight? Oh, Chroma Chris is in full uh, John Goodman garb, I'm guessing. 
Glad I didn't actually die off on season nine. I came back. Fuck yeah, girl, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Can you guess who the one third of the band is? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, back here, as if there wasn't enough, there's a, uh, a there's a Mexican Howard Stern, it appears, <laughs> for some reason. I can literally make it. We've all seen private parts. This is two different phases of his career. This oh, is college hilarious. Howard Stern. And uh, there you have uh, Fart Man over here. Uh, the name's Darlene, Tony. Wow, look at you. And I got my eye on Ryan J. He's an artist. Wow, Ryan J. Evil, who uh, draws every episode. He's drawing tonight's episode, and uh, you can get all those prints at RyanJEvil.com. Cool prints of each and every show. Who knows what Did he do his beard, too? Who's beard? Did he draw his own beard? <laughs> that is a thick, thick gullet that he has. <laughs> uh, so shall we get it started? All the pieces are in place. The cast of the Roseanne show. I guess Roseanne's going to play with a broken arm. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Roseanne, you ready for this shit? Yeah, bring it on, bitch. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. <laughs> hey. Are you going to let me get my neck strap on? <laughs> don't know what just happened. Uh, sometimes after Jeremiah hits a big joke, uh, he'll go into a careless whisper solo along with that music, and uh, Red Band hit it while the sax wasn't on all the way, and his arm is broken for the first time ever. So he didn't go you guys ready to start this shit, huh? This is a real live episode. Just goes to show you that anything can happen here tonight. We can meet a complete stranger. <laughs> there he is. Well, he's still got it. Holy shit, this dude. <laughs> wow, check. Ow! <laughs> check this shit out, bro. <laughs> check this shit out, bro. You guys ready to bro. start this shit or what? Here we go. I pull the name out of the bucket. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I, if I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds of stage time. Uh, that means wrap it up in 60 seconds. So it'll show right you the sound of a kitten. Finish then. Yeah. We're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. So do your time. 60 seconds. You guys ready to start this shit or what? I pulled the name out of the bucket. Here we go. Fire damage. Pretty good. Live from the comedy store. Anything can happen. This looks like a new see. Did you do? Uninterrupted. 60 seconds from Ishpal Sidhu. Ishpal Sidhu. Yeah! <laughs> Ishpal. Oh no! Wow, no ish, Paul. That sounds. Oh, that's disappointing. Blacklisted. Oh, sounds like he'd be. Ew, the worst oh, kind. Tired as fuck. <laughs> wow, Rose. Nah. What? What did I say? <laughs> All right. Just like. ABC did with your show. Let's keep it moving along. Uh, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Danny Polish Chuck. Danny Polish Chuck? Is that a real name? What? Is this the dude Here it comes. Yeah! that writes all those skits with the Canadian guy? It is. Holy shit. Polish Chuck, everybody. Come on. How's it going? Do I just start right now? Um, I don't know. I got really baked. I, uh, you guys are, this is a WNBA town, right? You guys any big WNBA fans here tonight? No, I don't like the WNBA just because it's not good. Um, I actually have a way I think I can fix the WNBA, though. People don't like it, uh, mostly women. But I think what they need to do is they need to lower the net like a foot. I said this at a show once, and this woman yelled out. She goes, fuck you. She didn't obviously like, you know, as a woman, she didn't. She'd never seen a game in her life. She just like took that as an attack where she's like, what, women aren't good enough for basketball? And it's like, no, it's just women are smaller people. Just lower the net a proportionate amount, right? Like they already play with a smaller ball because women have smaller hands and also it goes in the hoop a little easier, doesn't it, sweetheart? So how's that close to a minute? Uh, there you go. That's a minute. Whoa. I figured that was around there. Danny Polish Chuck. How's it going? Good internal clock on you. You know exactly <laughs> when a minute of bombing is done. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You Rose said Man. that time. Are you good? 
You good. You set the timer. You knew when it was supposed to explode. Uh, Roseanne looks like she wants to say something. Can I just say I hated this sack of filth? Fair enough. Wow, why is he such a sack of filth, do you uh, Degrading to women. <laughs> Big WNBA fan, Roseanne? Sing the anthem at one of them? Uh, all right, Danny, over here, over here. Let me save you. Let me save you, Let me save you like the kitten did. Uh, how's it going? How long have you been on stand-up? Eight years. Eight years. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Fuck yeah. Eight years. Yeah. Where at? Uh, in Toronto. All in Toronto? Yeah. Toronto. How long have you been in LA for? A day. Wow. What are you doing here? Just uh, visiting. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, just supporting the American economy as how, best as I can. How does the WNBA jokes go over in Toronto? Pretty well. We don't have a team. Uh, we have the Raptors, which they're not very good. Yeah. But y'all don't have a woman's team. Oh, no, have we, have women's ho- we have women's <laughs> hockey, okay, but it's not good either. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so wow. what, po- what, what point were you going to make with the whole WNBA thing? It's generally a longer bit, but oh, I don't. No. Oh, yeah, no, don't no, say no, no. that. No. 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 <laughs> I, think, I think all these people agree that it should be a much, much shorter bit. Like it's zero <laughs> seconds would be perfect. <laughs> All you really said is they should lower the hoop. It's more like a, just a thing to start an argument at a Thanksgiving dinner table than an actual like yeah. stand-up comedy joke. <laughs> you you could doing? take out you could take out what the woman said and actually get straight to your point of view. You what do you mean? mean? Like you was like, I did this thing and this lady said this, and for that bit, they ain't needed. You could just come out and say, I think they should lower the hoop and put it. Oh, okay. Day. Well, I got, yeah, fair enough. If it was distilled down to sixty seconds, so I kind of have to. No, you would add more laps in the 60 seconds. Uh, potentially. Yeah. Oh, potentially. I don't think That's anyone cool. cares about the WNBA, so they wouldn't really care about a joke about the WNBA, you know? I don't know. As far as I understand, people love the WNBA. <laughs> okay. Yeah, from your from your country. <laughs> you, you were watching it from... That was, that was a joke, I know, oh, that okay. the WNBA sucks. I mean, uh, I got you, I got another, you, Danny. That was another bomb, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, Danny Polish, Chuck. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for a living in Toronto? Uh, I do some TV and film stuff. I just had a movie out in Canada. Are you like the Canadian Jonah Hill or something like that? No. Canadian uh, Harvey Weinstein? Closer. <laughs> more <laughs> accurate. You look like he jerked off into I have a really nice couch. It's uh, waterproof. Um, um, so, Danny, what are you doing <laughs> while you're visiting here in <laughs> L.A.? Like, what else, yeah. what else is uh, on I'm going. I'm going to visit a friend of mine who has a TV show here. And uh, and then I'm going to Boulder, Colorado, to visit my brother. Um, yeah. Is your brother the Boulder? That's that's the what? widest ex- LA experience ever. You know what I mean? As you're not gonna visit no Mexicans while you're here. They don't have a lot of those in Toronto. Th- are there Mexicans, literal Mexicans, to visit? Hell, fuck yeah. What just, do go, you? just go backwards. What, what is? I didn't. The, I, I didn't Look, see that on trip. I wasn't seeing it on trip. Go to Los Angeles Street. What's that? Go to Los Angeles Street in three hours. Los Angeles Street? Yeah. They come to you. That's the beautiful part about L.A. What TV show does your friend work for that you're here to visit and hang uh, out with? Future Man. Future Man. Is that a Canadian television show? 12 to no, 20. Oh, okay. yeah, that's 12 right. to 22. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I this is a good backup to weapon. To I can some add some fucking uh, so gems oh, to oh, it. Fucking, ugh, what the fuck was that? Land, like, specifically, you're in Los Angeles. Angeles, other than going to a future man. Uh, I'm uh, going to go to the Getty Museum, oh and uh, I'm going to check out some shows. This guy's actually good. Danny. Danny. Danny Polish Chuck. Hi there, I'm Sean Green, and I'm the guy that tracks hate speech online. You've probably been hearing about a huge uptick in hate speech recently. When is this from? Eight days ago? I have never seen this, so hopefully this is good. I've seen a few of his skits, so let's see. And I'm the guy that tracks it on behalf of the ADL and the Center for Countering Digital Hate. My job is a very difficult one, but it's one that's very necessary and rewarding. I scan X, formerly known as Twitter, all day looking for hate speech in order for people to understand how bad it really is right now. And it's not an easy job, let me tell you that. 
Besides having to expose myself to so much hate, it's really just a mentally challenging job. People all the time are saying I'm mentally challenged. And when it comes to my work, I could not agree more. Take this tweet, for example. Those big nosed, funny dressed people are a cancer on society. So this one is actually not exactly clear who the hate speech is being directed at. So what I will do is I will put one check for anti-Semitism and one for anti-black racism, just to be safe, as obviously this can be interpreted either way. Here's another example of how difficult this job is. Check out this video that was posted to X yesterday. Niggers are dirty, filthy. First two seconds, Whoa. no real issue here. Black on black, totally allowable. Let's play it a few more seconds. Kite. <laughs> and there you have it. And again, this is not an easy job because you think, hey, that's anti-black racism, but it's coming from a black person. So technically we won't count that. So what I will do is I will just count that as a single instance of anti-Semitism coming from her and then add up all the anti-Semitism in the comments, the retweets and the likes, which comes to a grand total of 117 anti-Semitisms. And now here's another difficult example that I face on a near daily basis. Now just look how awful this is. Correct, right there, yup, you see it. Did you see it? Yup, I bet you did. See, right there, it says, I hate Asian and Indian people, especially the gay ones. Now that's actually five different instances of hate speech. That would be homophobia, anti-Indian, anti-Asian, anti-Asian homophobia, and anti-Indian homophobia. Any mention of transgender people, we just instantly say that's hate speech as well, regardless of who's saying it or what the context is, as just the mere act of discussing transgender people's identities is hate speech. Islamophobia is also a very huge problem recently with many, many new occurrences, and we've actually found a new example of Islamophobia that I'd like I'm going to call it there. That was not the best. Let's see. Uh, this guy's funny, I swear to God. A lot of people say that money doesn't matter. And by a lot of people, I mean me to a homeless guy before I walked into this building. I said, listen, it's not going to help you. It's not going to make you happy. <laughs> He goes, dude, by the time I give you this dollar, the Fed's going to make the purchasing power of it basically <laughs> zero. He goes, I need five bucks. And you go, I mean, you, th I'm basically giving you liquid paper. So there's no <laughs> point. Buddy, by the time you walk to that store, this is going to be worthless. So why don't I just save us both the trouble? I'd love to give it to you. And you could be burning those calories, which you're trying to, you need those at this point. So we're really doing you a favor. A lot of people say that money doesn't matter. And All right. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. It was mostly the other guy, but he has a funny podcast. <laughs> Wasn't the best showing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, visit some friends and stuff. Some other comedians. Does anybody know the, the other guy? The guy he has a podcast with? He's super funny, too. Yeah. Anybody know his name? Put it in the chat. You're going to go to the improv tomorrow night? I have got to take a uh, piss. For, uh, you know, Jeff Danson? Clearly there's a penguin in the corner of the room over there. Uh, anyways, yeah, my friend. Are you grinding up weed? A little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, should I not have said that? I don't. I don't have good American etiquette, obviously, so far. So uh, Danny, we'll ask the question. Okay, fair that? enough. Fair that's enough. That's how we do it here. That's in America. I'm okay with that. So, so uh, eight years of comedy. And, uh, <laughs> that's a long time to uh, to uh, to do comedy. Like, what's your second best bit you got? I didn't even know I was supposed to do my first bit. I was smoking weed out in the back. I was not prepared to go on. Clearly, that's that's funnier than the. <laughs> Not from what the w the way they reacted, it wasn't. You know, I think I think uh, we maybe for your set to got better, we should have lowered the hoop a little bit. Oh, oh. hey, <laughs> alley hoop, <laughs> alley hoop. I'm gonna I'm gonna suck your dick later, Tony Anschcliffe. Wow, thank you, Roseanne. I'm excited about that. Roseanne gets a bad rap up in Canada because. Danny, don't no. try anymore. Stop okay. trying. Oh. Stop <laughs> trying. All right. Uh, so, like, are, do you have any, like, cool, like, special skills or talents? You seem like you're, you're really good uh, at something. Yo-yo like or something like that. Play-doh? Yo-yo. No, I can't yo-yo. What is it? What's your special talent? You have a special What's your movie about? It's about, uh, remember Rob Ford? The crack-smoking mayor? Yeah. It's about him. Are you, do you play him? I don't. I'm not that fat yet. Uh... No, it's uh, we have this actor named Pat Thornton. Cool. It's called Filth City, and uh, yeah, I play gotcha. a police officer. That's what I call my vagina. 
Hey! Yeah. Wow, Roseanne. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> Fat City. <laughs> so, Danny, uh, go back to uh, special talent. What do sure. you think you're best at? Ooh. Uh, What's your, like, if you had to do something to, like, impress someone? I'm pretty good at, I'm pretty good at shooting free throws. Really? Yeah. Shooting free throws? I'm pretty good free throw shooter. Legitimate regular once I have to run, once I have to run, it's bad. But, uh, so you like just to get the foul? No, no, I just shoot the free throws like a carnival act kind of. Wow. Yeah, so the answer is you don't have any special <laughs> skills or talents. No, no. Those well are free throws. They're called <laughs> free throws for a reason. <laughs> I could put like NBA women shoot those on regulation size. Oh, they shoot. would they would destroy me. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Doesn't he look like a sleep deprived Tom Segura? <laughs> there you go. Maybe. There you fucking ten comedians oh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Are there only ten people here know who Tom Segura is? No, I oh, okay. Know. All right. Sorry. It's okay. Thanks, Danny. What did I tell you about asking? Sorry. Questions? Sorry. Piece of shit. <laughs> Apologize, Canadian. Uh, I literally just said sorry like three times. All right. All right, it's Danny. Emb it's well, embarrassing. I mean, what do we find out about you? That you are basically the maple syrup of comedians. Uh, <laughs> sort of slow, not quite tapped all the way yet. <laughs> Untapped talent. All right, it was nice to meet you, though. Thanks, you man. Thank you. didn't know he was getting on. He was just smoking pot out back. Right before show, he signed up where he could potentially get on. Hey, it's not his fault. Feel free to use that excuse in life anytime you want. I think the most shocking thing to me, he said, was eight years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, shit. And, now, and you can't do one minute out of that. Blue. He said it like it was a prison sentence, too. He was like, you know, eight to ten. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Thudo Marangula. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm excited about this. That's a badass name. Hey! Thudo Marangula. Yeah! Hey, I know that song. Power Rangers. Thank you so much. Uh, that was close. It was. It's Tuto Marengula. And uh, take your time. It's a bit of a mouthful. My name sounds like an African war cry. It sounds like some shit they say in Black Panther before they charge out into battle. I'm from uh, from South Africa. Yeah, I'm a poor man, Trevor Noah. Interesting fact about my country. Sorry, I'm still tired from running. <laughs> there are more white people. <laughs> no, no. Um, <clears throat> there are more white people living in the country of South Africa than they are in the entire African continent. That's why I had to leave. How's that even possible? It was taken away from the African experience. Here's an African joke I've been working on for about 46 years. Uh, if you get the joke, dope. Wakanda forever. If you don't, life's a bitch and then you die. African joke. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I believed every part of that set except for the part where you said you were out of breath from running. Uh, I was little, yeah, that threw me off too. Yeah, I was I've like, seen he South was Africans Africa. run before. <laughs> like you can go much longer distances. <laughs> Strong <Yeah>. endurance. <laughs> Okay, so how do you... Our education system ain't that bad. We know what the yeah. fuck y'all be running from over there. Yeah. How, do you, uh, how do you pronounce your name again? You it's a uh, Tuto. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> fuck yeah! <laughs> Tuto Marengula. What, Tuto does, that, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I like how he just started jamming on cue when he played. He kicked in. I was like, what the fuck going on here? <laughs> fuck yeah, Tuto. Tuto Marangula. Marangula. Gula. Yeah. The circumference. You were uh, born here? No I was born in South Africa, yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, since I came here for college in 2013, but I lived in New York for a while, and then I moved to LA in 2014. And yeah. that's where you went to college, was in New York? Yeah, New York, yeah. What did you study? Uh, acting. Wait, what? Film acting. I studied, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, how's that going for you? Uh, I don't know. Mm. That's perfect. That's <laughs> yeah. how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but it, it's 
not going anywhere well, right now. Not, yeah. I, I just want to uh, know I heard that they're making a sequel to Get Out. So uh, Yeah, I'll I'm take it. Oh, yeah, what's up? Good Jordan Peele. I got a question. <laughs> In yes, your sir. native language, like when they asked how you acting was going, you was like, uh, that's like an American. Like in your language, how would you be like, uh, like, uh, <laughs> how is acting going? Acting, uh, how is that? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. Ain't no, uh, ain't no, like, but you scratch the back of your head. Like, no. y'all ain't got that over there? No, we don't, yeah. What you just say? You just we say, ah, like, uh, the same way, yeah. Uh, you know, one thing I learned uh, recently. Ah, it's like a universal term. <laughs> one oh, shit. One thing yeah. I learned recently. I ain't been to Africa, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, every, yeah, we say, uh, in South Africa all the time. Yeah. One thing I read about the other day was how people uh, are taught how to sneeze, basically. In different countries, everybody sneezes sort of differently. But achu is really an a extremely very white American thing. Yeah, yeah. thing. Uh, how Afri- do people sneeze where you're from? <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it, bro. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's it's a louder sneeze. You, gotta yeah. let, you let all the, s- the, the demons out when you sneeze. Oh, it's demons in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's Damn, what the fuck going on That's over why people it. say... Bless you. That's actually British, but bless but you comes from that. Yeah. What do you guys say after the uh, after you sneeze? Eight. Uh, what? <laughs> oh shit! I'm just fucking around. Holy shit! I no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. All right. Yeah. It's, it's like he was reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fucked up. No, you're good, man. I, yeah, you're good. Look at my eyes, brother. I see you. Bro. How long have you been up, in L.A.? Bro. Uh, since 2014. Since 2014. Yeah. And how do you make a living? I uh, I work valet at a Marriott downtown. I park hey, cars. I did valet living. too, man. Oh yeah, yeah so it's 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 <coughs> something. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. You ever Thank see anyone you. famous? Uh, Kevin Smith. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basketball is across the street from the Staples Center, so yeah, they, they yeah. have like the Lakers dudes like stay across. You the have street. a test drive cars? Uh, pardon? You have a test drive the cars? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of like, the last really dope car. Oh, yeah, I, I got to drive a McLaren 570 GT. Oh, my God. So yeah, they, I know. So they it was left my their McLaren with you to pull it, like, what, down into the parking garage? Yeah, yeah. And then what do you do with it? Well, no, drive we put the most expensive car in the loading dock, so no, there's, like, cameras in everywhere, yeah. I used so to drive and shit. Where'd you take it? Did you do it? I just, I put it in the loading, in the, in the loading dock of the hotel, like, upstairs, but... Uh, the new cars have buttons now as opposed to gears, so it took me a while to actually make it move, so I was revving it and I looked like an idiot. But it was, you know. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen, like, sitting on somebody's passenger seat or in their cup or anything like that? Anything crazy to stand out to you? Yeah, what really surprises me is the amount of people, like, you like pull, like, a really expensive Mercedes, like, six uh, s550 amg yeah. and it'll smell like weed and immediately you assume that it's going to be like a producer like a black guy and it's going to be like the most conservative looking like white man in like a suit no yeah absolutely. yeah so i yeah. agree with that 100 cool. percent yeah. that amg pot smoking lifestyle actually yeah. <laughs> uh fuck yeah so what else man what what else do you do for fun like here in la what do you find yourself doing like socially uh, well, I, I kind of like I I do mics all the time, so I spend most of my time at home just watching like shit tons of like stand up, and then I'll like work on my own material. And then at night I'll do I try to do like two or three mics a night. You talk to your parents a lot. Uh, uh my dad died. Oh yeah, so yeah, I, I right. dealt with it. I I know. All I'm right, fine. you guys just found out, so it's a bit of you know. I get it. I'm no, cool. I saw your uncle. That's the African American uh, experience, <laughs> yeah. right there. Uh, but uh, but my mom, I, I talked to my mom. I spoke to my mom yesterday. Yeah, we talked. I'm a I'm a mommy's boy. Uh, yeah, uh, totally. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear but about your dad. Can you talk about it? Or is uh, it? yeah, I was uh, I was 17. It was kind of like the reason why I decided to move to the states. Yeah. What happened? Uh, it was. It's like elephant. African. <laughs> it was malaria. Um, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, but he, he had he had <laughs> no police or no shit like <laughs> that. Is that <laughs> your <laughs> malaria <laughs> sound effect? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never heard malaria. Hey, that's a up. unique thing to me, malaria. I usually hear no, about other it, fucked up shit. It was the ego, man, because he he had he he had grown up in Mozambique and basically was thought that he was immune to it. So for years he was immune to it, and then he was gone from his home country for so long that when he went back. He was no longer immune to it. So wow. Hey, that yeah. a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Killed at the house. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. That's a mosquito bite, basically, right? Yeah, it is a mosquito bite, yeah. Wow. So, like, tourists always get, like, injections, like, you know, like, uh, vaccinations and shit, but uh, when, you, when you're a native, you, yeah, you kind of, your body 
adopt, like, you know, adopts it. Adapts, sorry, not adopt. So, like, what does your mom say about you doing stand-up comedy? Oh, she's fully supportive. Yeah, she, uh, my whole family's fully supportive. Uh, well, some of them aren't, but, you know, it's cool. I live with it. Mm. You, you tell them how different the mosquitoes are here and shit? <laughs> Dude, I, that's the thing. Like, I've never been bitten by a mosquito in America. Like what? it's a like in South Africa, like it's a thing, dude. Like yeah, the mosquitoes oh, yeah. here. Are, the mosquitoes here are afraid they're gonna get something from you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's the genes. Of Those American yeah, mosquitoes that's, they can don't smell that blood. They like yeah. this ain't no this ain't no regular nigga right here. This, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't watered down. This the whole thing. I ain't ready for the whole. This is this top shelf nigga right here. This. <laughs> Plus six energy. Oh, that's stupid. Woo! Congratulations, man. You full blooded and shit. Oh, God damn. You. Look at you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that, man. Let me ask you yeah. a question, too. Yes. So, you went, you, uh, you ever been with a white woman before? Uh, yeah, man. South Africa, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what the, the white accent women over there pussy like? What? What the white women in South Africa pussy like? I, I, I've never slept with a South African white girl. Mm. But you've I, been with an American. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's Motherfucker. The, yeah. Yeah. I feel you, though. <laughs> Yeah. How does that normally go down? You prefer, you prefer, I'm just curious, do you have a preference between the two, white or black? Uh, uh, I like my women like my coffee. Uh oh. Fat as fuck. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, what? Brian. Yeah, let me Coffee's not fat. <laughs> Man, I, I, I had such a good. Fuck. Black and Put bitter. Some butter in it. Black and okay, bitter. Okay, black and bitter? Lot. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. Wait, wait what, was it? what was it? Wait, do you, do you go to Wakanda? Hold on, wait, wait. Butter? How do you <laughs> like your coffee again? I miss it. I like my women. Tell them how silly his coffee joke uh, was. I like them. I like it like my women. I like my coffee like my women. Black and bitter. Black and bitter. Hey. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I, Bro, man, I lost momentum. Hey. Come yeah, on, Red Band. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Wait, I have an oh, idea. I'm from Atlanta. I have an idea. Say it again. Yeah, it's going to get funnier the more I say it. Yeah, I just repeat it. You got to go to Atlanta. Dude, Slide I know. Of black and bitter down there. Yeah, I'd love to go to Atlanta. And you see what well, you see, like the all black city in America. Yeah. 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 Poison yeah. link reduced yeah. by. No, but I, I heard percent. like Atlanta is like a Beverly Hills for black people. Man, it's, like it's more than that. It's all yeah. Wakanda. It's, it's yeah. Wakanda, nigga. Fuck it, yeah. We go got the technology down there. You yeah. Know? <laughs> you find a difference in the uh, in the uh, going back to white or black women? Do you oh, find sorry. A, do you find a difference with a white woman that uh, is different than being with a black? Uh, yeah. What do white women be like, and what do black women be like? Uh, <laughs> 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 I find. Wow, that, Roseanne. Yeah. I think you Tony doing research. <laughs> Tony totally doing research right now. Uh, I just like to hear people's different perspectives. To be honest, man, like uh, I have an easier time with white women because white girls get very impressed by shit. Yeah, like what? L like easily, like after like doing a mic, like girls, oh my god, you're amazing, you know. Black girls just go, that was good. So uh, yeah, so I, I'm I'm kind of unimpressive to black women. Do Do you ever thicken? Do you ever thicken your accent oh, for time. white women? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. does it sound? What's the difference between the way you talk to a black woman and the difference between how you talk to a <laughs> white woman? <laughs> I, uh, I definitely try. I was like, have these many wolves out at once. It's pretty dope. Uh, I'll, I'll, I try to tap into some ebonics, I guess. Like, yeah. Ebonics. Uh, I want an act out. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, Roseanne. You gotta relax. Roseanne, calm down. You can't be ordering niggas around. Man. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you think you at? The way I should be. <laughs> <laughs> Roseanne, you are out of control. Oh, Unemployable. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tuto, it was so nice to meet you, thank man. You, thank, thank you. you so feel, much. feel free to come back anytime you want. Course, Sign up you. again. Tuto, Marin Gula. Congratulations, man. Hell yeah. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Look at Jerry's mouth. What? Jerry? Did you just call Jeremiah Jerry? Yeah. Wow. The name's Roseanne. Yeah, he's not old enough to be Jerry yet. The, the name's Roseanne, and I'm the female version of Brian Redman. <laughs> 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 All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Maddie Dial, everybody. Come on. Maddie, <laughs> Maddie Dial. Dial. Yeah, Maddie! I thought fucking uh, Jamar Neighbors was supposed to be on here. Hey guys, I'm from Texas originally, where we don't really like, uh, I wouldn't clap at that, but we don't hey, really like to express our emotions. Like we didn't grow up saying I love you. 
Like maybe my mom not expressing that she loves me is the reason I'm a stand-up <laughs> comic and not a successful doctor, is to say. But on top of not expressing our emotions, we also like didn't talk about anything that made us feel uncomfortable, including sex, drinking, and drugs. So it wasn't until high school in a very large group of people that I discovered that tampons cannot take your virginity. <laughs> It was also, uh, for the longest time, I thought that weed and hookah were the same thing. And it's really embarrassing when you're in a group of people and you think you're high and they know you're not. <laughs> Four Even to eight. I feel like I'm a lot less naive now. I still think the world's like pretty confusing of a place. Like, why is it considered disgusting to not wipe down your elliptical after using it? But it's okay to lick someone's asshole. Fuck yeah, Maddie Dial. There you go. Hello. Is this your first time on the show? It is, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. It was a fun minute. How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, I'm like still out of breath. I like don't exercise much. Um, two years-ish? Two years. Yeah. All here in L.A.? Yeah. Is this where you're from? No, I'm originally from Texas. Oh, yeah. What, what part? Do you want me to redo my set? No, I no, no. <laughs> I definitely don't. Don't do it. No, it was just nobody uh, no, pays da- attention no, to that part because it doesn't come back around in the punchline again. That's so true. that part didn't matter. So what city in Texas are you from? That's true. Uh, Dallas. I ignore the needless information because I listen to so ignore much Ignore the first 30 comedy. seconds. No, yeah. no, it's not how it works. It's the needless information. It has nothing to do with the time limit That's whatsoever. <laughs> wow, no. this reminds me of the board game, Don't Wake Daddy. <laughs> There you go. Good one, Roseanne. Very good. Uh, Y'all got some chemistry. I can tell you. <laughs> All right. Everybody settle down. Uh, <laughs> Y'all piercing straight through each other. I like it. You know what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> Very good. That's how the Me Too movement started. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, Dallas. Uh, what city in Texas is it? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And yeah. you've been here for two years? No, I've been here for longer, but I've been in stand up for like two years. Okay. Chain gloves. Out here before you started stand up. Uh, college. Unidentified. I went to Loyola Marymount University. What did you study the there? Uh, nine uh, defense. <laughs> really, really good degree. Yeah. Really happy about that. Do you that. have a job? How do you survive? <laughs> yes, I do yeah. have a job. I am a stylist for a company called Stitch Fix. What are you styling? People. Oh, that's like oh. the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about Roseanne? Online clothes. Theater? Money. All right, Roseanne, yeah. you look like you had something you wanted to say. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, Maddie. What, what's the diameter size of your tampon? <laughs> Okie dokie, Maddie, back We're over over. here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Mine, no? Mine's a tree trunk. <laughs> <laughs> when it goes in, when it comes out, it's a toothpick. Am I right? Because of the beaver? <laughs> what the f- so you're a stylist. Is that a typical thing for a communications person to get into? You just knew somebody or something cool like that? How do you get yeah, a job I like that? Yeah, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I graduated, and I started working retail, and it sucks because people are so mean. Um, but I liked the clothes and stuff, and then one of my friends who I worked with left to work for them, and she was like, you should come too, and I did. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. What's, yeah. w- what's the worst customer you ever had in retail? Uh, All right, Roseanne. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so- <laughs> sorry I'm asking the hard-hitting question that <laughs> yeah. nobody else wanted. To <laughs> All right, Roseanne. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Maddie, you, have a, you uh, have a boyfriend? I do. How long have you been with him? Uh, almost four years. This fucking fire rock is like <laughs> spreading through what these people. What are like that for? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry, everyone. What are you uh, apologizing for? I'm sorry that we couldn't work out. What, oh, the, what does the boyfriend do for a living? He works at a talent agency. Oh, wow. Shit. Does, does he represent one of the top young rising comedians in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Red Van perk up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seems like a nice guy. <laughs> well, that's fun. That yeah. seems to be good for... So... You were with him for two years before you decided to start doing stand-up I was like, comedy? I was like, mm, this feels like a good investment. <laughs> right. Maybe he could help you out. No, no, he doesn't. Um, he is unfortunately not that department. Like animal oh. talents, He's like dogs and stuff. 
He he represents McDonald's. Yes. Dogs. Mm-hmm. Oh, dogs. Oh, there you go. <laughs> McDonald's. Um, no, he's in. Uh, I mean, I guess it's all kind of the same. He'd be really offended by me saying that, but he's in like motion pictures talent. Oh, and ka-ching, ka-ching. Oh, wait, no, he's not anymore. Effects, he's not right. anymore. <laughs> oh, he's in motion picture lit now. Sorry. Different wow. department. Yeah. So what does that even mean? Be a writer. Yeah. No. All right. I just like to go where it's where it seems most convenient. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite stand-up comedians? Whoa. The fun. Ooh, um, I love Beth Stelling. I think she's hysterical. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the Beth Stelling uh, the trademark. Best, best Stelling meeting fans. call. Any other female comics you like? <laughs> <laughs> I love Roseanne Barr. Have you ever? No. no. One like clap. <laughs> um, Perfect. And <laughs> yeah, I like. I love John Mulaney too. Yeah. Obviously, like he's great. Um, yeah. You're real hip. You live 87? In area. No. no. I hate the... I'm sorry. I hate the east side. Where do you 84? Live? Oh, yeah. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Plus it gets a socket? Yeah, does this have a socket? Man, you're so mean. It does <laughs> noise. Clearly the ambience kicking How in. much is this? I live in, uh, like, just like 10 minutes south of here. It's like mid-city. Area. What? I'm but just going to store I this. could live in Silver Lake, I would not. Right. You this is a nice fucking backup set, bro. All right. Like so I got a free sock. No, no I just I don't. In, uh, Eleven percent enhanced uh, defense, increased maximum durability by thirteen like percent. Like Fuck me in the baby. face. I'll be right back, this folks. Is whenever a woman has a baby and her vagina is really messed up, and then you stitch it back up after it's done, and then the doctor says, "Hey, hubby, you want an extra stitch?" And he's like, "Fix it. You got it." Hey, Rose Daddy Sam Bar. That That's was why spot she's a goddamn on. Goddamn legend. That's spot on. Uh, no, it's a company. So like, you sign up and you send your measurements and like your style in, and then I get that and I pick things to send to you. Like a subscription box. Yeah, it's type like a subscription thing. box. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Man, it people seems are struggling. Yeah. For style. But I mean, it's, it's kind of weird though because people do feel the need. T- or they feel because it's like on over the internet, yeah. and so they feel a little more expressive with their feedback. So it's kind of sometimes people are really mean and like kind of bully you <laughs> over the internet. Well, it like seems like they would probably pay a decent amount of money to have some. Uh, d- has to cost in a certain amount of overhead to pay a human being like yourself money to decide what these people are going to wear. So yeah. they're. Like, what's the worst type of feedback you've gotten? Uh, recently, I had a guy say, fuck off to me. Wow. Yeah. What wow, did you send him? so crass. It was about, <laughs> no, it was just because it was about a pair of pants, and he goes, uh, $100, fuck off. And I was like, I had nothing to do with that. Did he okay. buy the pants? No. Wow. He just was mad. They were expensive. Which I was like, I get that. That's expensive. Have you ever tried one of these uh, subscription uh, clothes boxes? I no. did it once, and they sent me a scarf. And I'm like, <laughs> like, 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 a fashion scarf, not yeah. like a wet. And I was like, what the fuck? Wait, they, that was all they sent you? No, no. You it got was, that was one oh, of the things oh, they sent okay. me. Like, I was going to be like Don Knotts out in the city or something like that. <laughs> Hell, yeah. You might have got my box. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? They're like, fuck this scarf. I need to go to the thrift store and get an off-duty police officer shirt. <laughs> yeah. I'll be caught dead in this scarf. I need to show the world I am an alpha and you're all sort of under arrest. I think he looks great. Maddie, what's something that your boyfriend does that you hate? Like that drives you crazy. It's been four years now. That's usually He's the part. He's a really aggressive driver. Like it scares the shit out of me. Oh yeah. Um, what kind of car does he have? <laughs> he just totaled his car. <laughs> wow. Was it a McLaren? He Did it happen at the downtown Marriott? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he was no. driving a Ford, and now he's got uh, a Honda. Um, moving up, moving up. Yeah, moving up. Oh, yeah. Moving up. But he drives, um, like, whereas most people, the cars in front of them start to break, so, like, they take their foot off the accelerator. He just keeps accelerating until, like, Right before, and then he slams on the brake. Yeah, that's he's trying weird. to kill you. That's no, he's all. trying to kill. Yeah, and then he totaled his car. Have you ever talked to him about it? Like, yeah, and he's like, "Shut up, bitch." Well, <laughs> whoa, Jesus! Why did he say that, Brian? Good well, Lord. before then, he was always just like, "I've never gotten into an accident, so it's fine." But now he has, so. Oh, gotta have did, that he conversation. The rear, did he rear end somebody? Yeah. Wow. Doing wow. That After he pay, he's gonna he's gonna change a little bit. 
A little Probably bit. Probably yeah. not. I've been <laughs> in 17. I'm an awesome driver now. Oh. 11 hit and runs. Beat that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Maddie, uh, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, too. You yeah. perform at the Comedy Store a lot? I do. I actually um, have a show uh, booked the 22nd. Cool. Well, there you go, everybody. It's Maddie Dial. Maddie! Catch her back here again, Maddie Dial, on Twitter, Maddie Dial. It's fun. You guys having fun out there, huh? Only reason I looked at you is a lot of boyfriend questions. And you didn't ask none of the other motherfuckers about. Sure, I did. I asked. Uh, well, I sure asked I Tuto did. if he liked uh, white women or black women, and uh, I was. G- I, d- I had a lot of serious. You just questions assumed he was single, though. You know what I mean? Fuck. Oh, it. That, why is that lady agreeing like that? Who said that? Uh huh. Get out of here. Here's a young lady that we know uh, that's been on the show a few times. You know her. You love her. Put your hands together for Lila Hart, everybody. <laughs> Lila, here she comes. <laughs> yeah. This shit is about to motherfucking go down. <laughs> Make some noise for Lila Hart, everyone. I got a bath bomb the other day, and it was really exciting because I love bathtubs. You know, most people outgrow them, but not me. <laughs> I don't even have a bathtub right now, but that's okay. I'll just pop it in the sink and hop in. It's going to be great. If I'm so much fun, you'd want to carry me around in your pocket all day. Does that make me a pocket pussy? I think it does. Red Bull gives you wings. I wish it would give me a longer torso. (laughs) Would solve a lot of problems. (laughs) <laughs> uh, I've been to tw- uh, 20 countries I know not so surprising because I am travel size so I was in Morocco and I was on a tour group and uh, we all rode camels there were 20 camels they put me on the baby camel it was attached to the mother camel my camel had a chaperone <laughs> thank you <laughs> I'm Lila Hart fuck yeah Lila Hart That was fun. Thank you. Oh, yeah. How's life going? Fantastic. You've been on the show before a few times. Always fun. Yes. Roseanne, you look like you really want to say something. Am I getting fatter or is she tiny? <laughs> <laughs> She's tiny, Roseanne. She's tiny. That's the answer. Uh, Man, whatever comes to your mind, you really just say over there, huh? I'm a straight school shooter. <laughs> oh, whoa. I don't think you could tweet that nowadays. Uh, watch me. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Roseanne. Put the phone down. Lila, you're a funny uh, comedian. Always fun jokes. I love the uh, I love the bathtub thing. I think you could take it, you know, even farther. I think you can almost, you know, really paint a picture of what that's like. Like, you know, you could say you just used an Alka Seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that you maybe you have a little rubber ducky, or as you call it, a raft. Mm. You know, because the kitchen sink thing, it's just like, you know, it's sort of more funny just still keeping it in the bathtub and picturing you just like flailing around type of thing, you know, (laughs) because there is a lot of extra space there. Yes. And, you know, when it comes to baths, I think we all wish we were your size when it comes to that. There's one moment. And then after right after that second pass is we're like, no, it's good to be normal size. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Lila, you always have such a great sense of humor. And it's always funny to me how many y- jokes you make about uh, yourself and how you always laugh at everybody else. You th- wh- is there ever a time that you get, like, offended with people? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I really use my comedy to talk about things that used to make me insecure, so I've kind of really gotten it all out there. So there's not really much that offends me. Do you do stuff about... Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do you do stuff about the insecure times, or you go straight to into the, like, this is where I'm at now? Um, well, I just, like, tell stories about things that, like, uh, one bit I talk about um, going to this, like, party, and the guy said, this isn't the kind of midget I ordered, and at the time, it really hurt my feelings, yeah. and now it's hilarious, you know I, mean, I mean, it was, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's definitely hilarious. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Even though I understand what you feel like, but that shit was funny then. You know what I mean? Like, of all the things to like complain about business wise, like what's he gonna do? Yelp about that? Tony. But this is not the midget. Yes, Joel I mean, is, is it mean to say I, I know what he means? <laughs> I kind of, I get it. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad. I'm definitely glad. Darlene, go to your room. <laughs> oh, no, Darlene, stay there. Man. No, I'm glad. I'm glad to see you handling that uh, that way. And I'm interested in even in more once you even get past mm -hmm. the parents part mm -hmm. i definitely want to know like how you think and like what's on the inside you know what i mean literally like how deep is your vagina <laughs> no not like that um, i seen her instagram i know seven she feet <laughs> you know what i mean so um, so lila yeah uh what is your love life like you have a boyfriend right now um my love life is good everything is healthy and great you yeah. know I'm good. Well, that's good. No, I yeah, that's I know. A, I, a mystery. I see yeah. your Instagram. You you smiling from in the ear. Somebody tag tagging that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell so. yeah. Yeah. But uh, I mean, as a deviant, I want to would know more about that. Do you tell stories? Oh yeah, about I talk that? about that kind of stuff too. You oh, know, yeah. I make sure to try to answer every question that people have when they see this in my set. You know? Yeah, not now, but in the set. She does a lot of that in the set. She explains mm -hmm. that. Like, like, can you give us an example of like what, like what you do talk about during um, your set that has to do with uh, you know, like things can be fine with me. There's a lot of things you can do with a smaller woman, you know. Right. So, I do acknowledge that in my set. Such as, right. come on, <laughs> Roseanne. Right. You know. Or do we have to go home and watch your Netflix special? What's happening right now? Oh, Roseanne, take it easy on her. That's an interesting, uh, it's very interesting stuff. Um, you always have extra leg room on every flight, right? Uh, yeah, but I mean, I ha do have really long legs, you know, so I can drive a car normally. Oh, so you just yeah. have to look up higher. I sit on a screen. booster seat. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's I got cool. it from Walmart five years ago. Same booster seat. It's for a child. It's great. My nephew loves it. <laughs> wow. So you carry it with you. Well, it's just there, and then I have one in the trunk. Sometimes I have, like, little friends, and then I'm like, do you want to boost your seat, too? And they're like, oh, my God, yeah. So oh I'm like, God. got one in the trunk, I you know? fly all around the country every, uh... <laughs> That's dope as shit. Yeah. <laughs> I fly around the country pretty much every weekend, and I, I'm trying to picture all the ignorant hillbillies in the middle of the country seeing you walk off a flight with a boost, with your own yes, booster seat. Yes, I do. I seat, do bring like, it Why is that flight? baby carrying its own booster seat? <laughs> The fuck is going on over there? Hey, little girl, you need help. You ever get that? People ever just cry? I mean, I, I've, had, I, I've had dudes in the airport ask me, little girl, do you, you need help? Um, I, can't, I, well, I mean, I'd imagine you must get it. Well, definitely, because I like to wear onesies when I travel. Really? Like, I, I will this wear onesies. True? I got them, too. I got them, too. With, like, a little hoodie Double and cat ears and onesie stuff. pacifier, pigtails. Let's do this shit. Somebody ever found out you was an adult and got fucked up? Like, they tried to holler at you, and then you was like, I'm, I'm a grown-ass woman. They was like, God damn, I thought you was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, kids are the funniest, because kids will ask me. Like, they'll, I, w I did shows in Arizona, and I met this little girl, and she was like, are you a big kid, or, an or are you an adult? So are you a little kid, or are you a person? I don't know. She was confused. It was hilarious. So wait, so what was the answer? Um, oh. I just told her I was both. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> As a, have cops ever pulled you over because they think you're a kid driving? <laughs> That's no. a good question. Well, What's your background? Well, I'm Filipino. Oh, okay. My mom's from the Philippines. My dad's from Louisiana, and I grew up in Washington. Oh, shit. He so. told that pussy. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, uh, what? <laughs> is that a genetic, I is your condition? Yes, a, um, uh, it's spina bifida. Yeah. So um, I've had like seven major back operations, leg operations, all while I was like a child. So yeah. well, I'm it. very grateful to just you know be able to walk and all the things that I'm able to do. So oh, yeah. seven surgeries. Congrats, man! <laughs> Literally, baby got back. <laughs> so what made you? What made you come into the stand-up realm? Uh, to you be know, with those fucked up people. Um, 
my degree is in broadcast productions, and I always wanted to be a news anchor because behind the news desk, no one would know that I was little. And one day, I just realized that I had to, comedy was going to be the way that people were going to see me and respect me. So I just woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. I love that. How long yeah. did How long did you want to be a news uh, anchor for? Um, that's what I did in uh, middle school, junior high, and high school. I always did news, and then I went to Washington State University and actually got a degree in it. Yeah. So, wow. yeah, like, I always wanted to be, like, a host, you yeah. know? And and I actually remember a specific story. story. It was uh, at my uh, – in college, my professor told me, he's like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I want to move to L.A. and have my own TV show. And he's like, good luck, you know? And now, like – Years later, I actually have kind of a show, Small Talk, on YouTube. So, I mean, I do it myself, but I'm, like, living my dream out here. You know, it's a lot of work, Heck but yeah, fuck that it's person. awesome. Yeah, so <laughs> you have your own goddamn YouTube show. Yes! You show him. Yeah. Yeah. You like my Frida Kahlo, you know what I mean? You overcome shit, and you turn it into something that's probably going to be very powerful one day. Thank Hell yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so Hell much. Yeah. Hey, who knows? Maybe one day Roseanne could have her own show on YouTube, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird, like, character to be... I sort of feel bad for the first time ever. Like, making fun of, like, poor innocent Roseanne over here. <laughs> All right. I have a new show coming to Vimeo very soon. <laughs> it's Paula Dean's old show. We're on Vimeo. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Lila. Well, anything else crazy going on in life? We talk about anything else new? Any new material? Anything else? Well, fun? I've just been writing a lot, you know, so it's good. Oh Everything yeah. is great. Working on my show, Small Talk with Lila Hart. You guys there can you find go. it on Channel 310 on YouTube. I wow. like how she pitched that. YouTube has Hell goddamn yeah. numbered channels now. I feel <laughs> like an old man. No, that's the name Is of the a, YouTube channel, is Channel 310. All right, well, there you go. Lila Hart, everybody. Thank you guys so much. There she goes. She's on Twitter at Love Lila Hart. L I L A H A R T. Fuck yeah. This place is exciting. We have the uh, we have the uh, brothers from Nothing But Trouble over here. I don't know if you guys remember that movie, but uh, <laughs> Bilbo and Bobo <laughs> remember those? Oh, Weezer's gonna get the cars or whatever the fuck. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best part of knowing that I I made that joke is the fact that you guys are definitely gonna look that up later, and it's gonna be like, fuck. Oh, that was not a compliment at all. Y'all brothers for real? God damn, y'all look alike. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? You, you got hair and he don't. It's like, it's like a weird Nazi recruitment thing. <laughs> One's a Rasta and the other loves pasta. <laughs> <laughs> There's Joel Berg. Look at this. He just got here. <laughs> hey! Joel Berg lights. <laughs> Who's on lights up there? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's if... <laughs> That's so funny. I'll just let you guys all in on it. So <laughs> Danny Lucas. Make some noise for Danny Lucas, our amazing uh, comedy store legendary uh, hey, lights and Hey, what up? He's, he made a special lighting change for, for, for in case of Joelberg. It's such a powerful line that the whole crowd chants. In one and hour. Said, and he said before the show. <laughs> <laughs> he said before the show, you know, hey man, if uh, you know Joel Berg gets a good one, I'm gonna let it rip. And we've been waiting this entire time. <laughs> we were just dying to see what the lighting change would look like. <laughs> and, a full and it wasn't really a full Joel Berg, but we all wanted to see. So if you see that again when Joel Berg <laughs> kills sometime. <laughs> God. I thought it looked good, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. I pulled another name out of the bucket, and it is Jackson Lind. Here we go, Jackson Lind. Music. Hell yeah. Ba -na 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 -bow. Here comes Jackson Lind. What's up? Thank you, guys. So, uh, my girlfriend recently told me that she wanted to reenact my favorite kind of porn. 
yeah. And I was excited, but then I realized I couldn't stop thinking about cuckold porn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know anything about cuckold porn? Well, you need an extra dick to reenact cuckold porn. Uh, so not in the cards. And I told her that. that uh, she was like, what's your second favorite kind of porn? I was like, well, I don't think we could reenact ebony porn. <laughs> I'm very white. You are very white. If we were to reenact ebony porn accurately, it would be way too much fun. Just kidding. It'd be really racist. And uh, we'd all feel uncomfortable. So no. And she was like, well, fuck, what's your third favorite kind of porn? And I was like, listen, baby, you're not a Japanese schoolgirl, and I'm not five Japanese businessmen, okay? It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Fuck yeah, Jackson Lynch. <laughs> It all seems like that comes from a really true place. That really happened? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I like porn. Dude, Post Malone looks awful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Post Malone, if he got rolled down a. Looks like pre Malone. Hogwarts. Oh, shit. Somebody's fired up back there. What's going on? <laughs> all it takes is a lighting change, baby. <laughs> So, Jackson, uh, this is your first time on the show? Correct. Hell yeah. You are one of the funniest hobbits we've <laughs> had on in a really long time. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, th th on and off, like, first time was four years ago, but I've only been doing it, like, a couple months, like, consistently. Yeah. So once February. every presidency? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A couple times a year. <laughs> but I just haven't been consistent with it. Why, why do you only do it a couple times a year? Uh... I don't live in L.A. I live outside of L.A. I work often. How far uh, away from L.A.? I live in a town called Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, man, this is oh, 5 to 15. This is not good <laughs> damage at all. How far away is that? I totally it's fucked that up. Hour. Two hours, it's right? Uh, with traffic. It's, it's an hour without traffic. Wow. And what do you do out there? Uh, I live. I just live. I, I drive for a living, mostly, so I'm all around driving. What do you drive? Uh, it's a shuttle company. So this my my dad's shuttle company. I, I thought it was one of those Flintstone cars with the feet. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad has a shuttle company. Yeah. Yo, There's what up? Anything goes. Anywhere. Are a lot of people taking express shuttles from Rancho Cucamonga? Cyber Cyber Ontario oh, Airport. Shit. Wow. That's right. He got that. You get anything good, dog? You saw that? Hell yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. just you and your dad. I didn't see the anything car. too enticing. So, uh, yeah, he, we we got like nine drivers. It's it's a small company. How old are you? Are you? 22. 22. Yes. And you just were, how long have you worked for your dad? For the, four years. Four years. What do you do for fun? Uh, smoke weed and I play video games and I hang out with my girlfriend. Well, that's good Not much more than that. That's uh, why four years only. Most kids start working with their dad at 14, 15. I watch a lot of porn for fun too. Is that really true? Yeah, I do. I do. A lot of, like, if I'm not doing anything and I'm bored, I will watch porn. Yeah, Just for fun? Off. No jacking off or nothing? No, I'll jerk off. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I don't ever say, I, you no. a soldier. You can watch porn without jerking <laughs> off. I, I don't ever do it without jerking off. He you eats watch popcorn. Like, everybody, like, people watch the game. You just sitting there with shit, <laughs> eating popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, check this part out. Yeah. Oh! Like, he dumped on oh. it. Like, oh, shit. Did you see that? This guy got a lot of stats. Do you have uh, Do you have any porn memberships, or do you just go for the free oh. stuff? Oh, I've been through Reality Kings. Yeah. Um, what do you mean been through? Like, you finished it? Like, you beat God, the fucking damn. porn site? <laughs> what do you mean been through? You beat no. the game? You the Reality really? Kings? No. You're the king. King, did they give you a crown? <laughs> what the 
fuck? Are you driving a shuttle or the bang yeah, bus? What are we still, talking about you, here? And you realize you don't have to pay for it. Like, you like, 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 get to the point where you're like, why am I fucking paying for yeah. this? You like Ready Player One of the fucking porn. This guy's <laughs> driving for his dad's company and he's been through porn sites. <laughs> what kind of life are you living? You're literally a jerk off. <laughs> That's crazy. 22, just rubbing it out. You got a special outfit? Because. <laughs> nah. You, you just wear anything. For, for shuttle driving? Oh, no. you do it in your <laughs> shuttle driving outfit? <laughs> Wait, sh- special outfit for masturbating? Or yeah. for, no, just yeah. for watching porn, you know. Yeah, you you would- went through. According to Herodric lore, the cube can restore a Herodric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. You're right. Sorry, I had just come back from doing something, yeah. But, um, I feel like you bring the audio issues now. <laughs> now you tend, you, you tend to fix them. Um, that cube, that's how I turn, uh, these gems into other shit, right? Like, hold the open... I guess I had to have this shit in my inventory. But can I turn these two big ass gems into something? And then I have four of these gems. Can I turn that into something? Let us see. Senor Bobby. Dun 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 dun. Uh, well, reality kings, you're not watching just no regular for real. Yeah, you yes. seem like the kind of guy. I agree with Byron. You seem like you would like put on a bib or something like that <laughs> for some reason. I like you know. can what most people watch porn. You're ready to watch porn. Like yeah. you got wine involved and you some milk. On a, you sit on a couch, you lay down, you, you what's your method uh, to your madness? 
Uh, just lay on my bed. You lay on your bed on your bed. Laying on my bed, towel right next to me. Towel right Ow. next to you. Do you to put a laptop left? on your chest? What do you mean I, I can't transmute, move. you son of a After bitch? You, come, you don't want to move. You're like, so you just clean up real quick, <laughs> then go to the bathroom. How many times a day would hold you on, say Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to slow it down. No, wait, it says Wait, X to transmute. We'll X going to give it to you. We're going to put this in the set. These are the details right here. Hold on, hold on. So you're laying in bed. Are you in the middle of the bed? Uh, it's a twin, so I take up the full bed. <laughs> it's a God, twin, you're jerking a off <laughs> on a twin bed? You have all the space to lay down a towel on no, some other area no, no, of a no, twin no. bed? No, you? no box spring, no... no Yo, dad I, missed the shuttle the express and you in a twin bed? You might as well jerk off in the vehicle, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you don't even have a... Okay, so you lay a towel next to you. You watching laptop or TV? What are we doing here? iPhone. VHS? iPhone. I, iPhone. Oh, wow. iPhone. shit. Do you have iPhone. like the little stand for your iPhone and you put it on your chest or something you're like that? No, it's, it's you can't hands, do it's shit hands. with your hands. It's hands. It's only... It's only so how, do you re- how do you repair hand? items? I had like a fucking... One of these machetes over here that broke on me, but I didn't know how to what to do with it. I'm just gonna put these back then, I guess. So it looks like I got six of these. What the fuck? Do I need to fill up every fucking space? What's going on here, you fucking cube? You son of a bitch. Transmute, you fucking... Transmute, you son of a gun. Alright, I give up. Fuck this cube. Fuck this whole ass cube. Uh, you can take two blacksmiths and they will repair their ability. Nice. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, I'm just gonna throw this cube in this chest and forget about it. Fuck it. What was this? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna sell that. Hey, bitch. Da, 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 da. It's been 20 years since I played. You're gonna need to look up recipe. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right. All right, makes sense. So I found the cube. Let's go to my quest log. Quest completed. Nice. The staff. Okay. So da, 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 search for search the maggot lair under the far oasis for the shadow. Trying to find that staff, bro. Your left. You put it in your eyes ever like that, like VR style? I, I, I've Agate tried to watch player. the VR porn without having the VR goggles, and you just try to cuff it up to your face, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You literally so. did what I was making a joke yes. about. That's yeah, just yeah. psychotic, yeah. really. If you think You're really that. horny yeah, when you I'm try just, that shit. I was just riffing, bro. <laughs> You're hey. really like, oh, yeah, I've totally jerked off that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like the day I beat Reality Kings or hey, the day Tony. before that. Hey, Tony, look, no hands. Look. <laughs> That's Byron Bowers exactly. with his head tilted back with his iPhone on his face. <laughs> That's exactly right, though. Good thing I got this waterproof <laughs> phone case. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. So, Jackson. So, is it true that you have a girlfriend? Gnarled right? stuff. Yeah. Wow. What does she like about you? Uh, what is it? Have we been I together since high school. Yeah. So, you know, it's probably just like a... An old love thing. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> Use old love like grandparents and shit. <laughs> old love. It's we have, we, we, we old. have a lot of fun You're together. Old, old, old souls, sir. <laughs> Fuck Man, yeah. uh, pickings are slim in Rancho Cucamonga. Hell I guess. yeah. You, you, gotta, you gotta take what you can Rancho Cucu get. <laughs> Jackson, uh, what do you, uh, is there something your girlfriend does that sort of drives you crazy? She's the only girlfriend you've really ever had, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Something weird about her? Drive, you're like, man, I wish I could ever try anything else different. What does she do for work? 
she works at Soup Plantation, so she doesn't do nothing crazy. Shit, She's into scary. anime a lot, which I am not into. I'm not against it, but I'm like, I don't, I don't, I'm not into it. She getting you high on her own supply over at the Soup Plantation. All right, forget it. Uh, don't, say, don't say plantation in front yeah, of Byron. That sounds weird. Yeah, I'm take. offended by that shit. Yeah. What do they call people that work at the soup plantation? Like soup slaves or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Endangered servants. Great one. He deserves applause on that to me. You know what I mean? So, like, what's something uh, the Where's my friend? lighting change? <laughs> what the, oh, it does say repair right, right there. Okay. Accent. Uh, I don't. I don't see her enough. Ugh. All right. Because you know, she's, gonna, wa- she's now, gonna watch this. How about, I mean, how about in the yuck. bedroom? Is there something she does in the bedroom that you don't like or that you wish she would do more of? No. Nah. No. It's just she's perfect. actually really good. Maybe. I have not been keeping up with that. Keep fill us in, homie. What's going on? What the fuck to, does he want with Eric July now? Uh huh. You don't see her enough because you got your phone right bad. up on your eyeball. Yeah, really good. Yeah. 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 Sex life is not bad. Uh, I love that you won't give anything away because well, the, she... the only woman you've ever had sex with might not fuck you. Yeah, uh, uh, if you say something too bad. Like, oh, I need to get that pussy. I mean, I can't film one throw under the bus. Under well, the shuttle. I'm the f- I mean, like, I'm the fat guy between the two of us, so if anything, it's sex. Like, I'm the one who's lacking. And, like, she's I not, get she's tired. not a little bit thicker? You have a skinny girlfriend? Uh yeah, I mean she's yeah she's she's fit she's not she's she's not. I think fat. you're just saying everything right. You're talking about this 240 pound husker like uh. I mean I could show you a picture. No, I'm kidding, uh, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I feel cared. bad for saying that. No, We're no. gonna edit that part I, out of the show. No, I want to hear more about how you jerk off. Let's get technical <laughs> here. I haven't got a strong enough visual yet. I mean, honestly, I did have more questions. So it really is a left hand hold with a right hand jerk. Absolutely. Use lo- lotions or uh, petroleum S- oh, jellies. Saliva. Vio is offered 10k for proof. It says it doesn't mean. Oh wait. Sorrow's girl made a bold claim that Eric July has proved Vito is one the one who contacted the charity. Vito has offered ten thousand dollars for proof that says it doesn't exist. Wants them to stop bullshitting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, it seemed pretty obvious that he was the one that contacted the charity. Like, um, based on that one video that I saw of him talking to Destiny about it, it seemed like he was, like, openly saying that he did. But, I don't know. Uh, 99% oh, of the time saliva. The groan. Hey, you look at me. You don't have anything for this? How dare you? I do it with my right hand, so no, no, no. I'm holding the mic on my left. I'm shocked y'all Oh, that saliva and not twin bed. That's crazy. Just saliva. <laughs> no. You know his feet hanging off that shit. I, I, I wash my hands immediately, though. The band saliva. You motherfucker, mean, abs are strong as shit. You got to jerk off with your feet in the air? How long, <laughs> how long does it normally take you uh, before it starts to finish? Uh, not long. Not I get I get jerk off pretty uh, quickly. Star quick Wars, girl. I was thinking of X-ray. Girl. Never came jerking off. Is you had to take a guess. Well, your all-time quickest. Go ahead. Just throw out a number. Forty seconds. Forty. I was like, why the fuck long. would X-ray? Forty seconds. Girl. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna give you one more win- one more minute of stand up. <laughs> do what do with it as you will. That's, that would be funny. The sixty-second challenge. Have him come back with a. All right, forget it. That's not every time, though. It's not like... I'm no. not like shooting 40 seconds every time. No. And when I fuck, it's different. Wow. We, I bet. You've only been with one woman your entire life. <laughs> if you're still prematurely ejaculating with her, that's still sad. How, right? how are you and your father relationship? Not bad. It's okay. That's great. It's okay. It's okay. You got any siblings? I have four sisters. Wow. Yeah. I'm the middle child. Oh. And, and my, old, my oldest sister... No I idea what that is. Jack Show? What's that? Deacon, Dick and Cecil, who the fuck are we talking about here? I'm a little a bit out of my depth on this corner of the internet. I just know Eric July and um, 
I watched like a I watched for a few months I was watching Friday Night Tights just cuz it um lined up with my work schedule but and I didn't have any use for it. My sister from two different dads. So my mom's been married oh, three times. Oh man, I just started Now to that's the dope shit right yeah. there. That's yeah. the shit. I love it. Yeah, Byron knows all about that. That's true. I do know a little something about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I will give you a pound on that. You know what I mean? So, Jackson, I'm going to ask you a question. www.rosanbar.com. To... All right. Good job. Way to get that plug in. Jackson, I'm going to ask you a question mm. here. Interesting. I want you to tell the truth. Oh, you got it. All right. This is like a YouTube show? Tell me the truth. Yeah. Do you ever hear anything coming from like one of your sister's rooms and uh, you ever jerk off thinking about one of your four sisters before? What Absolutely the fuck not. is that? Okay. He uh, looked up in the air, though. He yeah, thought about he it. Yeah, there was definitely a tell there. If I oh. had my FBI guy here right now, I'd I, love to be <laughs> I had a roommate. I did that with a roommate, not my That's sister. We need, to get. we need to get a fucking lie detector test. I have on this show. We need to have something. Skankfest did it. Into. Let me look at a little meter thing. Oh, yeah. That's what, all right. No, 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 I've never, I've actually never heard that. How many times do you masturbate per day? Like, how bad is it? You're, uh... Two. Two? Two. Wow, that's he's not bad. yelling at Aphrodite. <laughs> two. All right, uh, Jackson. A I guess average two, sometimes one, sometimes three. That's normal. Okay, that's enough. All right, Jackson, it was nice to meet you. There he goes. Do you Thank have, you wait, 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 wait. Do you oh. have plans on taking over your father's company, or you want to do something else? Absolutely not, comedy. You want to do straight stand-up? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, stand up. I, I like acting too, but stand up is, is the main goal. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, there you go. You have to do it more times. There you go. There That's he is, true. Jackson Lynn. That's true. He is. It's a uh, comedy podcast okay. where they talk <laughs> about comic books and Some of the top young rising masturbators in the oh, world. Nice, nice. Uh, it's really incredible. I did have you know, spent too much time with him, but I had more questions. I'd love to know like that's what the his, thing, man. He could have went in so much more detail. Yeah, like I'd love to know like what his dad says to him, like get your fucking life together, Jackson. You're just in the twin bed jerking off on a towel all the time. <laughs> it's funny <laughs> because you always ask that question, like how do you masturbate? Do you use the phone? You put it up. It's you, you're really interested in a guy's yeah. masturbation. You but know, when I was if, reading, if you look at it that way, which by the way makes you gay for thinking that I'm gay. Yeah. At all. <laughs> No, Just goes no, to show where your when clearly you, gay mind goes. When you read articles about the fucked up shit, it's always those li little details that makes you know. Oh, look at this shit! Oh, come on, quit, quit being a dick. Don't be a dick. All right, you see that? It's a fucking peach flavored Celsius, man. It's disgusting. But I need the I need the fiend, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. It went from da, da, da. I stopped watching all the comics gig stuff when the two of the artists got a beef. I went insane. It went from funny every night to becoming sad and tragic. What is up with this fucking thing? One guy drew over art from a dead artist and then said it was a collaboration. Jeez, my dog. What is up with this fucking thing? How am I supposed to know that that's steps? I guess it looks a little bit better. Now that there's fucking wolves on it, obviously you can tell. But how the hell is I supposed to know that that's steps? Anyway. Then he claimed to burn the real one. On stream. Then he said, that was a fake one too. Ha ha ha. Man, this fucking maggot is pissing me. These maggots suck, and I gotta go fucking fight in the lair of the maggots. That's not cool. Sand maggot egg. Well, this motherfucker did it. Like, when the motherfucker came on his own stomach, you was like, he did that shit. <laughs> oh, when they talked about the guy putting his fingers in the mouth, you was like, yep, that sounds like something this motherfucker. I shook his hand. You know what I mean? Roseanne? You didn't ask me how I masturbate, Tony. Uh, <laughs> I think we all want to know. Roseanne, how do you masturbate? I duct tape an iPhone to my belly button, and I look down, and then I do squats over a Pringles can. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Is it Pringles still in the can, or is the can empty? Sour cream and onion. Oh, hey. <laughs> See? It's the details. Mm. Yeah. You got to give the details. Beats and timing and execution. Roseanne Barr is live on Kill Tony. 
uh, we Sour have cream. Of that show. Is Speaking dope. of people like Roseanne that started, uh, you know, here. Uh, this is a fun one. We love him. He writes and performs a brand new minute every week. You know, he's since he's become a regular, he's got everything going for him. Let's see how another new minute goes tonight from the great and powerful Malcolm Hatchet. Yeah. Oh shit. Be humble. Uh, me and my little brother, we used to watch porn growing up just for fun. And we had a remote that had a return channel just in case our mom came down the hall. It would return to like Nickelodeon and the Rugrats. I mean, one time we was watching porn and my nana looked in the room. She was like, Lisa, that my mama. She's like, Lisa, they ain't watching porn. Hurry up and get in here. And my mama ran down the hall and we would return the channel to the Rugrats. She'd be like, they ain't here watching the Rugrats. Hold up, hold up. Get off the bed. We got the bed hard as fuck. Oh, <laughs> She'd be like, Malcolm, what are you hard for? Mama, I really fuck with Angelica. <laughs> and she beat me because she wanted me to say Susie because that's a little black girl. She asked my brother, Thomas, what are you hard for? I like Tommy. She beat the shit out of him. Oh. Ain't raising no damn boy in my house. <laughs> I'm homeless, I know it don't look like it. But my friends come up to me all the time, like, Malcolm, how are you doing so well? They be like, how are you doing so well? I'm like, man, it's the biggest accomplishment of being homeless that I never planned. I got food stamps and health insurance. I'm balling. Big ball. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Big ball. Shit's hilarious, man. So relatable. I used to use that flashback button myself as a kid. I've never really heard anybody uh, talk about it. That's uh, that's fun, yeah. funny stuff. What's up, baby? What's up, dog? You good? Hell yeah. You guys yeah. know each other? Is it like some cool black thing going on right now? We Pretty met. Much. We did a show together. And yeah. That's the first time I seen him. And then I went up after him. You know what, what is mean? it at the Apollo or something like that? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that one. Was at the J spot? No, I was at the Improv. It was the Improv. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's a fun new minute. How's life going, Malcolm? Oh, man, it's going good. I just did a little short film. It was tight. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You were acted? Or yeah, I got a role of a dude named Percy. It's pretty much me, but I just got a different uh, name. I found the maggot layer, but I'm going to do some more man, loot. Some shit. I just did a film with a nigga named Percy. What's that? What? We played the same. We got the same name. They, they testing us. That's what they're doing. Nah, we good. We yeah. good. Nah, y'all look that's alike. <laughs> www.rosanbar.com Got another grand charm. I like how he's plugging her shit. Got us a hater. That's good, man. Congratulations, man. Thanks, bro. How do you feel? Balance knife. Oh, it was straight, man. It was some big, like, stars in it. Is that your first time, like, acting on a real set? Yeah. Excuse me. Instagram, that's all I act on. Yeah. This shit was big. So they had, like, multiple cameras, things like that. Oh, they should make up. Oh yeah, he had a autistic kid and was burning his comic books on stream, laughing while his kid cried, and then it was like, it's all a joke, relax guys. Jeez, man, what the fuck, is it doing crazy? They put makeup on my cute ass, I don't need no damn makeup. What'd they do, just rub a charcoal briquette on you? <laughs> I don't know how it works. Oh. I don't, I mean, it's a real question. Who my gun is? Kidding, no, that's not true. Tony, that joke against Michael Blackson. Uh, Tony, you are making me soaking wet right now. Oh. Yeah, it was it was cool, man. They had a whole lot of snacks. That's the only reason I showed up. Oh, snacks. What's your favorite craft service snack? My favorite who? Craft service snack. That's what it's called, craft service. Oh, snack. I ain't never heard no shit like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call the snacks. Shit. Yeah. Goldfish. Yeah. Cheese pot tarts. Yeah. The blue con. All the shit you can get now. Yeah. You ain't stepping up. Nah, but the shit, they just had like, they had like uh Costco shit, like extra. Oh, yeah. Like, like lots, plenty. <laughs> did you steal you to get that next part? Yeah. <laughs> Malcolm, did you steal snacks from the car? Hell yeah, I got a trunk full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I just be popping it at red lights. A uh, Cheeto, Cheeto. What's something? Uh, what's something cool uh, else cool that you learned about uh, these tapings and uh, you know filming a movie and being part of a crew and a cast and the whole thing? Anything weird happen at all? Anybody? Everybody cool? Yeah, now nah, everybody was real cool. Uh, 
they was humble because some it was some like some I was looking up their Instagrams and the credits they was like real real famous. Yeah. I was like just continue to be me because they just everybody was like humble. I was like damn. Yeah. It was straight. It was just it was nice to be there because at first I didn't want to do it because I had like shows, right. but I had to cancel them because they said they're gonna pay me and the shows weren't paying me. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a tough decision. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 So, but it was straight. You know, it was cool. Wi-Fi connection at the crib was good. <laughs> Are you a mm -hmm. real Reba fan? You're wearing a Reba nah, shirt. Nah, man. Uh, somebody uh, on Instagram sent me a whole lot of like vintage stuff. Oh, that's they cool. sent me this. We're back to 11 people on stream. Help me out, fellas. Trying to get to 50 by the end of the stream. So I would appreciate a like and a follow, please. Chucky, watch. It just broke, man. I'm going to go stab myself out because y'all know I fuck with Chucky. Oh, yeah. It broke in the back. Damn. You have, yeah. a, you have a Chucky doll, right? Yeah, that's, 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 I love him. Chucky? You yeah. have a real, like, Chucky Chucky doll? From the Rugrats. I went to Toys R Us and bought it. Oh, that Chucky. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, I not the little... The Child's Play doll. Oh, I used to pee in the bed watching that. Hell, no. I don't fuck with him. Yeah. Yeah, that was always the one that scared me, <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. Drip, 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 drip. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't real. fuck with him. That's a real nigga answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where your bed went? The Lost City. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Okay. I'm from Georgia. Georgia boy. Uh, Hell, yeah. Why you blink so much? I just, I just got a nervous problem. That shit be <laughs> fucking. Yeah, I do. I, I used to have Tourette. I mean, I probably still do, but yeah, I just. Oh, well, that's better. You, you got it to a blink. You know yeah. what I mean? You still gonna scare some motherfuckers. What the fuck? Why did it just get dark all of a sudden? Because of all these white people around? Or what the fuck going on? Horse code. And I'm nigga, misreading get shit. Out. Like, nigga, help me, nigga. Help me understand. Okay. <laughs> they, they drawing you and shit. You better go start running. Yeah, I just congratulations on coming out though, man. Because I know sometimes leaving the south and coming out is like a yeah. big thing. Yeah, and you are gonna do probably good in this bitch. Most niggas don't you come get out any, of the uh, You get any updates recently from any of your friends back home in uh, North Carolina? Anything crazy happening? Everybody good there? Oh yeah, they good. Everybody think I made it. That should be crazy, man. Yeah. What is it? Nine to twenty-two. I said, nigga, I'm trying to come home. You fly me home. Do you know I sleep at? They be tripping, man. Yeah. How's Sri Joy doing? We saw Sri. Oh Joy. yeah, he good, man. He, we went to uh, that boy crazy. Yeah. We, we was at Mel's dining yesterday, and he went in with his drawers on. <laughs> just, in just underwear. He was putting his pants on walking in. I said, bro, you too homeless. You gotta chill out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you gotta tone it down. It's levels to it. <laughs> you in the car? Yeah, I'm in the car. I, I be at my friend crib, but y'all be in the car. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right. As long as somebody's close by. Where yeah. is it? Where side of town he on? What's out of town? The night yeah. is dark and full yeah, of tears. Oh, I thought you said you, you park near your friend. Yeah. Oh, we be in Burbank uh, at the Planet Fitness, but I've been staying in no, uh, North Hollywood for the last few weeks. Oh, okay. That's it. I used to do like up in uh, where Hollywood Boulevard start, where the houses are, because it's mm -hmm. safe as fuck. Oh, yeah. It's dope to wake up to people jogging and shit. <laughs> it's motivational. You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> lay down. Lay down. You lay down. Who said that? That's great and powerful yeah, Aphrodite over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Malcolm, another great minute, another Hell fun yeah. interview. There he is, acting, taking over Hollywood. That's the power. Kill Tony. You guys want to go back to the bucket, huh? Meet a new stranger? No, you. Good rouse. Run around we go, where it stops. <laughs> that goo made me sick. For John <laughs> John oh, Gage. now there's more goo. <laughs> Here we go. Here he comes. Oh, it's a good steady fun. jog. <laughs> How about one more time for John Yapes, everyone? <laughs> How you guys? It was that maggot I'm not, I, goo. <laughs> I'm not to be lazy, you know? Like, I didn't even take off my pants. <laughs> I just unbuttoned the top and I stick my hand down there. And then I readjust my nutsack until I come. <laughs> but then I found out uh, if I just finish it to the cup of my hand, I don't got to change my underwear. And then I found out if I just raise my hand up in the air like this, uh, that shit will air dry. And I could just peel it off like super glue. <laughs> And that, and I don't even have to wash my hands. And I never have to leave my computer chair. 
I thought we were talking about how we masturbate. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Wow. <laughs> John Yaves, or as I call him, Slobby Lee. <laughs> 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 this is the weirdest jerk-off masturbatory you, episode. We're in almost at five years, 270-something episodes. I've never really had anything this crazy happen where almost everybody's talking about jerking off, and you really took it to a new low. He added the details. It might have been the wrong detail, but it was details there. You know what I mean? Roseanne Bard. I don't know what kind of Asian you are, but you just brought dishonor to your family. www.rosanbar.com Now available on Vimeo. I didn't know if he was Asian or not until he said computer chair, and I was like, oh, this privilege ass. <laughs> I saw the, I, Tony, I saw the leather jacket. I was like, give it up for Andrew Rice Clay. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Pretty good one. <laughs> wow, John. What can but you do? Yeah. It's, it's, this, is, this is a thing that you, you, that you all going to witness in comedy, right? You had two different people talk about the same shit. One was acceptable from one person, and it, and it wasn't from the other. Yeah. And that shit works like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when it's based on appearance, you know. Is is exactly. Asian women talking about masturbating? Cool. Asian dudes is like, oh shit. Hell yeah. No one wants to hear the description of a jerk off by the world's tiniest sumo wrestler over here. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you look like more of a little person than Lila Hart? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. How old are you, John? Uh, I'm twenty nine. Twenty nine? How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, like about like two years now. Why do you always sound like you're about to laugh about something? <laughs> oh, uh, <this> is <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why you? I think I have to sell some of these charms. They're taking up too much of my inventory. <laughs> Blinking. I even too much of my fucking inventory. Like this is plus one to maximum damage. I don't think I need that. Plus one to health. Oh, plus eight to health is pretty good. That poison damage is pretty good. Grand charm of dexterity. Plus three dexterity, I guess, is pretty good. Is it worth three fucking inventory slots? I like the hit recovery. Full damage. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nobody needs that. Let's see. I'll take the damage ones. Keep an inventory. Don't post one dexterity. I really don't give a shit. Alright, so let's load these over here. Now, there was one that was kind of bullshit. Plus three dexterity. And then the one to maximum damage I don't need. All right, there we go. Freed up some inventory space there. I've seen him open his eyes one time since he's been up here. Those things look... It's like you went through a 12-round boxing match, John. <laughs> Pretty much how I feel. <laughs> Hell yeah. What kind of Asian are you? Roseanne had a good question. I'm, I'm actually I'm Filipino, too, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, you should, okay. You see, you do just laugh after everything <laughs> you say. I like it. What do you do for work? No, I'm a uh, 30. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, wait till you get a hold of this, Tony. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, here he comes. Oh, he's going to get me on this one. Oh, oh, oh. Nah. You, you are riding mm. an Asian dirt bike? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No, I, I work at I work at Starbucks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's why you sound like an espresso machine. I love yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. How long have you been working at Starbucks? Uh, like a. Uh, <laughs> 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 like, uh, uh, like, a, like a year and a half now. What? A year and a half. What would you do if a guy that looks like Fire and Bowers came and sat inside the Starbucks and didn't uh, try to buy anything? Oh, uh, I I I. I'd ask him to leave. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> He's stuttering, man. <laughs> Are you guys hiring? <laughs> yeah. We just 
We just went through training. Tell us something that was uh, that, that happened in that training. Yeah, you, you guys were all closed recently yeah. for sensitivity uh, yeah, training. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I work with like a bu- I work with a bunch of Hispanic people, and like all the videos we had to watch were like old white people. So they were like, "Why are old white people trying to teach us how not to be racist?" <laughs> so it was very like it, it was it was pretty ineffective. I'm, I'm gonna get fired over this probably, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> of course you don't care. Con- what do your parents do? My parent, uh, my uh, my mom's a nurse. And my I dad's knew it. I didn't want to say it, but go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I'll say it. What's your dad? He's a mailman. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. How did they meet? Uh, I don't know. I was adopted, so. <laughs> he was yeah. delivering well, a Manila envelope black. to her house. What was that, Schulberg? He was delivering a Manila envelope to her yeah. house. Ah, that's a good <laughs> Philippines <laughs> joke right there. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so, John, so your mom's Filipino? Yeah. And your dad's? Filipino, too. Yeah, yeah they're both Filipino. Mm-hmm. He's delivering a Manny package to her. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. You're 29. I like how Fuck Danny yeah. was like, no lighting change on that <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> So you're 29. Uh, mm. You've been working at the Starbucks for a year and a half. What were you mm. doing before that? Oh, I was in the Navy. <laughs> really? Why did you laugh at that? Why do you keep laughing at yourself? Uh, I literally think you don't know what's funny, John. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like a you're like a live tickle me airmo. Uh, Air now? They can't say L's the Asians. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's w- 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 no, no, no. You, you gotta stop plugging your website. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What did you do in the Navy? Like, yeah, uh, I was a, uh, I was on a submarine. I was a mechanic. It was definitely yellow. <laughs> 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 you were a mechanic on the submarine. Yeah, yeah. How long did you do that for? Uh, six years. Wow. So, so what made you want to not do any mechanical stuff and go into the coffee making? Uh, oh, uh, well, I like I was, I was a pretty shitty mechanic. So like, <laughs> when I. <laughs> When when I jo- when I joined when I joined I had to take this test and they were like oh you'd be a good mechanic but I never did anything mechanical in my life wow. so I said sure I'll be a mechanic and like and I didn't know how like I was pre- I was pretty I, I I could learn you know what I'm saying like you look like you only fix Mario karts yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did your uh, did your mechanical uh, skills ever uh, get anybody hurt or injured or sort of put you guys at risk? Like, like l- let me put it to you this way. Are you a better mechanic or comedian? <laughs> and w- which one did you have the weirdest discharge during? <laughs> I'll probably better comedian. You know, I, I, they, 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 they maybe do a lot of the simple stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, not too. Like turning on the lights? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what the fuck is simple on a submarine? Uh, I don't know, like turning valves and shit and uh, you know, valves and shit. <laughs> you know, not Starbucks. What was your previous job in the Navy? What did you do? Turn valves and shit. <laughs> What's that? You hired. Yep. Uh, it, I know it's a like I, I just did whatever they told me. Really, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. yeah. What location is the coffee shop that you work at? Oh, I work over at Sunset in St. Andrews. Mm. It's by Home Depot and. Uh, by the Netflix building and the Denny's. <laughs> There's too I'm much detail. Yeah. I would have never yeah. told y'all motherfuckers where I work. He yeah. really, really <laughs> just gave us the GPS coordinates <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> wow, John, what do you do for fun when you're not doing stand-up? Uh, yeah, I just hang out and I talk to people and shit. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where do you talk to these people at, John? Hey, you a good friend if somebody got some dope on them and the cops show up, because your answers are vague as fuck. You know Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you were doing a dating profile and it said hobbies, you would just say you talk to people and hang out? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I listen good, you know. I, <clears throat> that's a hob- That's not a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you just, uh, listen good, what else? Uh, you know, I, like, I, like I hang out at your apartment, you can hang at my apartment. And, uh, Who does this with you? Who <laughs> hangs out with you like this? I want names. It's like, I want names of friends. It's like two or three people. Yeah, like who? Uh, name a name. Well, my, I got a buddy named Joel. And uh, my room. Joel, well, is this true? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Uh, uh, well, my roommate, but my roommate like skipped town, so I don't know. Really. Your roommate <laughs> skipped town. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. Because he saw you writing this minute of material. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> tonight, doing Probably. some research, jerking off in cups. <laughs> yeah, I know, you, get, you get pretty comfortable around other dudes when you serve in the submarine, so like, you know. Oh, wait, where is this going again? <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest thing you ever saw in that submarine underwater? The craziest thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a dude like sit in on something once, and another dude came and just like slapped his like dick on top of his forehead like this. <laughs> <laughs> the Navy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, told him, he told him to look up, and he looked up, and he got all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? How pissed did he get? I tried to swing at it, and then everybody laughed. <laughs> wow. You're such a good storyteller, John. <laughs> <laughs> Dig on the face, slapped it away. <laughs> you know the usual Navy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Even we left and went and turned valves and shit. <laughs> I asked you how long you've been on stand-up? A couple years. A couple years. Yeah, how often years. do you do it? I try to go up mostly every night, you know, just uh, open mics and, uh, you know, like hanging out and talking. Are you usually this dirty, like when you do open mics, or is it? Uh, I, I got like a, I feel like I got like a spectrum. Not know. your material, your body. Yeah. Oh, my spectrum? body. Oh, my body, yeah. <laughs> All right, John. <laughs> your name is so not Filipino, John Yaves. Yeah, yeah, it's I th like, uh, like uh, uh, Hispanic people keep telling me my, my last name means keys. So I'll just go with that. Yeah, Yavis. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your relationship like with your uh, parents? I always thought it was Yavis. It's Yavis. Right? You know, like, they don't know what I'm doing, and I try to explain it to them, but they still don't understand. So. They don't understand what yeah. you're doing? What do you mean? They don't have Starbucks in the Philippines? <laughs> no, like, uh, like they, don't, they don't know what stand-up is. You know, like... <laughs> oh. Show them a video of somebody else doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Show them Joe Coy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy took all the good jokes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right, John. Well, uh, thanks for coming on the show. It's Thank good you. to meet you. you. There he goes. That's John cool. Yates. There he goes. John Yates. What do you think? One more time, and then we'll wrap this shit up. Go. Let's do a quickie. No quickie. Let's fly through one more. Get out of here. Okay. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Jeff Klein. Jeff Klein. Is that a name? I'm not seeing any move. Blacklisted. Pull another name out. How about Yama Nekale? Yama Nekale. Here we go. Right. One more time for Yama Nekale. Um. So we're gonna play a game of is it racist? All right. Is it racist to say all black people look alike? Is it racist to say it in a room full of Ethiopians? No, and if you don't know the difference between black people to know why it's not racist to say it in a room full of Ethiopians, you're a racist. That's how that game works. Um, so I don't I, I get hate it. white people. Um, I don't get it. I don't it. know how to feel about Chinese people. I feel like they've deceived me because they're a minority here, but they're a majority of the world's population, which makes them a super majority. And I feel like they become fat-free white people. Like, all the benefits, but none of the guilt. I think it's because that they did it the right way. Um, all their oppression and genocide is against other Asian people. Um, so they don't see race. They only see the communist agenda. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yama. How do I say your name again? Yama. Uh, Yama and Keller. You, you, you pretty much, yeah, you hit it pretty much hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice to meet you. This is your first time on the show, right? Uh, second. What happened last time? What would what, 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 what uh, remind me of how that went? The first time I was on here was November 23rd, 2016. I know that because that's the last time anyone mentioned me on Twitter. 
<laughs> like, like I just be on Instagram, but that's the last time I got a mention on Twitter. Yeah. And apparently I mentioned people with autism because huh. I used to work with kids with autism. Uh, yeah, I looked this up yesterday and I was like, oh shit, I need to tweet some. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is your name West African? Yeah, with uh, Nigerian to be Nigerian? specific. Yoruba or Ibo? Ibo. Ibo? Yeah, you got that demeanor, boy. You going you chewing up the the Asabenas? No, nah, I mean just from the way <laughs> I know. You did He's the Ethiopian not. you did the Ethiopian thing and I was like, Oh, this is an inside. This is like a, a, this is like shit Africans talk against other Africans. You know what I mean? But to me, I I, I can't tell y'all I can kinda tell y'all apart, but I I know, you know what I mean? What just kind of what kind of yell? I'm just a nigga from the south. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I got Nigerian friends, so I, I know, you know, uh, like you're gonna come across aggressive. We all West Side Wakanda niggas. It's it's all the same. Uh, I'm straight from Atlanta and a test tube nigga. So, uh, <laughs> what? Do, you always, do you always say in your act that you hate white people? Um, I do just like to throw it in there. Um, I don't have. <laughs> I, don't, an I, don't have I don't have any country in my speak. Like I don't. I sound too white, and so like people just think I'm picking a side, and I'm like, no, I don't. I just have to make sure that I don't get called to Uncle Tom. White people mean to you a lot? Um, I grew up in the Burbs. I grew up in Palos Verde, so like I I definitely have like lots of firsthand white people white people like being racist to me directly stories. Really? Yeah, like but it's just it's not like oppressive. It's just like my feelings hurt. Like like oh, I'm not going to we can't invite black kids over, but it's not like but not like systematic poverty and shit. Like, I still got to live in the burbs at the end of the day. Right. Uh, what do you, uh, why do you, do you get to live in the burbs? What do your parents do? Uh, my mom's a lawyer and my dad is an engineer. Wow. Wow, did not see that coming. <laughs> 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 well, hell yeah. So you're what was the end bar? There it is. And now you still live there? You make nah. the drive? Is that a, no, now you live around here. No, nah, not nah, yeah. Like, Fucking find the scarabs from fucking Mummy and Mummy oh, Two, bro. You're going to medical school. <laughs> uh, I abandoned blue jeans. I've never heard of talking too white, but I would imagine the shit my granddaddy would say when Nana wasn't. Dun, 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 dun. I think he just means that he doesn't have like a black accent. So he's uh he doesn't wanna try to sound thug, he's just gonna put it out there that he ain't down with the oppressors. <laughs> I don't know why. I I just over I haven't bought a pair of worn a pair of blue jeans, at least to do stand up in three years. Did the guy you stole your or clothes well, like, from uh, did the guy you stole your clothes from ask you why so serious? <laughs> Oh my uh, An unbelievable reach by Joel Berg. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> unbelievable reach. You guys hear that? Unbelievable reach. <laughs> <laughs> that's the quality I bring to this show. All right, back to you in the studio, Tony. What, uh, what did you do? What did you do before stand up? Um, I used to. Before I started doing stand up, I was teaching. It, I was a teacher in Nigeria. Oh, yeah, yeah. I taught English out there. How good. was it going back? Um. It was <laughs> I guess it was, so, it man. Was dope. Like um it's like it's super easy to date anyone you want, but like it's kind of prostitution. Like everybody like girls expect you to like pay for all their shit, yeah. but like if you're willing to pay for all their shit, you can pretty much date whoever. Excuse you me. Want. What's the difference between that and Paula Verde? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want my girlfriend a hooker? <laughs> Kinda. Are you are you calling Red Band's girlfriend? What are you doing, man? Step up. <laughs> uh, wow, that's fun. So, um, and you do what for work? Um, I work for I work for Save the Children. I do canvassing. I'm a, a nigga who stands outside grocery stores and tries to get people to donate to. Uh, uh, you're one, uh, of those one of those kinds of people. Nigerians. Uh. <laughs> That do it in person versus online through them weird ass emails. Uh, <laughs> I hate that shit. Yeah, some of those. Uh, What's your other hustle? Because I know you got another one. Uh, <laughs> nah, other hustle is comedy. Um, he does a lot of Fanta commercials. <laughs> wow. Please, dude. How about 
about hobbies. What do you do for fun? Frozen bars. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm into. I'm a, I'm I'm a comic book guy. Like I'm big in video games, comic books, like just nerdy shit in general, anime and all that type of stuff. Um, yeah, I, be, I try and make my own comic books and shit. Oh. Do you fuck with any of Oh shit, we got an Eric July in the room. Um, <laughs> not no more. I'm wiped up now. So I have a girlfriend now. But like, is she, her, is she African? She not, anything goes, you, you're you getting a little close. <laughs> you're getting real close there, buddy. What is it about her that you think makes her so special to you? Um, she's one of the few people I consider smarter than me. Like, wow. what the fuck? She, this dude is fault and so. Don't canvas my grocery um, store. Yes, but I'm not out of the talk. Not to say it I'm not out to right. talk Trump <laughs> or charity or homeless. I just want <laughs> milk and eggs yeah. and bread. Just sprinkle it in there. How your parents not, feel about what you do? Um, Truth. They have to deal with it. Like, it's. Uh, like I'm, uh, you first is, generation? Yeah, oh, yeah. And so shit. it's. Yeah. Yeah, as long as. Yeah, do I? I don't ask them for money no more. So that's pretty much where it is. Is they don't give me shit like that, and I can do whatever I want. How old are you? Uh, what does this dude want? Fuck yeah! Have you ever sold chocolate to your? Needed to do the work of claw magnets. Find their temple beneath the desert sands, and you may find the source of this curse. Oh yeah, where's you said? Not long ago, one Good evening. These are identified, they just don't meet the requirements. This one's unidentified. I have a ring over here. What's this? Do, 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 do. Lightning resistance. No. no need. What is this? Do 9 to 17. Don't need. Oh, we'll get rid of these also. Boom. And boom. Do I have enough health? I come from a land down under. We're good. All right, got my potions up. Inventory's clean. Let's figure this shit out. Still eight people rocking in in the room. Let's get these likes up. Let's get these follows up. If you are already following, put some, you know, tw tickle the keyboard a bit, yeah. <laughs> get in the chat, guys. Anything goes out here by his lonesome. Uh, let's see, keeping my feet moving, head down, power three. The green potion you just sold, most expensive potion in the game. Yeah, it's like a throwable item. What the fuck do I need that for? The fuck do I need that for? Boom. Found some more goo, guys. Greater. Whoa, it's the first greater potion I found. Anything he sells is chocolate selling. <laughs> okay, okay. I okay. used to sell chocolate, but I got a girlfriend. I can't do that shit no more. All right, whatever. Gotcha. What does yeah. that, What does that mean? W D. Okay, no, stop it, Brian. <laughs> God damn it. I'm 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 so happy that two Africans were on the show because That's I great. I hear you do the. The play the Lion King thing for fucking Haitians and Jamaicans oh, yeah. and shit. Yeah, like, one of my favorite things. It's just like, things hold on. Favorite things to do. So, speaking of having two different Africans on uh, stage tonight, is there any beef between Nigeria and South Africa? Is there? Uh, you guys have any sort of thing? Nigerians fight with people a lot, or not? Um, 
most Niger most African countries is beef is between within their own country. Yeah. Like most of them is self beef. Like here in America, we have the East Coast rappers versus the West Coast rappers. Yeah, exactly. And or we have Pusha T versus light skinned niggas. Uh, <laughs> nah, um, everybody in Africa kind of has beef with South Africa because they're the white representative to the world. And so it's like we're all kind of. How do y'all feel about black hair? I mean, how do your family feel? Um, Can you say it openly? <laughs> I have a whole bit about it, but it's like. Uh, it's 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 pretty much as much as much as black people make fun of Africans, Africans make fun of them just as much. The same silly type of shit, like we, like, yeah. Yo, you can't say. We, yeah, I, <laughs> not in front of company. I don't I don't feel comfortable. Can you just give us one I, I, one small example of something racist you've heard your dad say? Come on, he's not giving you money anymore <laughs> anyway. You can give us I, a little example of something is, that you've over- The staff of kings. It's not gonna be a little example. I'm gonna lose half my black stuff. Well, um, here, I'll tell you what happened to me, because I'm black, and I can say it. <laughs> but the first time I went over to the Nigerian house, I had to get introduced as the white man. Yeah, I had a couple of bear, bear, um, you see, wolf and bird hats, but I found this wow, helm that I had, had two socket nice spaces, so I've been I'm, I'm, rocking that. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like they were just fucking It's got 26 <laughs> defense, it's pretty good. So you ain't went that far yet, huh? Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> No example of uh, something racist that you've heard your dad um, say? I, one day I came back home, and it was a whole bunch of, like, it used to bother me when I was in, like, elementary, like, African booties. I haven't even looked like, at this. There's still know, There's a lot of arguments I've lost to just, shut your African ass up. There's no punchline. That's all they say. And then my dad said, next time they say something to you, look him in his face and say, that's why my grandfather sold your grandfather. And it's like, that's a good joke. It's good. And six, I, that's six, a good four. joke. It's a lot to give a ten-year-old, though. I, I <laughs> wow! Wow! Not, not Defense is thirty-two. You know what, I mean? what is I this? I just squirted. Twenty-six. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> but right. that is a very good, to me, true story that shows the relationship. Just in that one joke, it just shows the relationship between, you know, Af- your. Nigerians or Africans and black people just sums it up. You know what I mean? So I think I think jokes like that need to be told to me. You know what I mean? I agree. And I think that yeah, absolutely. That's one of the, you know, more interesting ones of the night, joke wise. Uh I'm gonna ask you one more question before we wrap this whole thing up. You said yep. you hate white people. We're right? looting and booting over here, bro. Called push a T, push a T, and you didn't even refer to Drake by name. <laughs> You call him the light-skinned guy. <laughs> so my question is this. Is there basically, like, uh, a, a, the darker you are, the cooler you are with them, like, straight up? Or is it, like, well, I guess what I'm asking is, do you respect light-skinned Africans less than dark-skinned Africans? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> why, why is the well, malaria bird here? He opened with an Ethiopian joke, which are lighter Africans. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. I, yeah. do not, I do not have any issues with people based on complexion. On Just white like, people. But, yeah, I, there's, a, there's a whole th- – I, I, wor- I was going to try and – I, I figured out Maybe that I couldn't stuttering? do that. He on, <laughs> yeah, he on first 48. <laughs> he on first 48 right now. Um, uh, well, sir, you want a cigarette? Maybe we'll start next week's episode with your answer from uh, the end of tonight's episode. Well, um, I um, – I, I, I don't diss – like people because they're light skinned, I but do. I don't like a lot of light skinned people. When you refer to Drake, Steph Curry, the Warriors, there's there's a long list of light skinned niggas who I don't fuck with, but it's not because they're light skinned. Uh, the American came out of him. He called them niggas. <laughs> I like that. In that case, USA. Well, have, in, since you wanted to answer it that way, I have one more question for you. Who's, <laughs> who's your favorite ever light skinned? L O Cool J. <laughs> God, <laughs> Wait, damn. we don't even consider him light skin. That's like, God, God. damn, what? <laughs> Did no, you realize he was? God, damn, how black are y'all? Are, are y'all? How dark are y'all? Air, air, like, shit. He's like Wet- uh, Wesley Snipes. I'm scared. I see why I was the white man's wolf then. <laughs> Yema Nicolay, everybody. There he goes. Come on, he's on Twitter at. Uh,
found me, my friend. You have discovered the shaft portion of a Herodric staff. I trust you know how to use the Herodric cube to unite the shaft with its headpiece. That's it. Why are you... Didn't even say shit. Alright. Uh, we'll put that in there. Inventory space for freed up. Loot. Shoot, loot, and scoot. Definitely. Gotta keep this tone ready. Ramen 68 deal. I will follow, homie. Uh, comedy yum yum. Yummy yum. Y E M A Y E M. And that's what an episode of Kill Tony looks like, live from the comedy store. This is the drawing while you all sat there and did nothing. Look what Ryan J. E. Belt drew up. Shit. Including Who's the Kill Tony posters. <laughs> Got him. In individual show are available at ryanjebelt.com. TonyInchcliffe.com for a bunch of fun tour dates coming up in those Kill Tony dates. Uh, Portland, Cleveland, uh, Nashville, Grand Rapids, Lansing. Oh! Okay, and uh, Byron Bowers, what do you got coming up, coming out? Anything you want to plug? Anything crazy? Milano Punchline this weekend. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be in Denver in August. Look at my calendar. I'm going to be in the La Jolla Comedy Store. I'm going to be at Denver Improv. Why does this title say Byron Powers and Jamar Neighbors, but Jamar never wants show? Did I miss the pop in for a second? Did he do like a minute set? I don't get it. I don't fucking understand. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start the new episode. Oh, Joey Rose and Dami I. Holy shit. people what the name of this podcast is because oh, there's a lot of content right. i was at jc penny's earlier and i was looking at twitter and there was some controversy uh about the name because a lot of people think you should change it to something else what, what do you want it to be i'm i'm pretty bendable at this point i always thought that a yes. decent name for a podcast would be hinge cliff's notes because it's a it's a cool mix of like cliff's notes and it doesn't roll off the tongue though well, hinge cliff notes. I'm pretty sure nothing with the word hinge cliff and it's going to roll off the top. You had a weird thing there. You texted me something that I couldn't tell you were just super, super stoned. I was. I was super stoned. You wanted to call it Kill Tony. Jeez, the fucking audio quality on these mics is fucking my brains up, dude. What the hell? And like have a kill bill, have it be like kill bill themed where I'd be like in a yellow suit with a sword and shit for its cover. That's what I've been thinking. Really? What do you guys think? Yeah, uh, kill kill oh, kill kill really? Oh, I think this is their five uh, five year anniversary coming up. Okay. That's why they're doing a little bit of stuff, dude. Well, that seems like it's it, our head of security, he's here again, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the Iron Patriot. The fuck is that? I will lead these new Avengers into battle against anyone who's threatened our way of life. I am the Iron Patriot. It's unbelievable. And that's how we found this in the first place. He showed up after episode one in that squeaky, fantastic uniform that we all love. 
And he came right up to me and he goes, Tony, I'm a big fan of the Death Squad. I'm a big fan of you. I'd love to be part of any show, any time. And I go, well, that's great because you're our new head of security uh, for no apparent reason because he can't even move in this suit. He really, he, has, he doesn't know what he's looking at. He never knows which camera is taking the picture. And that's really what we love about him is that even though he has a huge thick of armor, there is one regular, very normal human being underneath it all. Well, 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 wait, wait, wait. We need someone that we can objectify. Do you, you want to do a minute? Yes, yeah. there we go. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. That's how fast it happens. Some estrogen up in this party. That's right. Pussy power. Fuck Shit. yeah. Okay. Your hands together for her Death Squad debut and the debut of her work on Kill Tony. It's Kim Congdon. Kim Congdon, what? Kimmy Cates, dude. We are adding a third regular to the show. It's at Sarah Weinshank, everybody. What's the shank, bro? And now your newest regular, Melissa, you have to let it linger, it's linger. He's off the mic there, bud. What? What's up, guys? Still shaking. Um. And now your other new regular, the 19-year-old Allie Valley Legal. Hell yeah. Fun fact, everybody. Uh, we have a brand new regular. Put your hands together for her. It's Vanessa Johnston. Wow, and I'm excited about this. It's a one word only name that I'm sure I've never seen before. Put your hands together for Malcolm. What's up? <laughs> Austin Lee, shit, God, real. <laughs> You're a lot of fun. 14 man. to 32 awesome. is pretty Welcome good. Welcome to California, brother. That's nice. really awesome. Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm. Jeff Ross, nice to meet you. Hey, Malcolm, if you want to do the next. Uh, Ice House again. I'd love to have you back on oh, the Ice House. Boom! Back on the Ice House. Malcolm! I don't really want to wait to the five-year anniversary show to see you do a new minute on this show every single week. And if you'd be down, I say we just make it official right now that you're a new regular on the show. Let it be known that Malcolm Hatchet is the first ever, ever male regular on the show. The first ever African-American regular on the show. Oh, the, the, the claps just died out a little bit on that part. <laughs> this guy is really fucking cool. I saw him play here a few times. I love his uh, really album, it's Pat Reagan drink. Smells Like Shit. You should get it immediately. I've been listening to it the last four days. It's all I've been listening to. I'm obsessed with the stylings of my friend and now yours, Pat Reagan, everybody. Here it is. Search the maggot layer. Search the... Claw Viper Temple. Claw Viper Temple. It goes one, two, three. Then we jump in the water. It's just you and me. Because of Asian cultural pressures. I assume that our suicide rates were relatively high. <laughs> but statistically, Asian suicide rates are actually very low if you don't count people who work in iPhone factories. <laughs> I buy a new iPhone every year because I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> so like all iPhone owners, I don't care if Chinese people die. <laughs> the technology is too cool. 
<laughs> Pregnant women can now actually use their cell phone to figure out the gender of a baby inside them. How it works is, first, you lock the phone. Then you gently slide it into your vagina hole. <laughs> if the fetus unlocks the phone and looks at all your text messages, it's a girl. <laughs> I'm a baby. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, boy. Is it hard to run from the lot in flip flops? <laughs> Oh shit, what am I doing? No. Oh man, I have no idea how much money I just lost on that. That was a bad move there. Um, yeah, they're uh, Fred Durst loving uh, douchebags that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 21 you know, degrees I'm, out. I'm really I don't smoke in my house. Tony I'm just sitting out in the sunroom. And 21 degree temperature in my robe and two blankets. Shit's pretty fucking easy, dude. <laughs> you smoke buds, bro? What's your brand? Or do you just smoke the ganache, the devil's lettuce? I'm so done with this fucking shitty audio quality. Can we get to the actual episode? Oh yeah, we're moving along. Should we just keep it moving? Oh hey, Ryan J. E. Belt's here everybody, the house artist. For years and years and years, while you've just all sat around listening to the podcast, he draws every episode, and he's drawing tonight's episode as well. Everything's 21. available at ryanjbelt.com, and he has a very special, unbelievably awesome, brand new five-year anniversary poster that's available in the lobby. Yeah. After the show. As with the, the new uh, Kill Tony shirts out there yes. also. Yes, yes. We are selling stuff in the lobby. So what, what are you going to sell this outfit you got from the Starship Enterprise? Well, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, as soon as you sell your John Lovitz collectible edition, um, I'm working on it. It's taken me a long time to gather enough confidence to dress like a breakfast sandwich, <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, should we just keep moving along? Should we bring out tonight's guests? What do you guys say? Huh? Heck yeah. Let's just keep. Let's just keep this fun train moving along. These two guys have both done the show multiple times. It would be an understatement to say that they are two of my favorite guests and two of the best comedians in the world. Mm, Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great and powerful Joe Rogan and Dom Irera. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> two of the greatest in the world. Two of my best friends and two of our favorite guests. On Bill Tony, this crowd is fucking awesome. Lucky strike. The awesome. energy in here is insane. We're just trying to ride that Bruce Buffer wave still. But you look cool as hell. <laughs> he really He's the best is. ever. He's Welcome the best ever. Buds, Welcome bro. back, Joe. Uh, Thank you. Good to have you back. We've been having a lot of fun lately. A lot of fun shows coming up as well. You have a new special coming out on Netflix in a few months. That is, I don't think they're supposed to announce it yet. But oh, yeah. okie dokie. Uh, so, okie dokie. I think I've already said it, so yeah. One, one of my uh, Golden Girls is rerunning. <laughs> <laughs> Dom Irera is here, ladies and gentlemen, one of our favorites. I believe he is our uh, most utilized guest in the history of the show. I think about 18 or 19 times you've done this show. Is that Jeremiah Prick still here? <laughs> 
Didn't didn't he win some award recently? Like at the top comic? Yeah, he was. Uh, he won Comedy Central's number thirty-nine greatest comedian of all time. Who? who? You did right, thirty-nine. I wish thirty-nine. I was forty-two. <laughs> I love it. Uh, keep the fun train moving along, shall we? We have a band that uh, performs every single week. They commit to different characters every week. Last night we did this in Portland, Oregon in a sold out Helium Comedy Club there. Uh, shout out to that amazing fucking show that we had. And uh, Jeremiah was with us and he was Professor Snape from Harry Potter. He always commits to a character throughout the episode. You never know what he's gonna do. Sometimes he brings back some of the oldies and goodies. Sometimes it's a new one. And uh, the rest of the band does as well. It's the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris, the Kill Tony band. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Swerve City, it's Pat Reagan. What's up? This is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store Main Room for another episode of Kill Tony. Welcome to your host of the show, Tony Hinchcliffe. Hello, everybody. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! Wow. Holy shit! Wow, this is amazing. For those of you just listening to the podcast, uh, that was Pat Reagan that came out with a pillow under his shirt to uh, take on the Red Band character. And then uh, he brought out, I guess, perhaps Joel is supposed to be me, I guess? Uh, I didn't really know that I looked like a Mexican Christopher Walken. But, hey, uh, uh, oh, well, well when, you, when you're one of the top young rising comedians, you get close to the sun, you get a little bit of a tan, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Guys, welcome to another edition of Kill Tony. As always, I have some of my funniest friends. Tonight is no different. Please. I'm in the fucking Writer's Guild! <laughs> you sons of bitches! Gugga, 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 gugga. I've never done that. I only just recently got into I've Kill Tony. So. If you haven't, you should. You should start. <laughs> Here we go. For you. He's right. Gotta bring out my, uh, my guest. Guys, please put your hands together for my guest tonight, Joe Rogan! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. For those of you listening to the podcast, he looks like the actual Joe Rogan if he had stage six cancer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if Powder got a bunch of tattoos, this is what it would be like. <laughs> oh my God. He has elk written on a Jack Link's beef jerky bag and on it shirt arm tattoos. and. How did you get your head to be like that? That's <laughs> impressive. You went to a real professional for that. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. <laughs> uh, uh. Woo! Uh, uh, Holy uh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. My God. Giggity, gaga, gaga, gaga. Oh, my God. Isn't it amazing that somebody <laughs> fucks him? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is exciting. I like this cast. Uh, we have Joe Rogan, <sighs> uh, Brian Redband, Josh oh. Martin, for those of you that couldn't tell down there at the end. I can't think of anybody that got pissed then, uh, off and left the show. Goldberg, Joel Jimenez, uh, back there, clearly being. Uh, Hello, everybody. It seemed like <laughs> Jeremiah left on the greatest of terms. Right there. Wow. Cool. 
Uh, this is end right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to follow that at all. This is going to be really interesting. I have a bucket filled oh. with comedians' names. Uh, a lot of people came from around the world to sign up tonight. Uh, if I pull your name, you know how it works. You get 60 seconds on stage. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Meow. That's not how it works, Brian. Get your soundboard to work, Brian. It's your one job, Brian. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, wrap it up when you hear the sound of a kitty or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. What are you doing? <laughs> thing, dude. Instead of making noises, fix your soundboard. What are you doing? You're just going to make mouth noises tonight? Wow, fuck yeah. Totally ready for the five-year anniversary of Kill Tony. You guys ready for this shit? You get 60 seconds on stage. And then we talk to you about anything in the world. We find out more about you and maybe other stuff you could talk about or what's interesting about your life. Sure. Uh, you guys ready to start <laughs> this thing? It is the five-year anniversary of Kill Tony. Live from the comedy store. Holy shit. Oh my god, Jeremiah. You are out of control. Look at this kettlebell. It's like two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, I pull the name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Lydia Shaheed. Here we go. We got a lot of people stockpiled everywhere, so we got to give her a second. Here she comes from the right side, Lydia Shaheed. Here we go. Come on, one more time for Lydia Shaheed, everybody. Holy shit. All right. How's everyone doing? It's good. Um, I went on a date with a dude. I met on Bumble, and he wanted to guess my ethnicity. He's like, you're so exotic. He's like, can I get a few pointers? So I was like, gave him a few hints. So I was like, I'm from a country in Africa. It starts with an E, and it's considered the Middle East. And this dumb piece of shit called me Islam. <laughs> <coughs> the worst part wasn't that he called me Islam. The worst part was that I didn't correct him, and then I just slept with him after. I was like, whatever. <laughs> And then he ghosted me. Do you guys know what ghosting is? It's where they forget you exist and they just stop texting you back. And I was like, how did I get ghosted? So I just started texting him. I was like, I hate it when we fight. <laughs> <laughs> I told all my friends about him. My friends were like, how are you and Nick? I'm like, we're still fighting. I don't get it. <laughs> Do I still have more time? <laughs> Uh -huh. Wow. Was that the cat? Yes, it was. <laughs> Someone's got a broken soundboard. <laughs> Lydia Shaheed. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is your first time on the show, right, Lydia? No, it's my second time. I was oh. back here in November. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, it's welcome been a while. back. Hey. How's like my whole fucking act? <laughs> Did I? You've been ghosted too? <laughs> How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, a little over a year now. Okay. So about a year. All here in LA. You from LA? Uh, Orange County area. Right. Yeah. You still live there? Yes. You talk like you're from the Orange County area. <laughs> True. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a I'm a special needs educator. Yeah. So, ah. yeah Look at that. Cool. <laughs> Retards. <laughs> yeah. We call them intellectually disabled. We don't use the R word. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, about three years. I'm starting my fourth. Huh. Yeah. How? What's the, the most special kid? What's he like? Like, what does uh, he do? Wh His wh name wh is Brian Redband. I gotta give her a lot of credit. Too hard, I I gotta give her a lot of credit for coming up here first. After that, I mean, yeah. come on, that's yeah. that's a tough fucking spot. Absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, she's she's used to big gigs. She just uh, did the White House Correspondence Dinner. So. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> she also just got bit by a retard. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? John Marrera living in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I was taller then, Joe. <laughs> I never got an answer. What's the most special thing that one of your special kids has ever done? Um, Take off his helmet and just jump down the stairs? Uh... I mean, I have a kid right now that just kind of picks up shit off the floor and puts it in his mouth, and he's in high school, so I always have to, like, finger bang his mouth to get whatever's out of there all the time. Oh. <laughs> Cut to someone <laughs> translating this, <laughs> putting it on Twitter. People getting mad at you. 
You have to uh, move the mic stand. That's a good oh, move. Oh, is that what it like is? When you first okay, go on stage, I was going always to. get that stupid thing out of your way. I was because otherwise, you're like, God, that stupid thing's in front That's of me, and you're thinking about it. That. Yeah. I just got really nervous. It happened so quick. It's a good, yeah, it's a good thing to do. It's hard. Yeah. Someone saying, ready, set, go, and you didn't even know whether it was going to be you, and then a minute later. It's a, it's a courageous job, and yeah. to do it on the internet, it's very hard. Yeah. You know, oh, what, yeah. you, what you guys are doing is probably one of the most difficult things in stand-up, and no one should ask you to do it. But, <laughs> but since you're doing it, you know, just, it's fucking hard. Yeah. You know, it's hard to get going, right? It's hard to start off. You feel, like, shaky, a little weird. You're like, what do I say? i got to say something, but I don't want to rush it. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting for two of my friends to get in, so I don't. I can't I don't even think, process this yet. I don't, think, I don't think they're gonna make it in. What color are they? <laughs> <laughs> what ethnicity are you? What, like, uh, I'm Egyptian. Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> your, uh, your last name's interesting. Does it mean anything? Shahid. Okay. <laughs> Brian, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop. You want to lose Zip Recruiter? God damn it. Oh, holy shit. This is already the best Kill Tony ever. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow. Oh. Fuck yeah, Lydia. Oh. So how's stand-up been going for you? Good? It's, yeah, it's been good. You get a lot of uh, male comedians hitting on you a lot when you're doing uh, spots? Yeah. yeah, all the time. You ever hook up with one of them? Yeah. Yeah, how does, how'd that go for you? <laughs> instant, what? instant regrets? or were, were they? Uh, a few have been instant regrets. Uh, you instant regrets. A few. Damn, wow. You get more There's sign-ups than Ichabod's <laughs> Bucket of Destiny, I guess. <laughs> you want to do the Ice House? <laughs> Later. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah, Patty Reagan is back! <laughs> wow. That was fucking hilarious. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's my boy, Patty Redband, right there. <laughs> well, Lydia, you're part of history. Tough position to get the show kick started tonight. Yeah. Anything else for Lydia, guys? Can we talk about my set? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> what do you want? No, you what baffoon. It was funny. You're funny. <laughs> yeah. You have funny ideas. Seconds? You have very funny ideas. Very funny. Okay. You yeah. just got to get loose. So it is. Do a lot of sets. Do as many sets as you can. Yeah, you okay. start, you start petering off after 40 seconds. Oh, I no, did. I felt like she warmed up. I felt like she warmed up a little, but in the beginning, I felt like you were a little... It's hard. It's fucking hard. It shows you, you know? how hard it is, though. When it was 40 seconds, and you looked so calm, and you still mm -hmm. looked up and said, how much more time do I have? <laughs> 40 fucking seconds. I shouldn't have said it's that. 60 seconds, Dom. No, I know, but she did 40. Oh. And oh, I see. It's not that you shouldn't have said that. It's yeah. You should have said it. You know, it's no yeah. big deal. Yeah. But in a regular show, like the the the, the getting started part is hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta you gotta just be like real clear with how you get started, or just set the stage. And the microphone stand in front of you is always gonna be. You always gotta get that thing out of the way because okay. people are always like, "Why isn't she moving the fucking mic?" Yeah. It's it's just weird. Okay. You know. Okay. But you're funny. It's funny oh, shit. Thank That's you. the most thank important you. thing. There okay. you go. Getting the show thank started. You. It's Lydia Shahid, everybody. <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> I didn't even know that you had that loaded up when I said it. I was going to do a walk of shame joke on that last thing. But wow. Well, good thing you didn't. Yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Sento Fanti. One word name. Here we go. Those are usually interesting. Sento Fanti, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. How we all doing? I like to concentrate on the positivities of life. Like it's summertime, which is great. That means no more school shootings. <sighs> what an incentive to get good grades. Who wants to show up to summer school now? Shit, that's risky. 
I don't know if you guys heard, but Titanic, uh, excuse me, Black Panther recently topped Titanic as the highest grossing film worldwide. Yeah. Yes, which is great, because those are two films highly supported by the black community. Wakanda Forever and White People Drowning. <laughs> Who can't swim now, motherfucker? <laughs> Growing up, I thought the DMV stood for domestic violence. People were always like, I hate the DMV. I can't stand the DMV. I'm like, yes. And there was always that one motherfucker that was like, I don't mind the DMV. Like, I got to keep my eyes on you. Fuck yeah, Santa Fancy. What kind of name is Centofanti? It's uh, Italian. Actually, a lot of Centofanis paved the streets of Youngstown, where you're from. Is that true? Yeah. Cement ah. men. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> is that true? Jamie, look that up real quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Wow. What are you looking for? <laughs> I'm scared to ask. Young Jamie. <laughs> Santo Fanti, uh, you don't really look Italian. You look more like a relief pitcher that let himself go. <laughs> like you were just snacking in the bullpen. You look, you look like if Muslims could eat pork. <laughs> there he is. Look out! Joelberg! Joelberg's back for the five year! <laughs> Centafonti, how long have you been doing stand up? About two years now. About two years. Yep. You started here in LA? Started out in Detroit, moved out here two years ago. So three years all together, but Detroit, don't really count that year. It's a true grind out here. Wow, you don't count your year in Detroit. Yeah. You got to count that, son. Yeah. <laughs> Three years. years of your fucking life. Yeah, it's true, man. What am I doing? Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, you know, that year, I was just like, I don't even count it. <laughs> I don't count most years after I was 12. I'm 13. <laughs> I That's love crazy. You. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> you, don't, you don't count a year of your life. Oh, I don't count that. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew, I knew that from Detroit. fucking shitloads like of sense. I knew he was from Detroit because it looks like all he eats is M and M's. M and M's. That's a Tony Hinchcliffe. M and M is from get Detroit. It? Don't you get it? That's your kind of joke, you fuck. No, it's not. Thank you. I'm in the right. Why are these people field. laughing? Thank you. No, Why are these people laughing if he's not correct? This reminds me of when I roasted Snoop Dogg. <laughs> One ah. shot. My special available now. Uh, oh my god. I, I gotta tell you, man, you went real risky with the school shooting right up front. Did you think about that before? Like, fuck, should I do this? Especially yeah, I since you're dressed like a school shooter. Oh, no. Now that's a fucking Tony Hinchcliffe joke! <laughs> he looks like if the trench coat mafia shopped at Lane Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Or big and tall, whatever. Insert your own punchline. You're welcome. Sensefanti, what do you do for work? Right now I'm working as a prep cook for a ramen restaurant in L.A. Wow, getting high on your own supply, huh? Yeah, sir. (laughs) Fuck yeah, you're a line cook. Wow, ramen restaurant. Yeah. How do you get a gig like that? Don't they have, like... Asian people for that? Yeah, they do. Uh, well, I stepped away. I've always loved culinary, obviously, but uh, I stepped away from nursing. It just became a little too tiring. Burnt you mean from out. the tit? <laughs> Hit that one. Oh, Jesus, bro. <laughs> Low hanging. I fear for your no. safety. <laughs> you walked away from nursing. First of all, you mean you waddled away from waddled. nursing. Oh, yeah. Tony just went dark. <laughs> you didn't have to go there, Tony. What were you doing? In you the had a male nurse in your clutches, and you went dark. I, s- I still got him. I still got him. <laughs> Wait, how long were you a male nurse for? Uh, two years. Wow. What yeah. were you doing? Uh, well, I started doing home care for my grandfather near the end days, and it became such a loop where I got stuck in this mindset where 
there was only death surrounding me. So, right. <laughs> so I, ste- I stepped away from that, and coming into the world of comedy really, really brought levity to the whole situation. You're oh, freaking man. us out, man. No, no, it's like in a good way. You see different people, have different perspectives on life, and then that helps you it looks cope like with you have a And then you, the opening and the end of your perspective is, man, let's talk about school shootings. Make that shit funny. Look I'm suffering through a lot of death. Let's make fun of death real quick. Coping. It's weird. <laughs> no, but it's a risky move. It was yeah. funny what you said. We got to speak recklessly. Right. But it's right. You're right. Like, you can't, you know, it's not going to be school shootings in the summer. Right. It's a funny joke, dude. Right side of life. It's, but it's ballsy. <laughs> That's all, I'm not, I'm, for real, it's ballsy. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. F- fuck yeah, Santofanti. Yeah. Uh, is that your last name? Yep. You just go by that? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, well, it's the name. Did you resen- eat your first name? <laughs> All right, guys. Bitch, that. you son of a bitch. Don't- I'm back. We'll start the pod back up in a second. Looks like we jumped up to 12 people, which is dope. Uh, throw me a like. Throw me a follow. I'm trying to get to 50 followers by the end of this stream. And we're coming kind of close to the end, so if you guys can help me, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> You're so, so mean! Joel well, uh, well, Tony, it's because Santo Claus was already taken. <laughs> Joel <Berg. laughs> Oh, my God. I can't take this. Oh, my God. I am too high for this right now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Santa Fonte, you did a great job. Thank you very much, sir. There he goes. Santa Fonte, everybody. He's on Twitter at Santa Fonte Comedy. Job, Lydia Shahid is Pretty Girl Comic. G U R L Comic, all one word. We're flying through them tonight. Ooh, the Valley of this. Snakes. Nice. I Jeremiah Rogan might be one of my favorite snakes. characters I've ever seen. <laughs> my name is Nose Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Julian Shikuna. Saikuna. Here we go, here comes Julian. Julian Sakuna, everybody, come on. Comedy Store Hollywood. <laughs> feels good to be here, man, feels good. Just got back from Africa. And man, feels good to do comedy with some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Just so hot, can handle Wakanda no more, man. Jeez, man. My roots are from the Congo, the big Congo next to Chicago. And it's what amazing, is? man. I'm still amazed by the comedy scene here in America, man. Jeez, man, amazed. To the point like, you know, like, first of all, you know, I got started doing comedy back in the Congo, in the living room with my grandma and two zebra next to her. <laughs> Physically, it's tough, man. Zebra don't like comedy, man. <laughs> you be doing your best punchline and jokes. Zebra just... <laughs> you guys, we feed you guys. You don't pay for ticket. What's going on? Meow. There you go. Julian Sakuna, everybody. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> come on. We didn't even get to interview him. Julian, how's it going? Grab the microphone. How are you? I'm doing great. How was your uh, bobsled ride here today? (laughs) Uh, I'm doing good, man. Thank you. How are you? This is your first time on the show, right? I sold that room. Hell yeah. yeah. How long have you been doing stand up? No. I did my first open mic in 2015. Uh huh. Then I stopped and. uh, Oh, wait. You know what? It's all here. Uh No problem. So this is your return after a year long break? Yeah. Well, the rhino he was protecting finally died, so he's. uh, (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Jesus. Tony, what is wrong with you? I'm in the writer's guild. Giggity, 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 giggity. I never say that. What is that noise? You should. Yeah. That's your noise, bro. From now on, that's your noise. It's when you do that Cartman <laughs> thing. When you're like, ah, ah. No, that's his I noise listen to Rogan when I'm interested <laughs> in the guest. I have guests. no idea what you guys How does it go again? 
Giggity, giggity, giggity. I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. That's where the swagger comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Shit. So Julian, is that true? Did you really start stand up in the Congo? I did. I grew up. I grew up in Belgium, but I would go back and forth to the Congo. You know. You would go back and forth to the Congo. <laughs> 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 okay. What was that crowd like in the Congo? Uh, it's uh, wild. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Not a whole lot of people can get away with saying that. <laughs> you happen to be one of them. <laughs> Can I ask you a real question? Yeah. Do you jazz up your accent a little bit when you go on stage and do stand up? No, I don't. I don't think Look at this claw You're viper. Now than you were when you were talking earlier. For real? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Like seriously, like I don't. I don't All right, know. let's say. Yeah, let's let me just just give it a little test. Let's say okay. I'm an ice agent. Hello, Julian. I'm an ice agent. How are you? <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. It changes. <laughs> he can control it. I'm good. I've lived uh, in America my whole life. What do you mean I sound? All right. <laughs> Not for real, like a uh, ring of charge to bolt. Do I do accent. Obviously, I do have. <laughs> well, when you said Belgium too, well, I was like, oh, that's what mean. it is. It's like an extra thing to your English. It's, uh, like, it's interesting. I, I grew up in Belgium uh -huh. most of my life, but I would go, you know, traveling to Congo. Right. For my culture, you know, spending time with my family mm -hmm. and doing some comedy around. What know. do what do your parents do? What are they what do they what goes on in the Congo? So my dad is actually uh, very famous in the Congo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he used to be a professional boxer. Ah. So and uh, he had a great work ethic. He worked from home. He worked from home? Yeah. So he hit your mom? <laughs> <laughs> I think this show is illegal. <laughs> I think you can do any of the things you've yeah. done so far. They sign up you for too, it. You too, Don Marrera. <laughs> this is illegal now. Yeah, so, yeah, famous boxer, and uh, he got a, you know, at that time, that was the 60s, he had a contract, you know, to, to be able to, you know, to do that professionally in Europe. So he went to Belgium. That's why I was born in Belgium. Oh, yeah. okay, man. Do you think the boxing sort of get, maybe uh, did a little damage to his brain? He a little bit? To all of us. Uh, yeah, it's that scene. Um, how about your mom? What does she do? She's she just uh, takes care of the teepee? <laughs> the, the That's Native Americans, bro. You're so racist. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Anyone who's not white, that's in the whatever category. <laughs> what's in the Congo? Whatever. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of house did you grow up in? I'm gonna say this uh, ring because like I have no idea what. Yeah, I is mean, it like a house? Do they have houses in the Congo, like two stories or? Oh my yeah, yeah, God. Like yeah. Regular. Oh, okay. <laughs> regular. I don't want to be around for the Jezebel article about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Me <Still>. neither. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, well, uh, do you have a question for him? I just are there any Congo? Are, are there comedy clubs there? How do you start uh, the, off? The, the comedy scene over there is like, uh, I mean, now it's starting, they, they, they put this in the, in the hotel, you know, they will create some, some type of event in the lobby of the hotel, you know, there's some rooms and stuff. Right, but talk, it's normal not like, huh? talk normal now. Talk normal. Oh, sorry, no. no I'm kind so, of. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> are, you a good no, are you a good boxer? Uh, in life, yes. <laughs> What the fuck no. did that what? mean? Oh, a fellow DMT user. <laughs> uh, uh, no. How long have you been in Los Angeles? Uh, it's been five years. Five years. Those on the Hell yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, now I'm an Uber driver. Uber driver. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uber X? Uber guys. So. Uber X. Yeah. Hell yeah. I thought you were going to be Uber Black for sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh. How long have you been driving Uber? It's been uh, about three months now. You ever uh, hook up with any chicks uh, that have gotten a ride in your Uber? A lot of temptation, but uh, you know, I have a girlfriend, so she's she's great. I couldn't quite. I couldn't quite. You said you had a girlfriend, and she's great. Oh, how long have you been with your girlfriend? It's been uh, two years now. Wow, you met her here in LA. Yeah. Where'd you meet her? Uh, in Santa Monica by the beach. Is she American citizen? She is. Thinking about getting that green card, son? You know yeah. what to do. You know what to do. Already, already Make it permanent, before. kid. Already Sign had. the papers. Yeah. Don't she, be scared. She's white? Are we scared of commitment? No, she's actually uh, black. 
Oh. A black. Whoa. <laughs> Again, there's only a few people who can get away with saying that. You happen to be one of them. You said that with like a South African accent. She's actually a black. <laughs> a black. Her that name is, is Nala. She's that is, gorgeous. That's a fucking dark thing to say. She's a black. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Did I, did I, how is my accent? I want to make sure you guys have my, my English so far. Excellent. Yeah. It's excellent. No, because these people, they make me feel like, uh, you know, like my, my English is good, right? It's good. It's good enough. Better uh, be, better be. Julian, what is the biggest difference, uh, or the, what would be the biggest culture shock to us if we went to the Congo? Whew. Like everything, like from the sun to the dirt, it's, everything is, is everything's different. Everything's different. I mean, no, seriously, like, uh, you know, the, the good things, though, about Africa, it's like with nothing in life, we enjoy like the pure joy of life like with nothing we we appreciate the little things of life you know Hell yeah. and this is some things you can never find anywhere else you know it's mm. uh, it's amazing yeah absolutely awesome man that's beautiful <laughs> fuck yeah well congratulations you were on the biggest episode in this show's history Thanks. julian shakuna everybody from the congo to the comedy store All right, you guys having fun out there? Keep it moving along. We keep it on the ground, I think. Hey, wait a second. Who's that over there? Do we have a band switch? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Shanks is in the house, bitch. Whoa, the return of one of our favorite characters ever on the show. Shanks, a former prisoner. He just got out of prison, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> For you podcast listeners, he's cross-eyed. They are in full orange jumpsuits now. Uh, we have a... Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on back there. What were you in for, bro? Man, raping and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I think this fucking show is illegal. I don't think you could do any of these things anymore. Yo, you ain't no snitch, are you, Joe Rogan? <laughs> <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable about being here. I love it. They have switched out to prisoners. Chroma Chris is a police officer, and uh, Jolberg somehow looks more Italian than Sentofanti did. <laughs> All of a sudden, it looks like he's been making pasta all day long. <laughs> the Mario you better watch your fucking raviolis, dog. <laughs> Uh, 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 fuck yes. Yeah, uh, get that sauce for that pasta. Oh baby. my god. Back to the bucket we If have. you looked like that, you would call it gravy, right, Don Marrera? <laughs> like a real guinea, you would call it gravy. You wouldn't call it yeah, sauce. No, you never call it sauce. It's gravy, bitch. <laughs> yeah, East Coast. Gravy, bitch. East Coast. It's a special. little different in, on the inside. They'll, they'll call it sauce in like New Hampshire. I'm from Houston and we call it drip drip. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a dick joke? I don't know. Is it Joe Rogan? <laughs> oh. 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. This is chaos. Woo! Oh. Put your hands together. Another oh. uninterrupted 60 seconds goes to Ryan Branken. Ryan Branken. Here he comes from the deepest corner of the comedy store. Oh, my God. Here he comes. One more time. Ryan Branken, ladies and gentlemen. Holy Jesus. You get sad sitting over there for weeks on end without getting called. I got depressed a few times. Just do your act. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Did you ever date somebody and two months later turn her fat and lazy? I'm like a pig farmer. I sell them at the market a month later. American Ninja Warrior is not my Ninja Warrior. 
My Ninja Warrior does not jump around on trampolines. My Ninja Warrior, you can hire for 500 yen to kill your enemy. Plus three life. Thank God. Wow. There he is, Ryan Branken. Or as I call him, Tom Hanks on meth. <laughs> Good God, sir. Good Lord, Ryan. Wow. Hi, guys. Look at you. Do you, do you is, are you being serious? Is that what your face looks like? Sometimes. Do you smile like that? I shake. I, am so, I took edibles today. And it's, you did? It is not doing good in my system. Well, well you so ate nervous. shit up there tonight. So, uh, <laughs> weed isn't the only thing you ate today. Fuck yeah, Ryan. Mm, look at you. Fuck <laughs> uh, Shanks, you look pissed off. Yo, man, I got so confused during his set, my eyes went straight for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, I've seen you on this show before, yes. right? What happened last time you were on? Remind us of what we talked about. Give us a little flashback. What uh, happened? Uh, uh, my uh, babysitter sucking my cock. Wow, really? You made the power go out for a second there. Uh, Ryan. There's ghosts here. Your babysitter sucked your cock? Yeah. Uh, how old's your kid? Um, well... We gave him up for adoption. Uh, no, I, I, it was not a guy. It was a guy, not a girl. It was a cop. What the heck is going on? No, I don't remember. That's what I just I, asked he's you. Saying, Tommy, he's saying his babysitter, when he was a kid, sucked his dick. That oh. babysitter was a police officer. Oh, that was Proceed right. from here. Uh, is that him sitting right down there? Yes. Chroma Chris is in full police uniform. Chroma Chris, is there anything you want to say about this? It was a little bit average. It was average. <laughs> <laughs> I was seven. <laughs> Did you finish in the cop's mouth? Uh, you know, I don't know. I can't. That I can't remember. It might have been like that, a little. I'm gonna go with yes. 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 Hard. You? Ears ringing. Oh, yeah. Toes Jeez. curling. How old were you? I filled his mouth. Wow! Look at that, Ryan. Shanks. Man, Sometimes. this dude gay, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucked up joke. <laughs> Talking about a baby, yeah. man. Yeah. Ryan, how long you been doing stand up? Oh my god. <laughs> Not too long. It hasn't been. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been long. How long? Um uh, a little bit in Chicago and a little bit uh, here. Since you I got, got a year it. that you erase anywhere in your past. <laughs> I don't count that year. You got a, I don't count that year in there somewhere. Yeah. A lot of acid. <laughs> okay, this gets two slots. Twenty-four Short. defense. Yeah. Shanks, what do you got over there, Shanks? Yo, anybody ever tell you of a punchable body? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about me. Everyone wants to beat the fuck up. Man. Have you ever gotten into a fight, Ryan? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. With, with who? Uh, once a best friend, I got a nice little boxer break from, uh, from him. I had sex with his sister. <laughs> how, long, how long ago was that? Uh, probably about 12 years, 11 years. He beat you up? It was a bad one. We both went. You guys beat each other up because oh, he didn't bad. want anybody fucking his sister? Yeah, it was more than that, but yeah. It was Wouldn't little... you want somebody that you like to fuck your sister? What grade was she? I mean, she why in? would you want somebody no, we you were, did we like? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, yeah, how old were you guys? Hold up. <laughs> you guys were the same Wait. age? Yeah, same age. Yeah. So what the fuck? You guys a know. bitch. Yeah. You're not friends with let, him anymore? Let your sister get some no. dick, am I right? What's the big yeah. deal? What are you? Are you the protector of your sister's hungry vagina? Hey, is that hey, what the fuck we're doing she here? Liked it. She likes dick. Shanks. She likes it. Shanks. Hey, Joe Rogan. You got a, a dick and a nice guy. It's a nice guy with a dick. What the fuck's the problem? What are you yeah. waiting for, princes? What are you waiting for? Stop being prudes. Shanks, what do you think about all this? Hey, Joe Rogan, you yep. got a sister? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a sister. She's a lovely person. Oh, hell yeah. 
<laughs> oh, we have to get along, and I would introduce you, but okay, seem like a good guy. Seem like you got good intentions. Uh, yeah, man, I love the you? UFC. <laughs> Dom, Dom, I like uh, to hear that, bro. Dom, uh, what uh, what do you think about Ryan Branken up here? First of all, you couldn't get more relaxed on stage. Yeah. Oh. I mean, if, if the crowd enjoyed him even a third of how much he enjoys himself, <laughs> he'd be a fucking killer. <laughs> But yeah, he's, he's definitely likable. I mean, yeah. How could you not like this fucker? If I may use the word retard again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. The police, they're coming. You just talked We're about in West something. Hollywood. This is a problem. Yeah. What did I talk about? You just talked about somebody's sister getting fucked. My own. Oh, oh, that's different. It's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, uh, what do you do for a job? Oh, uh, we just got fired. Uh, so <laughs> we now, that's you. the least yeah. believable part of your whole fucking act, bro. It's true, though. How'd you get fired? We were putting up these safety boating things around Californian marinas. Well, let's start at this. What was the okay. job? The job was putting up, um, like, uh, uh, voter, voter cards for boating and stuff around the marinas in California. Voter for boating? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it's a card, like a gun card, but you need it to, to drive a boat. Oh, okay. So I, we had to put these things up. And me and my wife back there, they gave us the job of going around all these marinas. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What is it? The Department of Waterways. Is that the wife? That's the wife. Listen, lady, there's still time to run. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to just start all over with a fresh project. <laughs> Don't try to rewrite shit. Just throw it in the fucking fireplace and do mushrooms. Get out of here. Get out of here while you can. Run. Don't you run. Don't ever leave me. Throw your phone in the ocean. What are you saying, Joe? And start fresh. Who yeah. sucks your dick better, her or the cop? Oh, she, my she hates God! <laughs> she hates it. Oh, I, my God! I have to trick her into doing it. All right. Like I said, lady, run. Find a dick you want to suck. <laughs> There's a lot there. bigger ones out there. All right, Ryan Brank, and I've never seen have I've never seen anyone on this show have so much fun bombing before. There he goes, Ryan Branken. He's a good sport. Hell yeah. Good sport. Bad comedian. Good sport. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> Fucking love this show. I'm learning shit. <laughs> I pulled yet another name out of the bucket. We're flying through it. Put your hands together for Stephen Witkowski. Here we go. Stephen Witkowski. They could be coming from any direction. We have comedians shoved in every corner of this place. Here he is, Stephen Witkowski, ladies and gentlemen. I was happy to see R. Kelly in the news recently. He's always been one of my favorite singers. My dad got me into R. Kelly, actually. Any R. Kelly fans? I heard a few ladies shout for R. Kelly. You never want to fuck a lady who's a fan of R. Kelly. You know that pussy's been places. You guys know R. Kelly's a leader of a sex cult now. People think it's rape. It's not rape. The people are just unfamiliar with BDSM, I think. I think R. Kelly can be the master of a few slaves at this point. Uh, R. Kelly songs, what the hell it's ironic because R. Kelly songs are kind of like, he, he gives you enough time for foreplay in his songs. Like, Did The Rock ever do it? I thought The Rock canceled because of that. Video. Like 10 Sorry, I didn't see your. Ten to fifteen seconds uh, there, where it's just four. E uh, what was the last guest you remember being into? I watched Dave Smith anytime he goes, even though Dave Smith basically just says the same thing over time he goes on Rogan. And then yeah, Protect Our Parks are really the only ones I watched. Um, Ari Shafir and. J Big J Ogerson go on there. This guy is bombing. That's why I just fucking cut him off from the middle of the set. But um R. Shafir, Big J Ogerson. I started the um one with him and Lewis, but I just uh never got back to it. It's hard because he's on Spotify and I use like the Google Podcast app to listen to the rest of my podcast. So if I've if I l don't listen to the full thing there, I just forget about it. Anywho. Uh, I should have listened to the Tarantino one. My wife did, said it was awesome, but I never did it. 
eating pussy. Steven Witkowski. Fuck yeah. Breaking the mold here on Kilt Tony. This is the first time we've ever had a fully grown Chucky doll uh, perform. Guys, give it up for Andy Milanakis. <laughs> He looks like an extra on Dazed and Confused. <laughs> Shanks. Hey, man. Do you have a 70 Chevelle in your driveway? I it's do a great not. car. I wish. I wish, too. It's a good car. Shanks. This boy cute. Can I keep him? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't ever hold your asshole around an aggressive gay guy. Just pretend you don't care. Okay. It's like Noted. a dog. You, you never want to look him in the eyes. Be casual, like you don't give a fuck. Trust me. It's gonna stand Steve, like this. Stephen Wikowski, you are an ugly man that looks like an ugly woman. Has anyone ever oh, told you that before? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I've heard that before. First of all, you haven't seen ugly if you think that dude's ugly. <laughs> He's just Appreciate unmotivated. That. But for a woman, I mean, imagine if that was a chick. That's all right. true. For a also. woman, it depends on where you live. <laughs> you ever been to Siberia, motherfucker? <laughs> okay? If you got no matches, you gotta bang rocks together. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten a calorie since I got to L.A. What? I haven't eaten since I got to L.A. In Utah, I'm an eight. Is that where you're from, Utah? That's right. How long have you been in L.A.? I've been here a week. Wow, one week. Did you move here? Uh, no. You're just visiting. Just visiting. What well, part of Utah, man? Tooele. Whoa. Tooele, Utah. It's actually... Uh, you look like you're from Extra Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> Can we be honest? Has anybody ever heard of that fucking town? Is anybody here? You heard that? You heard that? Oh, wow. People? Okay. There's a, there's a racetrack there. I'm the ignorant one. Twilla, Utah. It's famous for having the most guns per capita. Is that true? Wow. In what? In all of Utah? In all of the United States of America. Jesus and probably Christ. The world. Wait a minute. Texas has We're a word strapped. to say about that shit. Fuck they don't even register guns down there. They make their own. <laughs> it's true. I didn't believe it, but hey, it's true. Do you own a gun? I own a gun. Wow. Dude. What kind of gun do you have? A 20 gauge shotgun. Whoa. Oh, hell yeah. So you go, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you go small bird hunting then, right? That's what that's for? Squirrels, small birds? I have like before. That? That's I'm what I'm not it's really for? into it. But not being into have the it shotgun? in Utah it makes you kind of gay, so I have to be at least oh, you a had little a into it. You had to get a gun, you just went with like a casual. I just had to. Lightweight yeah, shotgun yeah. type deal. Joe gets it. I get it. You got to do what you got to do, man. You want to fit in with those fucking gotta people. Got to fit in. Animals. You got to join the ARA. Are they, they get mad product, at you. Just a product of my, my environment. You ain't the NRA, bro? Fuck. No. Fuck, bro. What do you do for a living in uh, Utah. Utah? I actually uh, do film production. Do you do like Mormon movies and shit? How's that work? I've just been getting into it. Uh... I actually work on Andy Mac and just like small day play. Andy shit. Mac, that's a Disney show. I have young daughters. They watch that show. It's just yeah, depressing. Yeah. Show freaks me out, man. Stop, <laughs> stop crying. How is this the level what one? Do you, uh, what do you do for that? Fuck, show? I'll be right back. I grip. I, I'm a day player. Do some extra work too. So that's awesome, dude. Fuck yeah. That's it's all. Okay. In, I'm surprised they make that in Utah. Yeah. Wow. Dude, this is a ruthless crowd to perform for. You, you held your own. You're comfortable up there. You're having a good time. He oh, called you that? an ugly chick. Did you just blow he me a kiss and tell me you did a great job? Did you see that? Just, Tony, <laughs> he mouthed this is all something to me. I want to know what it is. Honestly, I'm going to need that wig back in a few. Uh... <laughs> Tony, did you see what he did to me? He just went like this. He goes, I love you. Like that to me. No, that's well, not he wants you to said. talk hey, about it. Did he not do that? That didn't happen. <laughs> No, it was at me. There was something going on there. Uh, hey, hey, dog, I'm right here. Maybe his mouth is numb. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, have you done anything fun in your big week in Los Angeles? Oh, yeah. Beaches. 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 Universal Studio. Uh, yeah. All kinds of beaches. Family Are you going to stay here or are you going to go back to Utah? I got to go back to Utah. Do you have aspirations to eventually move here? I do. How old are you now? 27. 27. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that ripe? Is that a ripe oh, age? Oh, man, the sweetest. <laughs> <laughs> what's, keep, uh, what, uh, what's keeping you in Utah? Uh, Andy Mack, Nothing bitch. really, yeah. I'm, I, have a, I have two kids. 
and their mom, and I'm still with her, and she has a business there, so. Oh, well, stay in Utah, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to fuck that up. Yeah, I hear you. Does your wife have a here. dick? Got to have some money. So do you, uh, do you perform in, like, Salt Lake? You, do you ever go to Wise Guys? Yeah, I try to. That's a great place. I love yes, it. it is. Yeah, it's a sweet club. That's one of the best clubs in the country. Wise Guys. Shout Salt out to Lake Wise City. Guys. Shout out to Wise Guys. That's a great spot. Is yeah. there anywhere else you work when you're in Utah? There's, like, some monthly open mics, Ice House and Murray, and it's, it's really hard, but I try. All right, dude. Fuck yeah. Keep fucking swinging. Dom Herrera, anything else for Steven Witkowski? Uh... I think you're going in the right direction. I just think you'd need uh, more uh, talent. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Those are the ones that hurt the most. Dom! Steven Wachowski, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. Hell oh, yeah. That was creepy as fuck. Threw it. <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. 60 seconds uninterrupted goes to Nick Sheehan. Nick Sheehan. Anything can happen. Who knows? Maybe he's been on before. Maybe nope. this is the first time. Eh. Nick Sheehan? You guys got a Nick Sheehan coming? Blacklisted. Oh, no. Listen, Wait, is this if Nick? Nick, if you're here, please don't. That's, that's not Nick. Hell no. Don't, don't, don't panic, Nick. Oh, Do it. Oh, no. Nick, Nick get it together. This is the moment Nick is going to regret Jesus, for the Nick. rest of his life. Okay, I always like one-word names. We had Sentafonti earlier. This is another one-word name. Uh, a lot of the greats start as one-word names. We had Malcolm, right? Yeah. Aphrodite, Ichabod. So many great one-word names. Put your hands together for Marquette. Marquette. Here he comes. It's Marquette. Marquette, everybody. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Damn, history, baby. Yeah, my grandmother was telling me when my grandfather asked her out, he asked her out doing some shit like this here. Yo, baby, want to dance? And she was like, hey. You know, and then all of a sudden, my father, he come up, asked my mother, hey, baby, you want to dance? She was like, hey. Shit, in the 90s, I come up, I, yo, baby, want to dance? Start doing some shit like this. And the girl was like, hey. Have you seen the Millennium Kids now? Yo, baby, you want to dance? <laughs> Girl's like, hey. <laughs> I really fucked this one up, and I'm so depressed, I'm going to go get a four for four from Wendy's and shit. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Damn, you got some big ass cities. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my wife just called me. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Marquette, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Marquette, you like you like you like what you see out there? I'm married, but damn. What what would you what would you do to her if you I'm married, but Yeah, but what would you do if, if you weren't married? What would you do to that? I would just look. Yeah. Just look. Oh You're damn shit. right. That's a good husband right there. Oh my god, oh no. It is the return of by far one of the most famous characters. It is the feminist. Led by feminist Stacy. Wow, look at this. The return of feminist Stacy. You can see her in the pink. Clearly, uh, Pat Reagan is Atlantis Morris. Wow, look at that. Those are lit up tits in the middle of the room. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The feminism is going wild, everybody. We have feminist Stacy sitting next to a uh, some ver version of Alanis Morissette sitting next to Garth, and here back here we have Mexican Howard Stern, everybody. So, <laughs> um, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, feminist Stacy. It's been a long time since we've seen you. A very long time. Welcome back to the show. How's life been going? Things could be better if things were better off for women in general. <laughs> my feet are still tired. I've been marching every day. Oh Bitches, God. where are you at? They are out there. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Marquette. 
Uh, oh my God! Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. It's thank your you. first time on, right? Yes, sir. I can tell you're nervous. You just keep pulling up more and more of the cord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're about to go mountain climbing or something. How long you been doing stand up? Six months. Wow! Hell yeah! Ever since you were the main guy on the Green Mile, things have really, uh, <laughs> really taken off for you. You can get spots anywhere. You're just doing it. Thank you. <laughs> So six months. Six How old months. are you? Forty. What made you want to start uh, stand-up comedy now? Well, I've been in the music business, so it's, to me it's about the same. It's performing, writing. Yeah, what would you do in the music business? Uh, write and produce. Do you dance? Yes, sir. <laughs> wow, really? I think that was a joke. <laughs> Is that true? Can you true. really dance? True. Really? Yes. <laughs> Go! Go! Wow! All right. Damn. World, stop what you're doing. I am glad I asked. That was way, to, way to perpetuate stereotypes, Tony Hinchcliffe. Let's uh, make the black man dance for everybody. Uh, very uh, good, Tony. Uh, you should feel very uh, good about yourselves, you disgusting people. Uh, oh my God. Know, Sarah McLaughlin, no. <laughs> this is my anthem! I can't do this! <laughs> 
Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> you noticed how I led that dance? Because women are the superior gender. Oh my god. Tony, Tony's surprised he likes white girls. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Marquette, how long have you been married for? Uh, four and a half years. Four and a half years. And what do you do for work? I work for the Chamber of Commerce in Garden Grove. Wow. Chamber of Commerce. So what do you do? I actually help businesses grow. So when they come into the city, we just basically do all the blasting for them uh -huh. and make... Fuck yeah. Marquette, how long have you been married for? Uh, four and a half years. Four and a half years. And what do you do for work? I work for the Chamber of Commerce in Garden Grove. Wow. Chamber of Commerce. So what do you do? I actually help businesses grow. So when they come into the city, we just basically do all the blasting for them uh -huh. and make sure they're in good standings if they want to ship things out, out of the country. Way too serious. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, so here you are, you've been doing stand-up. Have you been having fun with it? Hell yes. I mean, a lot of these people I got a chance to meet here, I've made a lot of friends. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And what does your wife think about you doing stand-up comedy now? This is crazy. She, she really loves it, and we were saying, just our luck, because we've been coming here for six months, and I said, just our luck, this will happen, and you're not here. So yeah. she's in Sacramento with her family. So, yeah. Hell yeah. She missed it. Well, there you go. Well, I'm happy I bummed. I'm happy she missed this shit, but I bummed. I mean, it's all right. Uh, so she's in Sacramento cheating on you right now. Oh! And you're here accomplishing your dream. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Tony Hinchcliffe? <laughs> Maybe she's working on her career. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Marquette, uh, so have you always been from Garden Grove? No, I work in Garden Grove. I'm from Tennessee. Oh, wow. Yeah, went to school in Sac State, met her. We got married. And what does she do? She worked for the Retirement Housing Foundation. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. cheating on you. Fuck! Um, all right, well, that's fun. What's the worst gig that you've done? You've been doing it for six months. Has there been a gig where you're like, fuck, man, that didn't help me at all? No, actually, I've been learning c from other comedians. I, I mean, that. I've been learning a lot. So when it don't work, I listen to the audio and just keep rewriting, rewriting, rewriting. Hell yeah. Oh, I love it. You're an Seems example like such a of real a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> Super duper <laughs> likable. Yeah, too nice. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the meanest thing about you? What's like the meanest thing you've ever done? She seemed like a really Is polite guy. The meanest? Come on, you know what it is. You, you already thought about it. You're trying to think of the second meanest thing now. <laughs> Jesus, Tony. <laughs> what are you trying to do, OJ, this guy? If I did do it, then this is how I would do it. Shut up, Hinchcliffe. Oh, my God. This is my favorite character ever. I know. It's amazing. So, Marquette, you have an answer for me? Meanest or worst thing you've ever done? You seem like the nicest guy. My goodness, meanest? I once shot a bitch. I mean, look at him. He's like... He's literally no. like, man, okay, I'm really okay. trying my hardest, but I can't think of anything. No. The yeah. meanest thing, yeah. I got in a fight and got kicked off tour. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why'd you get in a fight? Um, it was, I guess, when you're on the tour and you're a roadie and people think they can talk to you any kind of way. Mm -hmm. And after about two months, I got in a fight on the tour bus and we started from the back, big room all the way down between the bump bags fight. Wow, from the windows to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> There's Schulberg! The crowd goes crazy. And that is Marquette, ladies and gentlemen, with his first ever time on Kill Tony. He's been on it six months, 40 years old. He's on Twitter at Cat Daddy, Q U E T T E space D A T. If you're just listening to the audio of that, you're going to be confused. Yeah. 
You're going to need to see that dance, <laughs> right? It's super important. So if, you, if you're just on the audio, please seek out that YouTube video and understand what all that energy was It's all called about. Vimeo Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, what do you think? Do something? Do the, do the cool thing? All right. Well, instead of going to the bucket for this one, uh, you know, for five years now, Kill Tony has taken it upon itself to develop some of our uh, favorite comics. It's al it was always uh, females for uh, the first four years and like uh, nine months or something like that because we always thought, you know, give them a chance because believe it or not, Stacy, we've always been good to females on this show. But then we switched things up a couple months ago when we introduced our brand new regular. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the great, the powerful, the one, the only, Malcolm Hatchet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, huh. What's up, y'all? All right, no pictures. I got to take this outfit back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, what fantastic look. I, I get called away a little bit, and I get the first non-anything ghost chatter in the room. I fucked up. Paused the fucking video. I couldn't fucking play while the video was playing. What a great fucking channel. What a great fucking viewer experience I provide. Just, I'm just getting started, fellas. Albert, I appreciate you hopping in chat. If you're still there, throw me a like, throw me a follow. Now let's listen to this dude. He's usually, he's, he bats about 500. Yeah, huh. What's up, y'all? <laughs> All right, no pictures. I got to take this outfit back tomorrow. Along with the shades. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm addicted to candy. I love candy, man. Love that shit. Candy, man. I like steak, but I will fuck a bag of Skittles up. And I got a friend, man, he be giving me shit, you know. Be like, Malcolm, man, that shit gonna kill you, man. Be like, you a snicker bar away from being a diabetic. And this nigga is a crackhead. <laughs> He got to lift weights to get high. Okay, there go a vein right there. Mm -hmm. I just throw a Skittle in my mouth and I'm satisfied. <laughs> I'm lazy. And I be trying to stay away from candy, man, but that shit been following me. I was in Walgreens the other day, going to get some deodorant. Walked past the candy aisle and a Snicker bar fell. Boom. That was the loudest Walgreens has ever been. <laughs> Niggas know to shut the fuck up when they in Walgreens. And I was high, so the snicker bar started talking. <laughs> he was like, where you going? I was like, man, leave me alone, I need some deodorant. He said, you better stop listening to that crackhead and pick me up. <laughs> so I picked him up and started chewing him, and he was talking in my mouth. He was like, yes. No, 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 finish, Malcolm, finish, 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 Malcolm. I picked him up, he started talking in my mouth. He's like, yeah, scratch my back, scratch my back, yeah, yeah. Get them nuts, get them nuts, get them nuts. <laughs> now swallow. There you go. There's the big beautiful close. Malcolm Hatchet. Normally he has a minute every time. week. This week he had a little special minute and a half. And out come the uh, diabetes. Candy crawlers. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. My I bad like I ran the clock. I thought it was a minute. <laughs> It's all good. Uh, welcome back on the show. How about yeah. one more time for Malcolm Hatchet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Uh, not only did you crush with a bunch of extra time as well, which is always good, but uh, you uh, are definitely talking about real shit that has to do with your life. Uh, I know you very well, and I'm one of the people that are like, hey, man. Is you gone now and, and back man. now? Uh. A lot, of, a lot of people care about you, Malcolm, and you eat a lot of candy. Hell yeah. And like nothing. Amulet else, like of the Viper. Fast food. Do you ever eat like a salad or? I mean, I look at it, but I don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Oh,
That's weird. I didn't have to find any huge thing. I guess I'll be on my way then. Oh, look, it's daybreak. Look at that shit. And your dad died at oh, wait. one. Got some dialogue. Amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes, you have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. That shaft, huh? I've been... The Staff of Kings. You are stout. Uh, I got a two-minute during the bearskin hoodie yeah. Do I skip or watch the whole thing? Hmm. Go ahead and skip. Go ahead and skip. I have to get a thousand uh, followers before I can even think about getting any of that shit. So I don't really think it's imperative for you to watch the ads uh, currently. I need more followers, so likes and follows are way more important than anyone trying to watch the full ads or whatever. But good question, sir. Good question. Nice. Roderick staff, bruh. It's pretty dope. Alright, now what the fuck am I supposed to do with this shit? I go talk to this dude. Yeah. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Baal within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh... I've gotten a lot of ad um, money like allotted to my account, but you can't do anything with it unless you have a thousand followers. So appreciate bearing through that ad, and it does help. But I need to up my follow game pretty significantly. You have a heroic staff exponentially. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Tal Rasha's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Tal Rasha to destroy Bale. Interesting. What up, Farah?
When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalain occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. Nice. Not in town. Welcome to the palace. Oh shit, look at my digs, dog. So, there's something deep in that palace, bro. Really deep in that palace I need to find. Alright, folks. We are coming to the end of the stream. It's been fun as fuck. Um, what, 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 what else, what else? All right, so I started a TikTok. I've got a bunch of clips up there from our streams, so if you miss a stream, come check out the highlights. I need followers here so I can feed that into my YouTube and Rumble channels. I also have a YouTube channel if that's your deal. So well, while I was watching, yeah, I told me not to watch it. Shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I uh, I thought about that, but <laughs> I didn't have a good way to type out in the chat that very second. But anyway, for the uh, people watching, y'all yeah, have been holding it down for almost the entire stream. Um, so if you're already following on Rumble and you have a YouTube or a uh, TikTok account, Go ahead and let's watch these little fucking clips that I go through and edit from my streams. And uh, throw likes over there. Watch the full video. Try to get that algo to pay attention. I'm averaging like 200 to 200 and like 50-ish per clip. Sometimes like these two got three fucking views for some fucking reason. I don't understand why that was the case, but, um, yeah, I just, uh, whenever I get a big laugh, I take down a timestamp of the stream, I go through, that's why I started streaming on YouTube, so I can just edit it, and they have, like, a good feature where I can just edit it straight into a short from, from my phone, and then I download that vid, and then caption it, upload it to TikTok, so, that's, uh, that's how I'm producing extra content you see nothing too crazy it's just like a zoomed in uh, version of our stream so yeah man it's just the funny the funny moments Nothing to it. Just funny clips. <laughs> TikTok is China. 
Yes, yes, yes. I know TikTok, China, but China, China's how I get that money, bro. China, how I get that? It's how I get paid in the shade, bro. Just follow my my YouTube channel. I make the YouTube shorts. All right. I'm sure you already watch YouTube, so just subscribe to the same channel, uh, my YouTube channel, and then we'll be we'll be all gooch, man. If you don't want to be spied on by the Chinese, I totally get it. But um, yeah, if you use TikTok and you like TikTok, go follow your boy on TikTok. Podcast playthroughs on TikTok. I think I also have an Instagram too. If you want to look me up on Instagram, um, Twitter. Pod, I don't use Twitter, but I have a Twitter. It's Pod Playthroughs or something like that. We are a multi. Is it multimedia? I don't even know what to call it. Or a multi network operation here now. So we've got four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. Twenty-four clips, guys. Go watch go watch the twenty-four clips. They're a minute each. So they're just little snackable fucking vids. And yeah. We're we're done. Damn, we got twelve people up in here. Twelve crazy fucks. Uh, throw me a like, throw me a follow. I'm trying. I was supposed to get the fifty by the end of the stream, so help your boy out if you're if you're still watching this. But I'm just gonna end it here. Uh, there will be TikToks of our love last night stream going up on my TikTok pretty soon and my YouTube. So.